Are you guys ready for every single Wordle game we played? Baby, 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 ah! Are you crazy, Donnie? Who is gonna watch a five-hour Wordle video? Have you not seen the comments? People are here to watch the Wordle King beat the crusty Joe Biden. What's up, illiterate people? Today is episode one of President Playing Wordle. Good morning, 2M. Joe, you're not a primary school teacher. You losers, subscribe to Top Presidents. Let's go. I'm starting. I'm choosing stink, because that's how Trump smells after he is under Melanie's hips. And see, guys, just like that, I got a green S and yellow N. All you need is a tiny bit of thinking. Fuck you, Barack. Your speech is boring as hell. And I bet you Michelle smells like a rotten sack of moldy Somalian dirt. You're just jealous my wife is more smelly than your wife. Yeah, your wife is definitely more smelly than my Michelle. Ha <laughs> Donnie, I think you got the orders mixed up. Oh shit, sorry Melanie, I blame you two guys for constantly teaming up and messing with my brain. Let's get back into the game, the viewers are waiting for us. I'm 100% sure the word is pride, I'm certain of it. How can it be pride, Donald, when the first letter starts literally with S? Listen, Barry Obama, I have pride being president, and since none of you have pride for this country, I'm putting it in. See, I told you guys, you guys are both literally illiterate. You're illiterate. Donald, it's physically impossible for the word to be pride. And it's a miracle you're still conscious at this hour, Sleepy Joe. At least I helped us eliminate five more letters. At this point, on behalf of the viewer's most beloved stupid Donald Trump, I will type in the word China. Is that what you're about to say next? Don't waste a turn, Joe. Do you really want us to lose two time in a row? I figured it out. The word's starting with S. All right, Donnie, let's hear it. It's Satan. I guarantee it. Oh boy, we need a neurologist for you, Donald. Donald, you've obliterated your credibility, my friend. The S word I'm proposing is shame. Joe, go ahead and type it. You almost gave me a heart attack there, Donald. Your frail ticker will take care of that soon enough, Joe. What other S word did you think I was gonna say? Never mind, Donald, let's just input shame and move on. Of course, shame's good, shame is real good. Holy Moses, you both need to halt. Someone please think of another word so we can advance. How about steer? You remind me of that steer that lost its way, Joe. Of course, that's the first word that come to your mind. Remember the internet search for Biden falling, shooting through the roof? Both your brains are spiraling out of control. Can't you guys physically see every letter of steer has been used? And clearly that cannot be the right word. Oh, Donnie, how about you suggest a word? I reckon the word could be Satan again, like before. Your enthusiasm for Satan is disconcerting, Donald. You may want to reconsider before the FBI investigates your satanic underground vault again. Could either of you brainstorm a sensible word, please? Come up with a word so different letters are used. It's not rocket science, guys. All right, Obama, Rama, Mama, Lama. How about Scout, reminiscent of how Sleepy Joe's wit is waning from all those meetings he's scheduling? All right. Let's give it a whirl. I know you won't back down until I key in your word. Trump, I pray that one day you'll choke on your own rhetoric. Maybe I will, Biden, but by then you'll be pushing up daisies, seeing that you're decades past your sell-by date. You're a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. Now type scout, you decaying dinosaur. You do realize I'm the president, right? I could authorize a drone strike on your golf course at any given moment. Take your best shot, geriatric. You'll probably kick the bucket before you manage to radio in the order. Or mix up the N-word button for the I-word button. What's the I-word? Ice cream dumbass. And now, speaking of pressing buttons, I insist the word spell. You remember in our last video where I destroyed North Korea in a Clash Royale spell battle? Okay, spell it is. We only have two tries left. It's not the best try statistically, but whatever. Ah, ah, boring, boring. No one wants to hear some nerdy mathematical explanations. I'm stating facts, Donald. Yeah, putting in repeated letters have lesser chance of getting a word right. I'm sure it's spell. Spell, 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 spell. Okay, my ears are dying. Joe, just chuck and spell. If we lose again because of you, Donald, and there we go, thanks to Trump the Lump, we didn't get any letters and we have just one try left. Now the word is sun. It's all the only green and yellow letters. For once, can your brain function normally? It's like we are talking to an illiterate three-year-old child. Then what word can you possibly make with these dumb-looking letters then? Give me a second. I'm trying to figure it out. What about snoop? Bro, can you see the P? Aha! It's snowy. I'm telling you it's snowy. There is no other word in here other than snowy. Type that in, I'm telling you. Oh, so now we're getting weather reports from you, Don. Should we brace ourselves for a storm of nonsense next? Shut up, Obama-rama. I won fair and square. You are such a cry- Okay, Joe, you get to start off with a four-letter word. Fuck you, you're racist, Barack. Just because I'm bigger and smarter than Joe, it doesn't mean you have to support the weaklings all the time. All right, guys, I got my word, and this is a word where you will instantly think of me. All right, I already know your word, Donnie. It's either nuke or bomb, so I'll type nuke, and if I get it wrong, than Barry Obama, you type in bomb. Sounds like a good plan, Joe. Let's just get this video over with. I guarantee the word is not bomb. I swear on my wife's life. No point lying, Donnie. I'm typing it in. You literally forgot what I told you a second ago. Your dementia has risen exponentially. I think you snorted too much marijuana. At least I got one green word, so I don't even know what you are on about. One green word will not be enough for your old rotten brain. Boys, you're acting both like imbeciles. Okay, I'm slapping a nuke. 
Oh shit, I'm actually surprised your word is neither bomb or nuke. Great idea is both of you thinking like utter morons, a phenomenon that occurs so naturally to both of you, I don't even know people had such talents. I'm thinking of typing in crap. It is filled inside Donald's brain, and that's literally the language he speaks, which over half the American population agrees. I'm with you on this one. From the shit he said to us, I am never letting that slide. Don't you dare type that in. Oh, you bet, Donnie. Ha ha, that isn't even a word, Sleepy Joe. You are so dumb you thought I would shit on myself. You have less IQ than Cardi B, and she has a lower IQ than a 10-year-old. Ah, fuck you, Donnie. You're pissing me off. I'm typing in fats, a substance that has overinflated your already fat body. Ha, you're getting worse and worse every try, dumb, sleepy idiot. Have you not learned that I will never shit on myself? Have you taken your pills or are you high on weed today? Oh, I think Joe has left the call, Donnie. You are such a bully. Our subs came here for our gaming, not arguing in a war amongst each other. I need to bring Joe back and then you apologize or we will screw up our channel. I was just stating actual facts. Enough said, keep guessing, Obama the Bomber. You guys have three tries left. Stepping in your shoes, except for bomb and nuke, you would say words like epic, huge, drip, rich, all these kinds of things. I'm gonna go with drip. Oh, Sleepy Joe is back, and Barack, you weren't even close. I told you this word, you will think of me. Me Daddy King Trump. Sorry, guys, had to take my pill. Now I will crush you with my superbly intelligent brain. Sounds like you have changed as a person. Give a shot at it. We can't lose to Grumpy Trump. You sound way too energized for an 80-year-old fart. You sure took your pills, or did you snort some cocaine? Donnie Hush, no more. It's fine, not a problem. I'm going with Chug. That's an action Donald loves to do, and when you poke his belly, he'll explode like a water balloon. Oh, fuck me dead, Joe. You are so consistent at coming up with the same wrong ideas. We tried these kinds of insulting words. I'm 99.99% .99 sure it's not Chug. Don't do it, Joe. It won't be right. I smell something suspicious with how Donald just reacted. You have good senses, Joe, because I just farted. It was a long long, loud, and bubbly one. My belly feels so relieved. Ah, so nice. Did you take a before and after picture for reference, Don? Nope, but next time I will put it in a zipper bag and ship it to you. I never knew people are so curious with my farts. I should start selling premium Trump gases. Good luck with that, Donnie. I'm entering Chug, and see, that's why you need to trust your gut sometimes. I told you not to put that in, Joe. You're really good at ruining good fun. Hurry up, I want to make another word. I give you guys 10 seconds. So there is Q-W-Y-J-L-Z-X-V left. It would be my turn again in five, four, three. Oh, I got it. Screw you, nerdy triple chocolate brownie. I bet Manchel cheats on you every night like Jada did to Will Smith while you were at home being a nerd reading a dictionary just to play Wordle. You are clearly mixing up nerd with intelligence. My turn and I've gotten my five letter word. Wait, how did club resonate with Donnie from the last round? Because I love golf, I have a golf club franchise and you also need a club to hit the ball. So that's two clubs right there. Get it now, Joe? Joe? Hurry up and make your first guess. Well, why do I have to be with Donnie on this one? Likewise, Joe. Also, no cheating, Sleepy Joe. I start first and one turn each, no skipping turns. Make sure you write down the rules between me and you just in case you forget 42 seconds later. I'm going with black. It's common sense. And that's our president. America's gonna be fucked. And no wonder Black Lives Matter became a thing. This is a hard one. I will give you guys a hint. This word has nothing to do with me. The word is something Michelle is very good at. Oh, that is super easy. The word is twerk because Michelle is incredible at twerking with her fat black ass. Fuck you, Donald. Instead, being an old pervert, how about you do something with flat Melanie? Maybe some silicon implants will make you happier at night. You just proved my point of Michelle being a good twerker, plus a fat ass actually turns me off, and combined with her smelling like cow shit, it instantly make me soft. I'm quite the opposite, Donnie. I like to use a semi-fat ass as a pillow for my head at night and maybe even rub some chalk chip ice cream in it because it makes me fall asleep quicker. But the ass can't be too fat or else my head will slip off when I'm sleeping. That's the most messed up shit I've heard, Joe. You are a perverted old wrinkly bag of ball sacks have already malfunctioned. Hurry up and pick the next word. I want to smell ice cream while sleeping as long as it's chocolate chip. Chip is four letter Joe. Fine, I'll just slap an S on the end. Versing Joe is literally my worst nightmare. Okay, so green eye and yellow tea, I want to know where the tea goes. So I'm going titty. You know Michelle got big tits. Oh yay, two green letters. The word end in ed, which rhyme with titty. Donald, you just just don't quit, do you? Listen, if you spent half the time respecting women that you do insulting them, maybe your popularity wouldn't be in the toilet. You are such a sick and obese pervert, Donald. You can't talk shit, Joe. Two seconds ago, you were talking about asses and ice cream, you ass cream eater. Both of you, for once, be respectful in this game. 
and come up with something nice to say about Michelle. Boy, it's my turn. Then I give you five seconds to come up with a word, because I got this. Four, three, two, one. I never gave you a timer when you think. You didn't have to, because I'm always fast. Okay, time's up. My turn. I'm putting the word in. You got it right, Donnie, but technically it was Joe's turn, so he actually won this round. Okay, I've come up with a six-letter word, and it's an animal-related. I know the word. It's sloth, just how slow Joe talk and walks. Did your five letters somehow magically inflate to six letters, because your letters are always fatter than usual? Shut your ass, cream eating yap up i'll whack an s on the end then oh i'm chucking in lotion just to find the location of the l and o thanks barack now that's super easy i got it no way you got it i don't believe you the animal is koalas i think joe beat them in terms of hours slept every day what kind of animal is this are you sure it's an animal joe yes i even checked it on google and bing that is an actual animal it's probably a made-up word considering how decayed joe's brain is i swear it's an animal all right i'll give you a hint it's a body part of a pig i still can't think of anything i'll type in on load just to get more clues barack you are such a nerd i actually got it this time. The word is Dorito. Dorito doesn't even have N or L in them. I swear Joe is trying to trick us. If your nerdy brain can't figure out the word, then that means Joe's suspicious and trying to rig the game. I didn't even play this game. I am operating on the Wordle game you gave to me. I 100% guarantee that you will be like, oh, I see, and you will look so stupid when you look back at your comment after you know the correct word. I don't even know what you just said. All I heard was stupid and word, which I assume your stupid brain came up with a dumb word. Okay, Donald, go with Dorito. That might give me a clue. See, that's why you follow your guts, but oh, fuck, it's your turn now. I almost won the game. Ah, uh, ha, 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 holy Moses. I see the word, but I'll give the honors to you, Trump. Joe? I recommend calling up a security team to your house. What's all that shady business going on between you two? Tell me what's going on. Nothing, Grumpy Trumpy. We're just waiting for you to guess the last word that's an animal and pig related. I need to pick up my grandkids soon, so hurry up. Just look and think, Don. All the letters have been revealed. You just need to put it together. What are you fucking on about? What kind of animal start with a D and O and ends in a D, let alone a pig? I can only think of donkey. Well, Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy, donkey is actually very close to this animal. Just think a little harder, Trump. You will find it. Oh, I got it. That word represents America under Biden's presidency. Okay, then type it in. Let's see if you're right. We are all doomed. Wait, how did I get it wrong? Fuck you, Joe, you rotten ass, eating, sagging, wrinkly ball sack. So that's the animal, huh? Well, guess what? That animal is about to fucking punch you in the face and burn your fucking house down. Joe, I think Donald's coming your way now. I reckon go get some security. Shit, now I'm actually scared. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I need to call my security team. Good luck, ha 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 ha. And what's with that band-aid on your head? Oh, that's nothing. Don and I had a friendly spar the other day. And I punched you in the face to get my revenge back when you said Donald was a pig for your six-letter word. Do you want to show the viewers what I did to your fat belly? Show them the scars. Oh, hell no. You kiss my belly, you gay ass. I'm not showing the viewer a hickey from Joe Biden. That shit's embarrassing as fuck. Subscribe if you want to see Donald's belly. All all right, let's get started. I made my seven letter word, Joe, you go first. Why are you always racist and supporting the weakling? Because I am the people's person, Donald. I operate fair and square. I'm chucking in potato. That's literally what I will call Donnie from now, a big fat sweet potato. Dumbass Joe, that's six letters. Oh yeah, I'll just whack an S on the end then. Plurals for potatoes ends in ES, which leads to eight letters, Joe. Ha 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 ha, you are our president and eight year olds spell better than you. Fine then, I'll just switch it to tomatoes. Tomatoes also ends in E and S, which is also eight letters. Oh my God, can't believe someone like me is giving an English lecture to an 80-year-old American. Then what vegetable has seven letters? Oh, I got it. I'll type in spinach. You're so boring. Your addiction to vegetables will soon turn you into a vegetable. Okay, my turn. I'm putting in the N-word. Can you for once not risk getting us canceled? I know you're just going to slap an S on the end like you always do. I guarantee it's not the N-word, but I'm typing in the N-word anyways. You always get me on that one. Give us a hint, Obama. Okay, I got to admit this is a hard one. This thing is a gadget that makes your life better. Oh shit, I think I got it already. There is no fucking way you got it. I guess you will type in the N-word again and say the game is rigged, huh? No, guys, I actually got it. It's a B word. Donnie, bomb is four letters, and I promise you that word is not bomber or bombers. It has nothing to do with bomb. Try harder, Donnie. I promise you I got this word, and you guys will like my word choice. All right, let's hear it. It better not be the two words I told you before. It's bombing. Yes, I got it. See, you dumbass, I got three green letters. I'm the king of Wordle. If I listened to the both of you, I would never find those three letters. Oh, I think I actually got the word. Fuck off, Joe. Your brain is rigged just like this game. You profited off my intelligence. If you win this game, I swear I will unplug your life support. Then I will point every single nuke in the USA targeted on your house. I think the word is Samsung. Fuck sakes. I think a brawl and getting punched in the face has actually woke you up for once, Joe. Shame on you, Barack.
Why in the Somalian dirty pig riding ass would you pick Samsung? We have iPhones and you choose fucking Samsung. No wonder you're boring like a robot. iPhone and Apple have five or six letters and Donnie, you're like a fat, chunky iPad without any apps. Looks flashy, but doesn't do much of anything. You could have slapped an S on iPhone and made it seven letter, you know that, right? Oh my God, you are literally a living NPC and a nerd at the same time. All right, guys, I picked my eight letter word. Just to get things out of the way, I'm typing in ice cream. Oh wow, I'm surprised Joe didn't choose ice cream or chalk chip for once. That would be stupid of me to do that. The game would have ended way too quickly. Give us a hint. I always give you guys a hint before you even start guessing. Okay, since you are so desperate for a hint, here's the hint. This is something Melania loves. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I 100% know the word. Melanie loves this, and if she like it, I like it even more. Super easy. All right, all right. Type it in then, trumpety dumpety. She loves, loves, loves this. Okay, we get it. What does she love? Type it in. She loves this, and I like it even more. She loves giving me blowjobs. Oh my fucking God. Parents, if your kids are watching this, tell them that Fat Trump said they like to eat vegetables. Okay, let's move on. Hold on a sec, Barack. You just swore. Parents, tell your kids Obama said he's a stinky pig. Now let's move on. Fuck you, Donald. I'm putting in bankrupt Melania the hairy gold digger married Trump for his fortunes. That's complete and utter fake news, Barack. Melanie is nude from the eyebrows down. You know I prefer a bushy and hairy lady. It has a classic 1900s touch to them. Having no hair just feels like you are touching a robot. That's because you, Joe, are still living in the 1900s. You and your caveman preferences. Maybe you should start carrying a club and wearing a loincloth. After all, that would suit your Neanderthal tastes. And you, Donnie, with your spray tan and fancy hairdo? It's like you're trying to put a polished shell over a rotten egg. No matter how much you shine on the outside, it doesn't change what's inside. I'd rather be a caveman with a heart than a polished mannequin without one. You know what they say about men with hairy ideals? They're trying to cover up for something. It's okay, Joe. We understand you like kids and you don't want to get exposed. This is the only time you guys have ever argued without cursing. There's no need because I figured it out. It's much easier to win against an empty brain with simple intelligence. You didn't win that argument. I won. Anyways, I'm chucking in luxuries. I like my women sexy and classy. Don, we need to stop using same letters. We have only two tries left to figure this word out. That's true, Grumpy Trump. You don't want to embarrass us with your stupidity, do you? I will win this round no matter what because I get to have the final guess. But if you don't get the word, I get to win again. You know that, right? I'm going to go with dreading to find out whether there is an ING in this word. What kind of word is that, Joe? Are you sure this word got to do with Melanie? 100% Trump rump. Melanie loves, loves, loves this. She even told me. Ha ha ha. I think I see the word. It's quite easy, actually. You are such a nerd. Give me another hint. I cannot figure it out. Wow, surprised you don't even know your luxurious girl, Donnie. Okay, Trump, we have three hidden letters, but we know we have C and T. Just add in another letter, and you will find the word. Okay, if T goes in the middle, it's something ting. Then C comes after B, so the word is bombing. If we got a dollar for every time you guessed a word incorrectly, we'd have enough money to pay off the national debt you left us with. You are on the right track, Trump. What constant go with C to make a chaw sound? Oh, C and H. I got it, I got it. I finally got it. The word is cheating. Yeah, that's correct, Donnie. My turn. I'm the world's smartest wordle king. Just like how Melanie cheated on you with me, the reason I kissed your belly is because that was Melanie's hot pink lipsticks I was about to tell you at the start, but I decided not to. Joe, you are a perverted old creep. Wait, you must be dreaming, Sleepy Joe. I'd say you've mistaken Melania for one of those fantasies you drift into during your afternoon naps. And why is it when I kissed your belly there were lipsticks? Ah, fuck, fuck, that shit's disgusting as fuck. Oh my god, ah, what the hell? Melanie was with Biden. What the hell is going on? Trump, you need to calm down. You cheat on Melanie all the time. I'm getting goosebumps all over my body. Fuck you, Joe. I'm putting in a nine-letter word that you will never guess, and I need one of that right now. Is that marijuana? It definitely helps you forget about things. Holy fucking shit. Why the fuck would Melanie be at your place, Joe. Because she is a gold digger, I even gave her two years of my salary just to piss you off. You see, I'm more superior than you in the business field. Donnie, how does it feel to get absolutely owned by Joe for once? Screw you, Barack. I thought you going to help me. Fuck it. I'm going to rob Joe's house this half your game. Fuck, I can't even talk properly. I feel so disgusted. I'm never sleeping with Melanie ever again. This all went according to my plan. Then Melanie would divorce you and take half of your estate. Then that would be the start of Trump's downfall, which would secure my spot for president 2024. You are stopping never me, Joe. Hurry up and finish this game. I've got something to do. I can't talk properly. Ha ha ha. It's hilarious Trumpy getting owned. His body is probably jiggling while he fights off his goosebumps. Hurry up, Obama. I'm tired of this. Hurry up. All right, Manhattan, it is. 
is. I'm whacking that in. Incorrect, Barack. Now hurry up, Joe, or else I will send a nuke to your house. Then I will hook up Melania again. I'm going in with polar bear. Too bad they are not orange, or I would have typed in Trump bear. Haha, <laughs> imagine a Trump looking bear. Hurry up, Barack. I'm so disgusted by Joe. I need to go somewhere. Hurry up. I have never once in my life seen you that desperate before, grumpy, Trumpy, rumpy. What happened to you? Shut your gay ass mouth, sleepy Joe. My fucking goosebumps still haven't gone away. I think I will type in wholesome just to get more clues on those letters. Thanks, Barack. I'm very wholesome, but that's not the word. What the hell is the word? You sure your brain is functioning and it's not a made up word? Screw you, Joe Biden. The way you hooked up Melanie tells me you are a sick old man. Hurry up, take a guess. Fine, I'll just type in wearisome. Good shot, fucking perverted idiot. You are super wearisome. You put me and viewers to sleep. Not today, Donnie. I think Joe has literally woke you up to your maximum energy levels today. Yeah, that's because I'm utter fucking disgusted by what Joe did and I need to go somewhere to feel better. Don't get so mad, grumpy Trumpy. You punched me in the head, so that was a fair trade. I think Joe really beat you on this deal, Donnie. Obama, hurry up and take a guess. And fuck you, Joe, that was not a fair trade. I will get you back 10 times harsher next time. Oh, wait, I think I see the word. What is the word? I don't see any word. Trump, you 77-year-old horny bastard. You typed in threesome, didn't you? Yes, correct. I need one of that right now, which hopefully it should get rid of my goosebumps. That's revenge for always roasting me, Donnie. Screw your mom, Joe. Oh, shit, I actually need to go. I need to be relieved. Fuck you, sleepy Joe. Remember what you did today? Nice one, Joe. You got Donnie good this time. And did you actually hook up Melanie? Nope. I just put lipstick before Trump arrived. My security guards were so bad, they let Trump land a hit on me. And while they dragged Trump out, I kissed his big belly. That's still pretty fucking messed up, Joe, but if that's how you get your revenge, go for it. We're starting with 10 letters today. Once again, you are the most useless person on this channel. And to make things fair, we'll let the lucky wheel decide who starts first. It's me, me, it has to land on me or else this wheel is rigged. Not everything is about you, Trump the lump. My channel, my rules, subscribe. It's our channel, Donnie. And Joe, you get to start. I don't think I know any 10 letter words. The most I know is eight letters and that is ice cream. Absolutely, none of our viewers are surprised by and you're the reason we don't get much views. There's many 10 letter words, Joe. Appreciate friendship and strawberry are all 10 letter words. All right, cheers, Obama. I'll pick strawberry. They are yummy. These are just some examples, Joe. You've got to come up with your own 10 letter word. I'll help you, Joe. You can put in marijuana with an S on the end or sleeping with two extra G's. Thanks, Pumpy Trump. I actually got my 10 letter word. No problem. I'll type in sleeping Gigi with three G's on the end. I thought we played with proper dictionary words only and not made up words. I had to turn it off because I thought I didn't know any 10 letter words. Joe, you rigged old cheater, so this round your word is actually not a real word, huh? I promise you, Trump the Dump, this is a proper word. Did you count properly? Of course I did. I even called Harvard meditation professors to check the word. It is a proper word. Meditation professors, Joe, you don't need meditation. You need rejuvenation. I'm going in with blackberry to make sure it ain't a fruit or vegetables. Good try, Barry Obama. I do love fruits and vegetables. Apples are the best fruit ever. Too healthy for this channel, Joe. Apples taste like sweet, crunchy poo. No one would prefer to eat an apple over McDonald's. You are very wrong, Donnie. Trump never ate an apple in his life. That's why his chest is fatter than his belly. McDonald and Wendy's are the healthiest food. Apples are for demented people. And with that said, I'm typing in marijuanas. It's what you snort to stay awake, Joe. We have seven yellow letters, but only one green letter. Joe, you are messing with this game, aren't you? I knew Joe was rigging the game from the start. This is some made up word again, right, Joe? You will see, guys, it's not that hard. It's a real 10 letter word. Did you count properly? Did you check with the dictionary? Did you spell it correctly? Or did you rig this game? Guys, I did all of them. It's a proper word. So you did rig this game, you cheater? I didn't rig this game. How many times do I have to repeat myself? You just said yes to all of them. So clearly, you just said you cheated and rigged the game. I swear I didn't cheat. It's a proper word. How can you be old, wrinkly, illiterate, demented, and cheat at the same time? It's like a human malfunctional superpower. How many times do I have to tell you I didn't cheat this game? You intentionally rigged the game so you could get more turns, Joe. I'm getting mad now I didn't cheat. All right, folks, both shut up. We are here to be civil and play this game like a grown president adults. Joe started everything. How did I start when you accused and insulted me, huh? If you want to fight, let's fight. I punched your face after Wordle 2, remember? You want that again? And I kissed you belly and cheated with Melania. Boys, enough. It's like you guys are still in middle school. Let's just play the game and be strategic about it. It's your turn, Obama. We were waiting for you slow ass this whole time. True, I'm thinking of putting in government. It repeats some of the yellow letters, which might give us more clues. Thank you so, so much, Barack. I 100% got the word. This is super easy. It's start with G and end in ING. Don't come up with something stupid like you did in previous episodes, Trumpy Rumpy, saying stupid immature stuff like nuke, twerk, and even coming up with threesome for your word. Donnie, we have one turn left each. Do not mess this up. I got it 100%. It's super duper simple. Every time you say this, you come up with something stupid. I promise not. G and ING, the word is... Something stupid about to happen. Barack, I'm super smart. The word is gas bombing. See, I got four green letters. Oh, my freaking days. I thought you said you got the word 
Donnie. So much smartness in your brain, Donnie. And two green letters came from Barack. Have you taken your demented pills, Joe? I got three green letters. Thank you very much. The first guess was mine. Holy shit, you really don't know how to count, do you, Joe? All right, I really have no clue for this word. I'm throwing in get a calling just to get all the letters. Stop, Barack. What now, Trump? Joe is trying to trick us with that word. That's it, Donnie. I had enough of your rig bombing, nuking in word nonsense. I'm not tricking you. It's actually a word. Barack, don't you dare press enter. The word is gelato king, I'm pretty sure. It's very Joe biden Oh, true. Good point, Donnie. I'll type that in instead. Oh, shit, you're right, Donnie. Nice one. Joe, you rigged old man. That ain't even a word, dumbass. It's my turn for 11 letter word. It is a compound word, Donald. You need to learn your English literature, bro. You moron, that is two separate words. Know your English terms, crippling old demented Joe. All right, all right. 11 words and looking at Trumpety Dumpety, I'm gonna go with real estate. But just like Donnie and Joe, I'm slapping an S on the end. Barack, I can't believe you forgot about compound words and you are the highest scholar person in this room. Real estate is two separate words. I expected you to say something smarter. Like your word is actually a real word, Donnie. It actually is a real word, you nerd. Did Michelle steal all your intelligence? What happened to you today? That's because I'm versing old, demented, sleepy Joe, and I can easily beat him without using brain cells. Hey, Barry Obama, I thought we always had each other's backs. I'm not letting that one slide. Barack, you came in a little harsh, but you did deliver the truth, though. Screw you guys. I don't know 11-letter words. Oh, actually, I'll go with Gelato King and smack an S on the end. What's with the both of you today with whacking S's, guys? Hurry up. I'm bored of waiting for you morons. Is this a real word, Donnie? Yes, Barack, and it has to do with someone in this room. All right, Donnie, I'm going to be strategic against you in this round. I'm going with vicariously. Barack, I think you forgot Donald doesn't have the brain cells nor the vocabulary to come up with such difficult words. All his words will be bomb nuke related and slapping an S on the end. Fuck you, Joe. You can't even count nor walk up a flight of stairs or even ride a bicycle without falling. You can't even live one day without cocaine or marijuana or else your crippling dementia will start kicking in. Donald, if my memory's so bad, remind me again who won the last election. I stumble but never have to hide in a bunker from my own people. Get roasted, Donald. Shut the fuck up, Barack, you third wheeler. You're too nerdy to even come up with a comeback. All you do is hush, hush, boys. Boys, be quiet like my university professor who looks like a geek and drives a Nissan Altima. If being educated and presidential makes me a nerd, I'll take it any day over being a Twitter troll. If we're using Wordle rules, Donald, your presidency was a lot of gray tiles and very few yellows, let alone green. Barack, Joe, you guys teaming up now. That's cute. Reminds me of two kids trying to stand up to the schoolyard bully. And you're the bully that always get in trouble instead of detention room. You now live in the courtroom. With all that said, I'm putting in kindergarten. You guys do make a good team. Worst guesses after the other. And Sleepy Joe, kindergarten is spelt K-I-N-D-E-R-G-A-R-D-E-N, which is 12 letters you illiterate and creepy fucking moron. Yeah, Joe, you actually cannot even spell simple English words. You, Joe, have you taken your medication today? I have, Donnie. Thanks for reminding me. Wait, I think I got the word. I'm 99% sure it's this word. Donnie, it's a proper English word, correct? If you get this word, you obviously cheated Barack. And yes, unlike illiterate Joe, this is a proper American dictionary word. Okay, then the word is medications. Of course, you would always shit on Joe. Can you find someone else to bully instead of one of us in this room? We never had a single friendly wordle game yet. You are so fucking boring, Barack Obama. You literally ride a pig in Clash Royale, fall when playing only up, and speak like a robot when we play Five Nights at Freddy's, and now you're ruining my Wordle game. I actually agree, Donnie. Let's team up and crack Barack's word together. I have made my 12-letter word. It's something viewers would love. Wait, give me a second, Barack. Joe, you are acting abnormal today. Did someone switch your coffee with decaf again? Are you feeling okay? Maybe we should get you a doctor? I'm just inspired by the unity of Wordle. We're all just trying to find the right word, right? Especially against Barack. It's always the hardest person to face. Good point, Joe. All right, then. I'm chucking in selflessness that something Barack needs more, in my opinion. Wait, how did I only get one green? You fat-ass Donnie, that's because with a 12-letter word, you decided to use five letters. That wasn't smart of you, Donnie, but it's okay. I got your back. Never thought I'd see the day where Joe's got my back. Maybe next, Somalian pigs will fly. I'd pay good money to see those flying pigs, just like I'd pay to see you two actually getting along. See, Donnie, that's the ultimate business plan. Okay, enough said. I'm putting in my word. This is something Obama did to escape Kenya. Oh, my God, Joe, what is it now? The word I'm putting in is Obama. Swim USA. Ha ha, that sounds like a failed Olympic team sponsored by Obamacare. Failed Olympic team or not, I'd still lap you in any race, Donald. You literally will just sink to the bottom of the pool, and Joe, you would literally forget to, to breathe when you're underwater. I think because my overloaded IQ is stored in my belly. Anyways, what's the word Barack? It seems impossible to guess your nerdy word. Oh, so after you both insulted me, you think I would give you guys a hint? Go figure it out yourself.
You got Joe with you. Yeah, it's okay, Donnie. We got this. Okay, then, Barack. You said it's a word that viewers would like. Then fuck you. I'm out of comebacks against your nerdy ass that swam to USA. I'll destroy you with Wordle. I'm putting in Michelle Aho. See, just like that, I scored two green letters. Good try, Donnie. Maybe next time you'll spell desperations correctly, which is also 12 letters, by the way. Give us a hint. Barry Obama, 12 letters is way too long. Even viewers struggle to come up with 12-letter words. All right, since you can't count this word as a proper word, not a made-up word, and it's a reference word. What does reference mean? Explain it in simpler terms. Okay, Donnie, it's another word for Donald Trump. Haha, everyone loves me. No wonder you said it's a word viewers will love. Sorry for the insults from before Barack. Okay, Doki, I got a word. I'm putting in a Trump fat boy. You're finally making sense again, Joe. Either you were acting to be genuinely trying to get on my good side or you've been hacked. My bet's on the latter. Hold up. Is this a parallel universe, Joe roasting you and you complimenting him? I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I'm confused as fuck right now. No need, Donnie. Take your guess. We need to figure Obama's word out. This is way too tricky. It's probably some PhD level shit word that Barack chose for us. Not at all. Remember, it's like an animal. Even a kid will understand. Okay, I'm putting tree kangaroo, you know, those ones in Australia that sleeps and hug a tree. I forgot what the animal is called, but it also looks like a kangaroo. Those animals are called koalas, Donald. Oh, I love koalas. They look so cute when they are hugging a tree when sleeping. So, Joe, when you're taking those midday naps in the oval, are you dreaming of being a koala? No shit, Sherlock. Why else would Joe love tree kangaroos that much? Fuck you, Donald. I actually knew this word when we just started. I teamed up with you because you won't steal my ideas and I will end up winning this match. There is only one logical 12-letter animal word Obama will pick. Get it now, Donald. Congratulations, Joe. You've reached a new low. Teaming up with me and then this, even for you, it's shocking. You shouldn't have teamed up Donnie in the first place. And Joe, what's my word? I googled a 12-letter animal word and the first suggestion it popped up was hippopotamus. So the word is definitely hippopotamus, which represents how fat Trump is. And just like that, I won and I get to pick a word next. Fuck you, Joe and Barack. Rock. Fuck both of you today. This is like Congress politics in a Wordle game. First I trust you, then comes the betrayal. I didn't betray any one of you, and in Joe's shoes, that's actually a brilliantly played move. He teamed up with you to not get insulted, and he got to win this game. Exactly, Donnie. What happened to all those business analysis you did? I thought you saw my move ages ago. Today we are speed running to guess the word. One turn each, starting with three letters. The game ends when we fail. I love this idea. I'm confident I can win. Winning and getting the most gray letter words. I'm super confident for you, too. All right, let's dive in. We play Scissors, paper, rock. Winner gets to choose who goes first. On the count of three. Three. Two. One. Scissors. Paper. Rock. Haha. <laughs> is like I can read your guy's mind. I won. I get to start. Trump the rump starting first has higher chance of losing because the last two guesses have the highest chance of winning and you don't get to have the last go. Joe, that is actually right. First guesses have less chance of winning. You guys are both nerds. I'm putting in old. You guys are not only old, but boring too. Fine. I'll type in fat. No explanations needed for this word. Man, man, man. You can even talk properly. Huh. Interesting. We have not guessed a single letter. Let me try putting in sir and use a different vowel. Good idea, Barack. Let me find the vowels. I'm putting in bun like my favorite Big Mac bun. Yes, let's go. I get to win this round. Fuck this. This game is super glitched. It purposely made my word two green letters so Joe can easily guess the next word. Or maybe Joe rigged this game again. Screw you, sweet potato Big Mac bun looking ass. I'm putting in sun. Let's go, baby. I got one point now. And you guys are still on zero. Joe, you got extremely lucky for the first round, but this luck would not last long. Oh, Barack. Joe is definitely out of luck. I don't even know how he won that game. Joe must have hacked into Wordle and glitched the game. These are computer-generated words. How can I possibly glitch the game? I've seen a calculator glitch when you do simple math, Joe. You look like a freezing Blackberry who swam to USA. Since I'm such a nice guy, it's time I teach you guys some respect. Rule number one, be nice to others. Ah, uh, ah, uh, boring, boring. That's too nice for this channel. Your nerdiness is insulting me, Barack. I have never insulted you once today. You need some milk, Donnie. You are putting my super brain to sleep due to your boringness, which is a form of insult, Barack. Maybe because your brain's on screensaver mode, Donald. Ha ha, that's a new quote I'm stealing against Donald. Cheers, Barack. Screw you guys. I hate it when you team up. I'm putting my four-letter word. I will win this round. I won't be surprised if your guess next is the N-word or bomb. You are complete and utter and perfect brain function, Barack. I'm typing in bomb. The word will never be bomb, Donald. Looks like your fat has overloaded into your brain again. At least I don't rig the game like you, Joe. Screw you, Donald. I'm putting in fat, you obese ass. Joe fat is three letters and don't even bother smacking an S on the end. All right, then. I'll change my word to lard. Trump is so fat, a new cooking oil should be called Trump lard. Joe, you can even count to four. You are our current president and has successfully failed preschool maths. Comment below if Joe deserves to be president 2024. I would be surprised if Joe gets even one vote in the comment section, Barack. Your goofy mouth knows to talk Trump the rump. 
How about you look back at our previous election, dumbass? The last election was complete and utter fake news. You rigged the election just like you rigged Wordle. I win everything against you fair and square. All you know is bombing and nuking. No wonder Americans won't vote for you. Screw your mom, Joe. Barack was the last election rigged. I don't know Donnie. All I'm thinking now is putting in rare to find out the A&R location. Holy fucking shit. What am I doing on a Sunday afternoon playing Wordle with you two idiots? On my left, a robot nerd, and on my right, a rigged cheater that make Wordle glitch. I could be smashing Melania right now. Are you sure you want to smash Melania after I slept with her the other day? Oh, shut the hell up, Joe, you pervy creep. I don't want to get goosebumps again. All right, all right, enough with Melania for today. Let's talk about something else. First ever time in my life I've seen Donald switching topics because he got destroyed. Yep, feels super good. Screw you guys. Oh, wait, I think I know this word. The word cannot be bomb or nuke Donnie. Or he might put in boob or tits for his word like he did last time. Go back to sleep, you demented creep. How in the avocado fuck did that even come to your mind? I actually got this word. It's 100% bomb. You literally typed that word in before Donnie and you got it wrong. Joe is glitching this game again. He secretly changed the U and N to green letters and I think Joe secretly rigged this round as well. We are literally playing on a fuckity wackity website you wonky Trumpy. How in the McDonald's frick can I rig the game? Why is bomb incorrect Joe? You must have glitched the game again huh? Donald. Let's ask the viewers whether they think I rigged the game. You need to stop typing in bomb or nuke from now on, Donald. These are never, ever Wordle words. I think the correct word might actually be bomb related. I am the real Wordle king. I'm never wrong. I'm going to type in star. It's something I dream about all day, all night. How the fuck did you get this word right again, Joe? Joe, did you actually rig this game? Fuck Joe. This time it's my turn. I'm putting twerk. Wait, how the fuck is this word not found? I swear that's how you spell twerk. Try typing it in again. That's literally how I remember you spell twerk. It's the definition of a whim women's jiggling ass dance. Joe, did you fucking rig this game again? I swear that's how you spell twerk. You know the thing Cardi B and Michelle's kind of people do the best. Maybe that's just the wrong spelling on your end, Donnie. Eh, how else do you spell twerk then? Like T-W-I-R-K? This game is actually glitched or Joe rigged the game. I literally just Googled twerk with T-W-E-R-K and it has images of women's ass dancing. Joe, I knew from the first round you cheated this game. Okay, Trump the Rumpy Lump, I'll type in your name and see just like that, this game is not glitched nor have I rigged this game. For some reason, I'm feeling today is a bit fishy. Joe, for some reason, is super awake, and neither me or Donald has scored a point so far. And that's because Joe rigged this game and made it glitch. Joe, you are an absolute cheater. Guys, I took my pills this morning, and I am super awake, like Obama said. Trump the rump. You are just a fat, pure idiot, that's all. Sounds like you snorted too much cocaine and marijuana. There is no way on earth Joe can be that awake in our third round. Usually, he just collapses and falls asleep by now. Let me type in River to get more hints for us. Ooh, thank you so much, Obama. No mama. I 100% got this word. Let me guess. It's bomb with an S on the end, right? Or it's going to be nuke with an S on the end? This five-letter word is going to be a bit racist. No, no. Don't you fucking dare put in that word, Donald. You're going to get us demonetized if you do that, Donnie. If you put in that word, I swear I will hook up Melania and start eating ice cream from her ass. Keep dreaming, Sleepy Joe. At your age, you'd probably lose the scoop before you get to it. You probably couldn't even remember the flavor you're eating, you crippling, demented, wrinkly creep. It's 100% that word. I'm whacking it in. Donnie, if you put in that word, I swear we'll team up with Biden and burn your house down. You and Biden, an old ass cream eater and a nutrition's label reader. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I remembered the good old times when our country presidents had class, not just sass. If anything, blame Trumpy Rumpy for ruining our reputation. Get lost, Joe. I'm typing in China. Screw you guys. Oh, yay. It's my turn now. Oh, my Trumpy Rumpy. I actually love you so much, Moa. Thanks for unlocking those green letters, Trumpity Dumpity. Why are you thanking me? You don't even know the right word. Trump, look carefully. I think this word is super obvious after you put in the word China. Now, do you see why Joe is so happy? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, scoop ice cream. Yay, yay. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, go to sleep. Hooray. First of all, Joe, you sound so creepy singing nursery rhymes. And second, you rigged this game. It's impossible for the game to not be glitched when every time I go before you, my words always have at least two green letters. You rigged the game and made a glitch in it, Joe, you cheater. Boy, I don't give a fuck. You are clearly salty and stupid and fat at the same time. Ha ha, dumbass. I'm on three points and you both are on zero. Big, fat, chunky zero. That's it, Joe. You clearly had too much caffeine, cocaine, and marijuana. 
There is no fucking way I will let you win this round. I don't even do cocaine nor marijuana. I like eating potatoes, and I'll smack that in now. Joe, you are making me hungry now. I'm super craving for some Baconator Wendy's fries. Those are delicious, but I prefer Burger King's fries more, though. They got that extra crunch to them. True, those are both debatable. Which one's better? I'm a whack in my favorite Wendy's for my word. Wait, what the fuck? Why isn't Wendy's a word? I'll enter again. What the fuck? Why are my words today not words? Joe, you fucking glitched this game, didn't you? You're secretly rigging the game whenever it's my turn. Wendy's is spelt with a dash before the S. That's why it's not a word, Donnie. I think you should study the dictionary instead of codes for launching nukes. Fine, then. I'll whack in burger, which is also the code for sending nukes to Kim Jong-un. Donald, relax. Wordle isn't the place to reveal national secrets or your dinner plans. Yay, Donnie. You keep confusing Wordle with Twitter. Stop fucking announcing everything. America is destroyed because of you, Trump. Oh, come on, Sleepy Joe. At least people pay attention whenever I speak. All you do is fishy shit like rigging the game and secretly making the game glitch. I never even touched the code for this game, and the only thing rigged here is your stupid-looking fucking hair, Donnie. You guys can never, ever play a single game of Wordle without getting in some sort of nine-year-old fight. That's because we're always waiting for your nerdy ass. You literally brought a dictionary here just to play Wordle, and you haven't even won a single round Barack. You can't talk, Donnie. You're on zero points as well. I'll type in lonely. I doubt Joe's luck can extend again on this round. I'm still not convinced how, Joe, you won the last three rounds. You always were a fan of change, Obama. Now maybe it's time to stop being a nerd and play Wordle with your instincts. The only instinct I see myself doing is smashing this PC and digging out your brain to see what has gotten into you today, Joe. Haha, <laughs> I'm enjoying every second of this when Barack finally picks a fight with Biden. Joe, you've definitely rigged this game, or you secretly inserted cocaine into this PC. I've told you a million times today, Trumpety Rumpy Pump, I didn't rig the game. You're dumber than a donkey Donald. You know what? I'm typing in Donkey. Ooh, ooh, five green letters. I just need to guess this final letter to win this. It is my turn, and the real Wordle King will show his true powers. No cocaine, no rigging the game, but pure intelligence. Donald, if your brain was dynamite, there wouldn't be enough to blow your nose. Actually, I think Joe's ice cream cones have even more intelligence in them. Obama, how about be useful and help me with this word? I can't think of anything other than donkey. Just be smart, Donald. You don't want to be called a donkey for the rest of your life, right? I can't help you, Trump, because I might actually get a point if you get it wrong. If anything, Michelle is a donkey for marrying Donald. Dumb Obama. Okay, okay, anyways, let me think. There's conky, funky, honky, junky, monkey, sunky, vonky, wonky, ionky, exonky, and zonky. Oh, I got it. The word is monkey. Monkey, 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 Asian monkey king, just like I am Wordle King. Let's go, baby, baby, let's go. I'm on one point. And that nerdy ass has zero points after reading a dictionary for the whole day. Donnie, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Enjoy your moment while it lasts. Are you calling me smart or dumb? Anyways, I'm going first again. I'm typing in Melanie. Wait, what the fuck? Why isn't my wife a word? How about Melania? Oh, there we go, Joe. You definitely rigged this game. Melanie, Melania, who knows? Maybe next you'll type in malaria. Anything's possible with you, Trump. Joe, keep talking. Maybe by the time you finish, you'll remember what we're even playing. It's like you can even remember your wife's name, Donnie. I'm typing in worried. I'm genuinely worried about how you treat Melania, Donald. If I were Melania, I'd be more worried about those late night fast food runs than a simple Wordle mistake. Joe, the only thing Melania is worried about is where to put all my Wordle trophies after I crush you guys today. Then you would be off to Maccas or Wendy's to celebrate with obesity. You might actually win an international trophy for the most obese president, Donald. That's definitely something to be proud of. Haha, <laughs> I would actually hang a Donald poster in my house if he wins such an award. If anyone gets this award, it's got to be Kim Jong-un the nuke man himself. His face alone weighs more than Joe or Barack's whole body. You're very close, Donnie. You're literally in the same weight class as Kim Jong-un. I just got my seven-letter word. Obesity it is. Joe, at least when I walk up a ramp, I don't stumble. And you literally need to snort fucking cocaine to stay awake. And no wonder you like to sniff little kids. Your nose has become pedophilic after all those snorting habits. Oh, and speaking of that, I 100% got this word. It's got to be the word. It has to. Let me guess. You're going to type in bomb, hoping it somehow miraculously fits, or the N-word, but mind you, the letters don't fit. Donnie, if you're wrong again, maybe consider letting Melania take over for a round. She's getting nowhere near you, Joe. This word is 100% cocaine. What how? This game fucking glitches every time it's my turn. Joe, what type of weed did you feed this PC? Explain yourself. I hope tomorrow you miraculously die from all the cocaine you snorted. Then I will drift on your grave, piss apple juice all over it, and take the fattest, stinkiest shit on your graveyard. You will die before me from diabetes type 2 and lung cancer. Then I will piss on your grave and poo ice cream on it. You two are like illiterate 12-year-olds coming up with the dumbest shit. I'll type in Ecuador to get some more clues. You moron Barack, 
Did you forget we are competing against one another? Now you gave Joe a super easy peasy final guess. How can you be a nerd but so stupid at the same time? Calm down, Trumpy Rumpy. This is not an easy word to guess. How the fuck can I be calm when your guess gave Joe two green letters again? This is the most glitched game ever. Joe somehow secretly changed the game, so all our guesses before him is wrong, but it instantly gives Joe two green letters for his next guess. You're turning into a nerdy robot, Donald. This is the final time I'm responding to you, Donald. I did not rig the game. If you get this round, then clearly you rigged the game. There is no way your stupid old brain can be functioning at this hour. All right, let me figure this word out. So E, C, L, blank, 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 E, and we have yellow S and I. That's tricky. I can't wait to finish and rob his house to find any traces of cocaine and marijuana. Yo, guys, guys, I actually got this word. The word is eclipse. That has to fit in there. That's what she said. Yay, yay. Four points to me. Let's go. All right, Donnie, we are teaming up. If you agree on this deal, we get half point each if any of us get the word. Agree on the terms, Donald? Barack, this is probably the best deal for the day. I accept your offer, Barack. Joe has fucking rigged the game and made it glitch, so whatever word he guesses, he gets it right. And rest in peace, Joe. You are getting fucking destroyed. I'm typing in yachting. Donald, you go. Yes, sir, and now I'm typing in bombing. That's seven letters, Donald. I'm surprised you can count. I don't need to. I just need to see the screen, you idiot. Fine, Sleepy Joe. I'll whack a curvy S on the end then. Happy now? Why in the avocado fuck did I decide to team up with Trump, the stinky, idiotic rump? Because I am the real Wordle King. Why else would you team up with me? You are clearly a bomb King Donald. I actually now feel like children could be a good word for my guess. Funny you mention children, considering you seem to have the attention span of one right now whilst being old, wrinkly, creepy, and demented at the same time. I'm considering politics or trolling to figure out the I and T or O and L. Good ideas, but I recommend blowjobs for figuring out where the O goes. Every time you speak, Donald, I'm reminded why the mute button was invented. I shouldn't have asked you, Donald. I'll type in politics. See, Barack, you didn't even get the L and O. If you typed my word, we could potentially get both L and O letters. But at least I figured out the I, unlike your word, which may get us nothing. Oh, now that you say that, I really, really got the word. Okay, Donald, I'm so ready for the few potential words that might come out of your mouth. The word is glitched. If this ain't the word, then this game is 100% glitched. Stop, Donald. What now, Barry Obama? Glitch does not have an A or N in it, and I does not match up. This can't be the word. I'm telling you, this game is playing tricks on us. Think about it. How does Joe get four points being old and stupid, and we have zero? I know this off my heart that Joe is rigging the game and making the game glitch. The word is definitely glitched. Just come up with something else, Donald. If you type glitched and get it wrong, don't blame me or the game, grumpy, trumpy, rumpy. Then what other words are there? I could try typing in lobster, but fuck it. Screw you guys. I'm certain this game and Joe Biden's brain is glitched. I'm typing in glitched. Haha, uh, word not found. Fuck you, Joe. You rigged this game. You cheater, you cheater. Glitched is definitely a word, and this game say it's not, and Joe, you are laughing, so you are a cheater and game rigger. That is really strange, but it won't be the word anyways. Fine then. He'll type in glitches. Oh my days, why the fuck did we let Joe pick the Wordle website? This is some dodgy ass shit that Joe Biden picked for us. This game is perfectly fine. You are just dumb Trumpy Rumpy. I think the game is actually going to end here. I don't know the word actually. I'll just type in national since all letters seem to fit in here. What, what the, the avocado fuck? fuck? Yes, let's go. Ooh, I got five point baby, Trumpy Rumpy on one point, and Barry Obama the nerd is on zero. Oh, I mean, Joe, it's such a shame those five points don't translate to years taken off your age. My turn, I'm smashing in chocolate for my favorite ice cream flavor. Joe, you are a fucking cheater, cheater, wrinkly ass cheater. There is no crippling way you guessed that word right, and you made my guesses glitch. I will punch you in the face again after this round finished. I got politics wrong last time. I'll lock in that word again, but change it to political. Nice one, Obama. We have to beat Joe in this round. I'm typing in a word that describes us playing Wordle. And what's that, Donald? Marijuana? Glitches with two S's or some nine-letter word for bombing? Shut up, you wrinkly-ass cheater. You can't talk shit. And it's none of those words. Please enlighten me, Donald. It's a word that describes what we are doing right now? Let me guess. Gameplay is gossiping. Is it somewhere along those lines, bro? Close enough, Barry Obama. Try a little harder. I don't know. Tell us. Wow, how can both of you be so stupid? We are having a presidential threesome right now. I'll pretend I didn't even engage in that conversation, Donnie. I'm gonna go with trainings. That's something you seriously need for your rotten, dirty, and messed-up brain. If my brain brain is rotten, then yours is ancient history. At least I don't mumble and forget what I'm saying mid-sentence. I'm seriously losing my shit between you two right now. 
I'm whacking and impatient. Thanks, Obama the llama. I get the last turn, and whether we progress depends on me. I don't mind, Donnie. Do whatever. I won this game anyways. I'm way ahead of you guys. Holy shit. I'm super duper certain I got this word. I hope you get this word so I get half a point. You've said that countless times, Donald. Go ahead, type in the word. I'm not even bothering to guess it. You guys are so boring and stupid. The word is clearly important. See, just like that, I'm on two points, and the Wordle King is back. Nah, Donnie, you're on one and a half, and I'm on half a point. No, Barack. That deal was for that previous round. Go replay the video if you want. Either way, I'm on four points. Still a massive lead. Screw you, Joe Biden, you ass cream eater. I will catch up this round. I'm typing in threesome like last time, but whacking that curvy S on the end like Michelle's ass. Can we play one fucking Wordle game for one day without bringing my wife into the game, Donald? You are always so desperate for my Michelle for some reason. That's because Michelle is a man that had silicon implants to look like a girl. Anyways, hurry up, Joe, you ass cream eater and cheater. Remember I'm still winning, Donald? The only 10-letter word I learned last time was strawberry. They are the best 10-letter fruits. I taught you that, Joe. Your brain only went up to eight letters last time before malfunctioning. Oh, yeah. True, true. Thanks for that, Barack. You're a real one. Ah, uh -uh, boring, boring. Vegetables and fruits. Yuck. Strawberry smells like dementia and feels like polished poo. So soft and squishy. Yuck. I'm typing in corruption. Today in this Wordle game is the most corrupted Wordle game I ever played with you guys. My turn. I definitely got this word again. It's 100% that word. No bombs or nukes or whatever you put in will be the right word, Donnie. And don't bother asking me for help after you stole half a point from me. Chill, Barack. It's just a Wordle game. The word is bombing gagaga. Three extra Gs. Can we agree to skip your turn, Donald? That would be so much better for human existence. Wait, guys. I'm super convinced it's this word. I'm typing in nuking goo goo gaga. Extra premium Gs. I'm curious what we will find in your search history, Donald. This game is fucking glitching again. I paid for for those extra G's. Fuck it. I'm super convinced it's either bomb or nuke related, actually. I'm gonna type in bomb nuking. That ain't a word, Trumpy Rumpy. Are you high on fat again, Donald? Now, Barack, he's high on diabetes type 69. Type 69, that's a new one. Did you come up with that all on your own? Or did some kindergarten children whisper it in your ears? Anyways, I'm typing in bombarding. Finally, the game is fixed. Holy Moses, Joe, you rigged cheater glitcher. I'm so confused why those extra G's I paid for ain't working. I'm actually out of 10 letter words. All I know is strawberry, and you guys took my iPad, so I can't Google anymore. I'll just type in sleep it. That's not a word. You guys are actually fucking illiterate. Remind me, Omak Baramna, how many points are you on again? Yeah, exactly. Big chubby zero like Michelle's intelligence. Michelle's got more intelligence in her little finger than you've displayed in your entire presidency. So you can't talk crap either. Thanks, Trumpy Rumpy. I don't need to roast Barack back now. I hope sunbathing is a 10-letter compound word. Yes, sleepy cheater Joe. No shit, Sherlock. The word has to be unearthing. Oh, frick me. Oh, my days. I totally forgot about everything. Shit, I could have won this round. Ha 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 ha. Welcome to the real world, Obama. It's where nerdiness fails and street smart wins. I still won this round, though. I scored four, and Donnie, you only scored two, and Barack scored zero. The trophy for the real Wordle King goes to me. Joe, what's this hidden code on your cable? It's nothing, Obama. Wait, the code says sun, star, chair, monkey, and eclipse. So you did cheat Joe. You programmed this computer beforehand. Joe is leaving Donnie. He's escaping. Joe, get your ass back here. I knew you rigged and glitched this game. I just read some dictionary. Come here. You cheater, get your ass in here. I will Trump pump the wrinkly rump out of your ass. What's up, dumb people? Today is super special. We have North North Korea's president joining us today. Joe, stop getting the intro once for human sakes. You are phenomenally useless, Joe. Barack, explain what's happening. Former President George Bush is joining our channel to play Wordle. Hello, everyone. Pleasure to be here. I heard you guys have the friendliest and most loved audience watching us playing Wordle, correct? Absolutely. You will love it, George. You will see how my smart and loving personality carried this channel. That's quite the opposite, George. All right, folks, let's have George guess first. Whoever gets it right gets to choose their word. All righty, let me put in sit like four presidents sitting together playing Wordle. And starting at three Three letters, we will compete up to a mm -mm -mm 69 letters in total. Joe, I didn't know Wordle had a confuse yourself mode. Thanks for demonstrating. We start at three letters and complete up to 15. Given Sleepy Joe knows to count. This is the first time Bush is here. Let's not make it his last. Absolutely agree. I'm whacking in poo like how Joe's brain is filled with filthy shit. At least I use my brain instead of letting it rust under that thing you call hair. Donnie, your hair and Joe's brain are the two mysteries of the universe. At least people admire one of them. Comment below if you admire my brain or Trump's hair. No one likes you, Joe. What's happening, guys? Are we still playing Wordle? Of course, Bush. It's Joe's turn right now. Okay, I'll type in raw. It's like every time Donald speaks, his brain serves raw and unseasoned rubbish that no one ever listens to. Fuck you. 
Joe, if Bush wasn't here, I would have smacked your demented brain until someone lifts you into a graveyard. We have not found a vowel yet. I'm typing in Q to see which vowel we get. Damn, that's an interesting round. So no vowels that mean there must be a Y in the word. I'll go with try. Thanks, Bush. My turn. I 100% got this word. You're going to be stupid and type in bomb again and blame the game is glitched? Fuck you, Joe. I hope you die in the next round, you rotten piece of demented sagging balls. Your dry ass looking head looks like a living skeleton. I'm actually going to type in dry for my turn. What was that other word you were thinking of, Trump? I was thinking of fry. I really want to deep fry Joe Biden and chuck in some chicken nuggets with them and Joe can die in my fryer so I can piss on his grave and never see his face again. These are the only two possible options, Donald. Choose wisely. Why are you so mean to Joe Donald? He didn't do anything to you. Exactly. Thank you, Bush, for supporting me. Bush, that's because Joe is a useless fucking sleeping wrinkly old hag. He's also a stupid pussy that makes me mad whenever I see his old, demented face. Keep talking, Donald. Every word just shows how obsessed you are with me. Screw you, Mom Joe. I'm typing in dry. It's 100% that word. What how? This game is glitched. I was thinking of fry, but somehow, Bush and Joe messed up my brain. You guys intentionally made me lose, right, huh? I thought this is a friendly game of Wordle Donnie. Obama say something. You need to get you used to this bush anyways you got the closest guess first so you get to pick you four letter word all right i can put in anything yes pushy bushy anything you like i put in my word also what's with the name rhymes joe that sounds so weird i love to rhyme things i call him obama rama or obama the llama and this fat angry orange i call him grumpy trumpy rumpy and i'll call you pushy bushy that's what i mean by you are so fucking gay and literally no one likes you all you do is weep and talk like elementary school kids i know right i love kids and i'll type in kids for my first word joe your obsession with kids just never stops, right? Bush, get used to Sleepy Joe's creepy obsession with kids and ice cream. That's all he talks about every time. I think I've already figured everything out between the three of you with only three minutes in this room. I'm guessing Bush for this word, and yeah, it doesn't take a genius to figure out this room of can I say people. What is that supposed to mean, Obama-rama? You calling us smart or dumb? He's obviously calling you dumb Trumpy rumpy. Obama, you can't talk shit. You literally swam to USA and needed to be smuggled in a kidnapper van just to avoid the US Customs and Border Protection. Trumpy rumpy, your turn to guess the word. I bet you can't guess it, big bro. Starting with B, beautiful. That's not four letters, Trump. I got it. Words start with B. I got it 100%. It has to be this word. What? You already got it. No way. How can you read my mind? Oh no, it's about to happen again. Yes, Bush. The word is 100% bomb. Bomb, bomb, ba boom, ba pow, pow, boom, boom. The dumb people with my bomb. What the heck is going on with your brain, Donald? Plus, the word isn't bomb. I'm super convinced it was bomb. I'm the real Wordle King, and this game is glitching. I'm telling you, Bush. Trumpy Rumpy, my word isn't bomb. You are insulting me for calling me glitch. Man. Bush, you need to get used to this. Trump's obsession with bombs and nukes and his passion for calling this game is rigged. Trump surprised me with a new low today. Instead of bomb, he's now wanting to bomb people. So this is the so-called friendly Wordle game, huh? Today is actually a special day, Bush. They were civil for two minutes before going off. Usually they can't even last 30 seconds. And why are people watching you guys play? Because viewers love me destroying Joe because I'm the king and he is useless. Your brain is filled with crap. Donald, I'm typing that in. Did you really forget who won the last Wordle game, Donnie? Joe, you did win, but it was a bit fishy last time. Joe rigged and cheated the last game, and I beat the shit out of you. And I gave you a big, big hickey. Haha, <laughs> I actually want to see that video. You can see the end of Wordle 5 Bush anyways. Three letters down, one to go. I'm 95% certain the word is bran. I'm pretty sure oat bran is what you eat for cereal, Bush. Ha ha, you got it wrong, Obama the Black Elama. My turn, my turn. I will win this round. The real Wordle King is back to save the illiterate people. You're really smart, Trump. I see why people enjoy watching you, but you look stupid most times, to be honest. Trump, I will start bringing Melania into our game from now on, Donald. Let's be fair. 99% of what Trump says is complete and utter bullshit. Today he is nicer because you're here, Bush. Fuck you, Joe. All you do is eat ice cream out of your kid's ass. I'm typing in bra. Incorrect, Donald. I invited you to our game room today, Bush. Bush, and this is how you treat me on the first day. No wonder when your horse riding ass is in office, 9-11 happened to USA. You're the biggest brat in American presidential history, George. You got the funniest tongue, Donald. Maybe if you read a book once in a while, you'd know better than to make such distasteful remarks. Using national tragedies for cheap shots? I expected better. Fuck you, Bushy Ushi. This is my turn. I got my word. This is not going to be good. Five letters from Trump is usually disastrous. Really, Joe? What kind of words did Trump make it before? He always puts bomb and nuke and slapping S's on the end, sometimes even the N word. One of the rounds Trump the Rump put in titty and twerk for his five letter words. Wow, Donald, you are so smart, man. Smartest president that I will even put smart for my first guess. Thank you, Bush the Touche. Finally, someone admire my superb intellect. Bush is being sarcastic, grumpy Trumpy. Geez, you are dumb. Joe, you thinking you're the sarcasm expert here? 
is the biggest joke of the day. And you thinking you're so smart is the craziest event of the day. I'm going to whack that word in, actually. Fuck you, Joe. Anything crazy is your sick cocaine addiction and drug snorting habits just to keep your perverted brain awake. Bush, I'm so glad you're here. It's like we're the only professionals in the room right now. Well, Barack, it's always a pleasure being in good company. But let's not forget we've had our moments, too. Still, compared to this Wordle Circus, we might as well be the dynamic duo. Screw you, Bush. You literally called me a brat, and now you acting like a robot. We already have a nerdy robot. We don't need a nerd robot number two. Trump the rump. You abusive orange potato. How about I put in abuse for my word? Give us a hint, Donald. This is not your typical five-letter word. Yeah, no B or S, and there is no T as well. Absolutely. This word is quite the controversy. Describes all of you in this room. You always come up with crazy-ass shit, Donald, and always risk getting us canceled. I'm guessing you're going to say something like dairy and come up with some of your stupid analogies, huh? Wait, the word changed to diary instead, Obama. Trump, you fucking rigged this game, didn't you? I swear I put in dairy and you secretly changed it. I saw it with my own eyes, the A, and I was changed. Nothing happened, guys. You guys must have hallucinated I didn't do anything. Replay the video, Donald. The word was definitely changed. Donald, I've been out of the game for a while, but even I can see through that. Maybe in Trump world, but out here in reality, we all saw what you did. Just hurry up with your guest, Sleepy Joe. And mind you, this word has more to do with all of you than anyone out in the world. You are making me angry, Trump the fat rump. Ha 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 ha. That's the stupidest guess I ever imagined. You have so many clues and yet you miraculously messed up, you guess. Looks like your brain needs to snort more fucking cocaine to stay awake. The fact that Donald changed my word means the word definitely ends in I-A-R-Y and on the top of my head, there is only Harry and Derry. The word cannot be Derry Barack. The D has already been used, so the word must be Harry. Fuck you two robot nerds. You guys ruined all the fun to this game. I'm typing in Harry. Super easy when you break it down. What has Harry got to do with the three of us, Donald? Glad you asked, you demand. Demented Sleepy Joe. First, who in the world named themselves Bush, which instantly mean Harry second. Obama's wife is a disgusting hairy ape. And finally, Joe, your hairy sagging balls have malfunctioned. And you mentioned in Wordle 2, you like hairy women. Get it now, you fucking illiterate robots. Screw you, Donald. I'm gonna beat you the crap out of you. Get back here, Donald. Oi, don't run. Alright. See you next time, robots, and subscribe. Boopie. Joe, be useful for once. Bush is joining us again with great feedback from the comments. I'm super glad to join you guys again. I hate you, Bush. I hate all of you. Why is Donnie still in the hospital room? Are you fucking demented, Sleepy Joe? Did you really forget what you guys did to me two days ago in Wordle 6? That's for calling Michelle a hairy ape. I could not hold back my anger that day. That was the most fun day with you guys, to be honest. Alright, I get to start off to Today. Instead of doing random words, we're going to do themes today just to minimize stupidity in our guesses. This word of mine is food related. You're such a nerd, Barack. When I get back, there would be no more nerdiness. How's the hospital bed, Donald? Hope it hasn't collapsed yet. At least my bed nurses and everyone listens to me. I can't wait for the day you lie on this bed. Then I will piss in your mouth when you are sleeping. Let's get started with Wordle. Viewers are waiting for us right now. Who's going first? I am obviously the real Wordle King gets to go first. Kick us off, Donnie. Remember, this word is food related. This is going to be super fun. I can't wait to put in my word. I'm hoping you remember the word by the time it's your turn, Joe. Anyways, I'm putting in cream just like Joe is an ass cream eater who wants to eat ice cream out of butt cracks. I mean, that's not a bad guess after all. I'll type in salad. I see Barack eating lots of that when he's with Michelle. I love salad as well. My favorite is Caesar salad with lots of eggs and bacon pieces. They are super yummy. I like all salad as long as it has chicken in them, but there is one food I like better. No wonder you guys are all so wrinkly and stupid. I never eat salad and look at me. I'm the smartest man America ever had. And no wonder you're in the hospital bed, Donnie. You had a heart attack when running away from us. McDonald's and your favorite chicken nuggets definitely contributed to your hospital visit. Chicken salad is a very healthy meal, Donnie. You should try some. Or if you want, I can make you the salad from my farm. They taste great, too. No thanks, Bush. It's likely sprayed with cow and horse piss. And no wonder Obama kinds of people like chicken. It's what makes them so nerdy. And Joe can consider adding koala meat to his salad. Yes, Trump. I also love koalas. Next time I go to Australia, I will cook some koalas and digest their special sleeping genetics. Maybe it will make me a better sleeper. Maybe while you're at it, find a kangaroo so you can jump to some conclusions faster. Joe, you already have the sleep part down. Maybe find something to help with the awake part. Screw you, Donald. I'm typing that in. Looking at a koala makes me awake. I bet the koala would instantly wake up just to escape from you. Ha ha ha. That would be the funniest moment ever. Imagine that scene being featured in National Geography with Joe walking up to a koala and that koala saw the king of sleeping and instantly runs away. Can you imagine? Today on National Geography, the rare Sleepy Joe koala known to doze off during crucial moments. Often found napping beside international leaders and mistaking diplomatic meetings for bedtime stories. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, my heart's harding from laughing. <laughs> oh shit.
Donnie, are you okay? Respond to me. Now I am laughing. Ha 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 ha. Too much Mac is ha ha ha. Donnie, respond. Donnie, are you okay? Ah, uh, come here, gaming headphones. I'm okay. I blame Joe for being sleepy and making me laugh, which made me fall. Anyways, Barack, chuck in the word fruit for me. How many nurses did it take, Donnie? I'm guessing nine, considering you weigh like a hippo. Fuck you, Joe. It took one nurse and myself to get on the bed. I'm not crippled, and I still remember how to walk. Grumpy Trump, Rumpy, that nurse must be so fit that she turned you on when you stare into her, and you started burning your back up Maccus energy just to get back on the bed. At least I can get out of bed on my own, Sleepy Joe. You're just jealous at this point. You guys are literally in different rooms and you still manage to start a fight. That's true rivalry. Back to Wordle. We got the A. I remember Barack liked to eat fruits. I'm thinking on the lines of papaya. That's six letters, Bush. You are close, though. I remember another way to say papaya. It's like PayPal or Papa or something. Oh, yeah, it's Papa. That's it. I'm typing it in. That's the wrong spelling, Bush. Paw Paw is spelt with double paw. My turn. I got the last word. I got it. It's my turn, Grumpy Trumpy. I'm typing that word. In. Screw you, Joe. This is literally my turn. No, Donnie, you put cream, bush salad, me koala, you fruit, bush papa, and now it's my turn. This game is rigged. I swear I remember this is my turn. I'm typing in pizza. That has to be the only word left. What the fuck? How did you know there was Z's in this word? It's obvious. Joe Joe actually got smarter today. Nice job, big bro. Thanks, little bro. That's because Trump the rump isn't here and I am smarter today. Anyways, time for my sixth letter word. This is also a food-related word. Shut your senile wrinkly ass eating mouth up, Joe. I lose brain cells every time you speak, you rotting piece of dinosaur. I'm kicking us off. I'll whack in banana. I do love some banana smoothies, Obama de Lama. Now, grumpy, trumpy, rumpy, you love food. What's your guess? Joe, you don't like bananas. You like peeling them and sucking or choking on bananas. Ha 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 ha. My friend in middle school actually got in detention eating a banana. That was me. Remember Bush? I was deep throat in that banana and that hot young looking teacher called Ms. Higgins got me in detention. That teacher has already rotten. And Joe, that's what I mean by you're a fucking gay demented creep. You can't talk shit. You're in the hospital. Go to hell, Joe. I'm putting in sloths. That's how slow you move, and that's how gay and ugly looking you are. Okay, I'll sacrifice a turn to get us more clues. I'll go with creamy. Bush, you're making me hungry. I'm thinking of creamy surf and turf pasta right now. What kind of mental decaying food is that, Joe? It better not be some made-up word. Ice cream and Trump? All I can think of is milk, cream, sugar, or fats, but it's none of those words. I'm gonna put in celery to make sure that it's not celery. That was not very smart, Obama. The R has been used already, bro. You've read a dictionary, Barack, and you make such simple mistakes. I'm flabbergasted. I've never Ever, every in my life heard you say the word flabbergaster. That's because that nurse just came into my room and I didn't want to give that nurse a bad impression. Ah, uh, so Donnie, you are secretly hitting on that nurse, right? Shut up, Obama. Melania sometimes watches this channel in her spare time. Boy, Melanie would be so mad when she realized you were cheating with a nurse. Shut up, guys. I think I got the word. You gonna type in some weird shit again, Donald? I swear I got this word. It's 100% that word. Joe, you are a disgusting aged fossil artifact. Chill, grumpy Trumpy. Raging is bad for your heart, especially when you're in the hospital. Trump is always like that, Bush. He could never be chill. I kind of feel bad for Joe, not gonna lie. Don't feel bad for me, guys. There will be a moment where I get to take my awesome revenge on Trumpity Dumpity. Remind me again, Joe, that food is something I Donald Trump eat, and you like it with what? I like it with my ice cream. What does ice cream and Donald's everyday food got to do with each other? I don't have a single clue either. Oh, uh, what's my word then, Grumpy Trumpy? You are disgusting, Joe. The word is pickle and yuck. Who eats pickles with ice cream? You eat pickles every day in your Big Mac, and then you eat ice cream afterwards. That's different, Joe. Pickles and burgers taste good. Pickles and ice cream is like you changing baby's nap and smelling their buttholes. It's stupid and disgusting. Yeah, I agree with Donnie on this one. I also agree. That's some weird ass shit, Joe. Who eats ice cream with fucking pickles, bro? They taste good. You guys should try it. I don't want to get crippling dementia from Joe Biden's disastrous recipe. This seven letter word of mine is also a food. It's the best tasting food in the history of human existence. You're not going to say bombing or nuking, right, Donnie? Or bombers with extra S on the end. I hate the two of you teaming up against me even when I'm in hospital. It's none of that word. Plus, when I get out, I will fucking drone strike both your houses. You sound more like Obama with that drone strike, Donald. And you sound like you miss being in the action, Bush. How's retirement treating you? Enjoying some peace and quiet and playing Wordle now with you guys. I love it. We're waiting for you, Pushy Bushy. It's your turn. Oh, I forgot. I'll smack in coconut. Is coconut a reference to Donald's fat body and ugly hairstyle? Zip your flippity yap, Joe. You are precisely turning Bush's innocence to make him sound like a villain. Let me guess the nurse just walked in again? Yes, Joe. She's a wonderful nurse and I will punch you in the demented head once I get out. I'll be waiting for the day you leave hospital trumpety. Anyway, I'm chucking in calories. That's some interesting combination of words. I'll go with brownie to get more clues. You are making me hungry, Obama-rama, but this food I put in is even yummier. I'm not surprised, Donald. All you think about is food to inflate your obese belly. I swear, Joe, I will unplug your fucking life support when I'm out of here, and plus, I'm convinced my overloaded IQ is stored in my belly instead. Genetically and biologically, that cannot word Donald. A big belly usually means excess fat or excess oxygen. Exactly, and in Trump's case, it's more excess 
excess fat. Shut up, you two robot nerds. We are here to play Wordle, not study fucking science, you nerds. Trump, what does that think you like to do when you're around Melania or eating McDonald's? That's an interesting question, Bush. I guess I like to eat them out or smell them. Good. Now, when you smell too much shit, what's something that's clogged up in your nose? I'm clogged up in my nose. Is it boogers? Correct, Donald. I'm slapping that word in. This is one of Donald's favorite foods. Uh-huh. Nice one, Bushy. Damn, Bush is smarter than I expected. Joe, go back to sleep and snort some fucking cocaine. And Bush, I will pick my boogers and stick it on your painting, and you can thank me later. Donnie, what kind of food is that, bro? I can't figure this word with these clues on the screen. I'm telling you, this is the yummiest food ever to humans. Are you sure it's not bomb grumpy trumpy? Can human eat a bomb, Joe? Think you demented creep, think. That could be a good idea, Joe. You should put in bombers and it might give me the word. It can't be bombers, Barack. The letters don't line up. Okay, Barack, I'll listen to you this time, but make sure you get it correct when it's your turn. Oh my God, Trump, that word is not a fucking food. Yes, it is a food, Barack. It's a warm, soft, squishy, voluptuous bun. Every human has eaten or drank out of boobies when we are babies. It's the best ever food in human existence. I mean, if you put it that way, Donald, sure, I guess that's true. Trump's on a diet and I brought some donuts. Wrong intro for the eighth consecutive time, Joe. Last time I got the word right, so it's my turn this time, finally. Let's go. And the real Wordle King is back. I hated that hospital from Wordle 7, but that nurse indeed who... Did you get to eat your favorite food last time, Donnie? I wish, guys, but at least Melania gave me a surprise that night, and today I feel super good. That's the first ever time you are this optimistic, Donald. I'm proud of your changes. EP. I won't get bullied by Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy again. I'm starting off with this word, and the first word I'm putting in is Joe's crippling dementia. You said you felt good today. I thought you won't bully Joe anymore, Donald. Well, Joe can get pranked. I, Donald Trump, is king, and viewers love me bullying Joe. Donald, the only thing you're king of is spray tan mishaps and Twitter timeouts. The viewers just enjoy seeing me keep you in check. See, that's what I mean. You're an old age fossil. It's not Twitter anymore, Sleepy Joe. It's now X.com. And comment below if you enjoy me roasting the dementia out of Joe Biden. I bet no one would vote for you, Donald. My turn, folks. I'm typing in popular just like we are the most loved Wordle channel. That's seven letters, Obama-rama. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. I can just slap that round S on the end. Credits to Donnie and Sleepy Joe for this wordle trick. That's cute, Barack, taking pointers from me and Joe. What's next? A Trump hairstyle or some Joe's koala genetics? Don't worry, Obama the llama. It's all right to learn from others. At least you're humble enough to give credit, unlike some people in this room. Donnie, with all due respect, we've all taken something from each other over the years. Heck, I even took some fashion advice from you. I just never wore it in public. Oh, bushy boy, you admitting my style influence? Next, you'll tell me you've got a golden toilet tucked far away in Texas. So you got a golden toilet, Donald? Of course, Joe. Want a tour? It might be a bit too luxurious for your taste. Didn't Melania choose that so she can take Instagram pics and flex her golden pisser poo? Your wrinkly ball sacks are no longer functioning, you fucking cocaine addict. That was pretty messed up, Joe. How did that even come to your mind? Joe Biden is creepy old and useless with disgusting, sagging, malfunctioned balls. I'm going to the toilet now to prove it still functions. Do you hear that, Donald? It's still working, and I'm putting in testicle for my word to prove to Trump he is just fat and stupid. Joe, we are in a room with four dudes, and you are talking about fucking testicles in the bathroom, playing Wordle on your iPad. How much more piss do you have, Joe? Hurry up. Is that Niagara Falls in there, Joe? I'm here trying to create my own yellow river. I'm never using that toilet ever again. It's got Joe's piss all over the floor. Have you Finish peeing, Joe. All we hear is fucking water. It's a fountain of wisdom, Barack. For the love of God, finally you have finished taking your fucking piss. Yeah, I feel so lightweighted. And I feel super good now. I want to give you guys a big kiss for waiting for me. I know it's 21st century, Joe, but I don't want your kiss. Your breath smells worse than poo. Stay away from me, Joe. Go kiss Donald. Sleepy Joe Biden, you are a coarse, dangling, foolish, homosexual creep. I will type in LGBTQ Joe. That describes how hopeless and shit-faced you are. You're gonna get us demonetized, Trumpy Rumpy. Barack, say something. You are seriously gonna get us canceled, Donnie. You should not make fun of genders, Donald. It's 2023, bro. Who in the world gets turned on after taking a piss and wants to start kissing dudes? This is my third time here. Are you guys always like that before I came? Absolutely, Georgie. They have 99% gone back to their true self, especially Donald and Joe Biden. Trumpy Rumpy, I identify myself as a koala. I love sleeping. Oh, no shit, Joe. On my end, I've already identified you as a bong. I'll ignore these idiots. Bush, I've known you as a classy man for my entire life. I will put in T-tail for my word, a classy word for T. You've been having a bit too much of that special T, haven't you, Obama? I've never heard of T-tail, but it's innovative. I'll give you that. Thank you, Obama-rama. Now that you put that in, I have basically figured out Bush's word.
It's got something to do with Texas, but I need to figure out the ending. I'd be impressed if you actually got it, Sleepy Joe, but then again, impressed and Joe don't often go together in my book. It's time I change that today, Donald. You will be impressed for sure, Trumpy Rumpy. Screw your ice cream, Joe Biden. I'm impressed on how stupid and gay and demented your brain is and your love for kissing men and eating pickles. Also, your love for taking a piss with an iPad. You got this, Joe. You can do it. Just think carefully for this word. Thanks for the support, Obama-rama. I need to figure all the remaining words. It can't be Texanawi, it can't be Texanawi. Texanai, not Texanai. It can't be Texanai, not Texanai. Fee Texanai. Nope. Texanix. It can be Texanix. I'll help you once, Joe. Texanix is not a word. I'm surprised. Thank you, Trumpy Rumpy. Then the last letter is a Z, so it has to be Texanized. That has to be the correct word. Congratulations, Joe. You finally got my word with the help of two other people. You guys should come over to my farm in Texas one day. We can do lots of stuff. I'm always down for some Texas barbecue, Bushy. I'm down. That's going to be epic, Bush. I've always wanted to try riding a horse. Trump, you coming, right? Only if I can fly us all there in Trump Force One. And promise me you will have golden tomahawk steak, Big Macs, ice cream cones, loaded fries, and a salad. Then I'll come over. Bet Donald. I'll sure get that ready for you. I'm sure that salad would perfectly balance out the 9,000 calories of food that day, Donnie. Exactly, Barack. If chess players burn 6,000 calories a day, then me flying my Trump Air Force would burn at least 9,000 calories. Hooray, and you will be 9,000 ounces heavier, Trumpy Rumpy. I've also just came up with my nine-letter word. Ounces, pounds, or gallons, I still shine brighter than you, Sleepy Joe. Ha 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 ha. I agree on this one, Donnie. The first thing Sleepy Joe will do on the plane is sleeping. And again, I'll slap that curvy ass on the end. What's with you and curvy S's Obama-rama? Have you been spending too much time with Manly Manshell lately? Trump, for the eighth time playing Wordle, don't bring Michelle on this channel, bro. You called her an ape in Wordle 6, and this is the third time you called her a man. But everything I said is true except for the ape part because I don't want to get beaten up again. Ha ha ha, this is the first time ever Donnie got scared. That's why I need that 9,000 calories of food from Bush, then I will be stronger and faster than Obama. When that day comes, I will prepare some medical services at my place just to make sure you don't get paralyzed when eating all those foods. Don't worry, Bush, I got my Obamacare on demand whenever needed. Too bad it doesn't fix Joe's dementia. Anyways, what's your word, Joe? Give me a clue. This word is a skill I'm very good at. Thanks, Joe, I know your word. This has to be the word. Coming from the guy that thought bomb fit in a nine-letter slot, but go ahead, amuse me. Uh, this is something you are very good at, Joe. I'm good at lots of things, Donnie. Coming from Donald's mouth, it can literally be anything. Joe is good at glitching the game every time we play Wordle. Why is this not the word? Joe, you have glitched the game for the up-tempt time. I can't believe you would cheat like this. For the up-tempt time, Donald, I didn't cheat the game. At least you got three more yellow letters, Donald. No need to be mad, bro. But Airbut Finn, your tree. Oi. Fine if you say that, Joe. I won't be mad at you. Brock, hurry up. It's your turn. Lamau, in a split second, Trump's brain went from being mad at Joe, then reset, and now his new target has switched to Obama. Get ready, Bush. You might be Donald's next target. The word I'm putting in is toothless. Joe is getting old and losing teeth slowly. I love toothless Obama. I watched How to Train Your Dragon so many times, and I never fell asleep in that movie. Toothless was such a cute dragon. So first you love to sleep, then you love children and kids, then you like ice cream with pickles. Then today you wanted to kiss us? And now you like cartoon characters. What are you, a clinophile, pedophilic, frigophobic, cartoon fetish, and gay weirdo? No wonder people don't want to go near you, Joe. Joe's determination of uniqueness reminds me of a threequel. It's a testament to his commitment. Just like a franchise that won't quit. Except Joe always surprises us with the weirdest shit I've heard of. Exactly Obama. Joe Biden looks like Vladimir Putin's aborted son. If I'm Putin's son, then what does that make you, Donald? The annoying uncle no one invites to family gatherings? I genuinely want to throw you in that toilet you just pissed in and flush your head. Give me one more hint for your word, Biden. It's something I'm good at, and it starts with a T and has an I in it. Yes, I know that, Biden. I need more hints. Every hint is on the screen, Donald. You just need to put the letters together. For the love of McDonald's, give me a useful hint, Sleepy Joe. It has a Q and a U in it, and the Q goes before the U. Wert Joe Biden, I hate you. I will abominate your brain. My brain's dying. Someone get him a keyboard. I think he's trying to tweet with his mind. Obama, I think Donald's found a new way of communication. Might be Morse code. Trump, every time I think I've heard it all from you, you raise the bar. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Ouch. Why did you hit me? You get a taste of your own medicine. Oh, oh. Oof, ouch. Donnie, stop that. Haha. <laughs> 
That's what you call Trump fighting techniques. Trump, you are such a bully. Barack, bro, you okay? Guy, guys, I think I got the word. The word is technique. Technique, yes. Thanks, Barack, for letting me beat your ass. You made me find the right word. And you turned into a baby Trump and started speaking gibberish as well. And it's now my turn for 10 letter words. This is a word I hate. We had the best and friendliest wordle day yet and you ruined my mood. I will taekwondo your fat ass. Ouch, ouch. Barack, stop. No more. Come on, guys, we're not in the boxing ring. Let's save the jabs for another day. Let's get back to Wordle. Agreed. I will start us off. Donald hates dumb people. This will be my first guest, guys. No fighting this whole round. Now my new enemy is Obama the Llama. He just kicked me three times in the belly, and one of them was a flying kick. And you hit me five times, Donald. You still owe me one hit. Let's just play Wordle, for heavenly sakes. I've known Donald his whole life, and he hates to go bankrupt, so I will put in bankruptcy. Donald loves to go bankrupt. There's headlines of his business failures all over the internet. Exactly that's so true. It's a strategy to avoid tax because you don't pay tax on money you've lost in businesses, Joe. Sounds like Donald failed to negotiate with other business people, so I think that fat orange hates negotiators. At least when I'm called orange, it's just my skin tone. You, on the other hand, can turn black with envy. Just admit you're jealous that I am smarter and more athletic than you, Donnie, and you failed for 77 years to get tanning lines. I can always launch a self-tanning line. What do you think, Obama? Want to be my first customer? Just hit me up whenever you've got a shade that's less sunset and more dawn. I never knew Donald hates so many things in his life. Even the word he put in is something he hates. I hated that word when we started, but now I think of it, I don't hate it anymore. Also, it's a compound word. Aha, uh -huh, that's super duper easy. I got it. Trumpety Dumpety hates Chinese men, but now he hates Obamanian men. I guess that would make Malia and Sasha the first citizens. Trump won an honorary title in the Obamanian nation. How about Grand Trump of Obamaland? You know what, Barack, I'd rather prefer to rule over Trumpsville. It's actually a real thing. Obamanian or Trumpville, can we all just have a barbecue at my ranch? That would be awesome. I need my 9,000 calories, then me and Obama can fight in a boxing ring. You and your fat 9,000 pound cheeseburgers will get the biggest round of applause from the crowd when you successfully crawl into the ring and stand up, and people will cheer on for your big one-pack abs. That would be the biggest boxing stream ever in history. Also, Joe, no drugs or cocaine on that day at my place. I don't need it, Pushy Bushy, but I can't wait for that day to come. Um, I just realized Trump hated cocaine addicts, so I'll chuck in cocaineisms. I seriously can't figure out that word. Georgie Bushy, you didn't have to snort out that word, bro. You ruined all the fun. What is that word? Think Joe. There's cocaine and ends in O-E. What do you think Trumpy Rumpy put in it? He doesn't hate me, so it can't be me. So I guess it's cocaine ho. Is that right? Trumpity dumpity. Like I said, I hated it at the start, but I don't hate it anymore. Now I feel bad putting in that word after Georgie Pushy Bushy snorted out the letters. I'm typing in the word. Joe, don't get offended by that. Donald feels bad for putting in that word. I won't get mad, guys. I'm so happy Donald showed some empathy today. Apart from the fight between you two and no fighting when you come to my place. I will start off with 11-letter word today because I got the word correct last time. Give us a hint, Obama. I doubt anyone except for your nerdy brain can come up with 11-letter words. Go on, Obama-rama. Give him a hint. Those tiny hands of his definitely struggle to count to 11. This word is a compound word, and if you get stuck after 10, you could always take off a shoe. Thanks, Obama. Then I will step on Joe Biden and crush his demented face. And I will bite off your skin and send you back into the hospital bed, then I will piss in your nose and poo in your mouth when you're sleeping. Sleepy Joe, you sound like Grumpy Trumpy today. That's because I learned all his roasts from previous episodes and I will use it all back against him. Hurry up, Donald, or else I will punch you in the fat orange face and send you to your grave. Joe Biden, you are such a bully. Words hurt, you know? Oh no, Joe, that was a bit far. You made Donald leave us. You'll be fine, Barack. Don't worry about him. He says that to me all the time and you know he will be back to play Wordle. That's a first to me here. Guess I'll start us off with the word sponsorship. And I'll follow you up with shortcoming. It's something that unexpectedly happened to my favorite Trumpy Rumpy, the Humpity Dumpity. He should join back any second. Boys, what just happened? What did you guys do to Donald? Hello, Melania. Oh, hey, Melanie. Biden can explain everything. Hello, Melania. So basically, Donald was roasting me on how he want to crush my face, and I roasted him back, saying I'll punch him in the face. So it was just some hardcore banter, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Sorry if I went a bit too far. Donald Trump, you little bitch, get back in the game. You cried because you got owned by Biden and you started everything. This is so naive of you to act that way. Anyways, good to see you guys. Thanks for the prep talk, darling. I'll make it up to you with a win. <laughs> Donald, you cried to Melania during a Wordle game. <laughs> I got super emotional because I didn't have any good comebacks against Joe. I need to win this game or else Melania will be really mad at me. I need to make it up. Donald, it's okay. We all have off days. I've known Melania for a while and she's got a big heart and super encouraging. She was motivating you, Donnie. Donald, I've been there. Trust me. Sometimes the words just don't come, but our tears replace our 
words. Exactly. Anyways, it's your turn, Donald. Thanks, guys. Now I will put in destruction because I will seriously break a computer if I lose this round. But don't expect me to change my feeling for Joe Biden. Oh, Donnie, you and your fiery temper. Just remember, we've got plenty of computers, but only one grumpy Trump. Save your energy for the next round. Yo, guys, guys, I think I got the word. Barack, you said it's a compound word, correct? 100% bushy. I doubt you got that word that quickly. Obama Rama, you retired terrorist. Starts with drone and ends in a six letter word. I wonder what that word could be, Barack. It's drone strike, I got the word. I won this round. Have your diabetes kicked in again, Trumpy Rumpy? It's Bush's turn, let him have his moment. That's not fair. Clearly I came up with the word first. Bush is clearly a cheater. He profited of my intelligence. Donnie, I'll invite you to my place in Texas instead. And I will prepare some huge tomahawk steaks with Big Macs and ice cream cones. Oh yes, please, Bush. And then I will box the chicken wings out of Obama Rama because he did three Three flying kicks on my belly in the last episode. There is no way you can beat me in boxing, Donald. You're gonna cry again before I even land a punch on you. I'm a grown ass man, Obama. You think your frail arms will make me cry? You literally cried by my words, which is pure and harmless sound. Imagine if your thousand pound belly gets physically hit. My belly has big enough suction power to suck in a hit. And like a spring, when it releases, it will send you and Obama flying and it would be KO. Then Georgie Pushy Bushy, you can be the judge. Donald, I've heard of a gut feeling, but never ever heard of a gut launching mechanism. Uh, Trump, with that kind of belly power, maybe you should be in the next superhero movie. Perhaps Captain Belly Bounce. We've got some wide open spaces in Texas, perfect for testing out that belly launcher of yours. I've also just came up with my 12 letter word. It's something that describes me. I'm going first this time because I'm the best Wordle player on this planet. Does real Wordle kings ever cry in a game of Wordle? Yes, they do from tears of happiness when they win. And since it's Bush's word, it can't be anything bad. So I'll put in independence. Let's go. One green letter and three yellows. That's not enough, Donnie. I'm whacking in maximization because Bushy Pushy always want to maximize his land space on his farm. You bet, Obama. By the way, how's maximizing that post-presidential golf game going? Bushy and Joe, you should see me playing Barack. I've heard that every time Obama-Rama plays golf, the golf ball is on a quest to find new woods to explore. Donald, maybe if you focused less on my golf game and more on slimming down that midsection, you'd see where your balls land for once. Donald, did you ever consider starring in a movie? I'm thinking Indiana Jones and the quest for the lost golf ball. Ha ha ha, but I think Trump's more of a Temple of Doom guy, especially when he's on the golf course. Suck my balls, Bushy and Sleepy Joe. I will beat you both on the golf course all day, all night. You're both so jealous of my phenomenon golfing skills. Your balls are likely covered in Trump lard and Melanie's fake lipsticks. But they work better than sagging ones any day, Sleepy Joe. I swear in this call, Bush and myself are the only professional people and we steer the ship in every Wordle game. Thank you, Obama. You just gave me a 12-letter word. I'm typing in professional. All this time, I was figuring out my guess. And looking at Pushy Bushy, I'm typing in architecture. I'm sure Bush is very good at that, and it describes him. That's such a surprise coming from you. I was mentally prepared you were going to roast me. Donald is seriously trying hard to bridge the gap with compliments now, are we? Are you trying to make a foundation for a new friendship with Bush, or is it Melania's eagle eyes staring on your computer screen, and you need to behave yourself? That's very nice of you, Sleepy Joe. You haven't brought Jill Biden into the call? Is she too ugly? Or are you afraid of a divorce? My relationship's great, grumpy Trumpy. You should focus on making it up to Melania after you embarrassed her crying like a baby. I will never ever forget today's moment when you cried Donnie. This moment will age like fine wine. That is most hilarious moment ever. And for your motivation, Donald, I will put in persistence. I believe you can win a round today. You just need that persistency. Funny, Obama. You're about the only person I know who can turn Wordle into a motivational speech. At least I can motivate with Wordle. Can you say the same about Twitter? Hooray, hooray. I think I figured out Bush's word. It starts with Persby, and I just need to figure out the rest. Fuck's sakes, I really hate today. Joe must have glitched this round again if his brain can guess this 12-letter word. It's not rocket science, Trumpy Rumpy. So four letters are hidden, and there is C, T, and Y. I need to combine these letters to guess Bush's word. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I know Bush's word. I think your grandsons have watched too much of this person, and you used this word. I know that person you're referring to, Barack. But this word was always in my vocabulary. I have to win a round today. Sleepy Joe, hurry up and get the word already. I want to start guessing your next word so I can win. I need to win. Now that Obama mentioned it, I know the word. The word is perspicacity, which is a quote from Andrew Tate. And Trump... How was county jail today? I heard you got your mugshots taken. The media is lying to you, Biden. It's all a fucking rigged glitch, and everything about me in jail is fake news. I saw that as well, saying you tried to rig the 2020 election. Oh no, Trumpy Rumpy. Viewers will genuinely miss you if you actually end up in jail. It's all a scam and shitty fake news. The media is lying to you guys. I didn't do anything wrong. I feel sorry that Trumpity Dumpity, my favorite Rumpy, has to face all this when he's almost 80 years old. I will support you, Trump. I will also choose an easy word that you love for this round. And our loyal fans 
fans and subscribers and viewers will also support you, Trumpy Rumpy. We need you to be with us all the time. I can't imagine Wordle without Trump. He's mean at times, but it would never be the same without him. Guys, comment below if you support Trump and that he should not be in jail. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are seriously the realest ones. Much appreciate all your support. I love you, Trumpy Rumpy. I will give you a big, big hickey again. Ma. I don't know, Joe. Yuck, yuck. Ha, 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 ha. Let's continue with Wordle. It's Trump's favorite word, so Trump, you start. I think I already have a clue of what the word will be. Come on, Grumpy Trumpy, you got this. Easy peasy, the word I love is bombs and nuke, and with 14 letters, I will punch in the word bombing and nuking. Oh my gosh, no shit, Trump, what else would you put in? Today is an exception that you get to do this, considering all the events that happened to you, Donnie. And the first word that come to my mind, starting with bomb, is bombastically. Hold up, this word doesn't fit. All right, I'll just chuck an S on the end. Oh no, I gave out too many hints. Are you sure you spelt the word correctly? What 14 letter words start with bomb? Bush, hold up, I get to skip your turn. This is my turn again and I got the word. That's not fair, Donald. Let me just put in the word. I'm the real Wordle King and I say so, it's my turn. Joe Biden, I think you spelt the word incorrectly. If every letter except for the last S is yellow, that means you somehow added an extra letter to this word. Your illiteracy kicked in again, Joe. How can you be so sure, Donald? It could be another 14 letter word. Trust me, Barack, it's 100% that Joe rigged this round, but I've got a huge Trump feeling about this word. If I have spelt this word correctly. If this is a real word, then it's gonna be a really difficult one. I've dealt with far more complicated things than a 14 letter wordle word bushy. Ever tried combing this hair of mine? Anyways, let me break down the syllables. So Bomba Stikali, let me think. Trump, just go for it. We are wasting time with Trump coming up with an imaginary word. That's again, another new thing from Grumpy Trumpy. I certain Joe Biden misspelled that word. I'm super convinced that Joe put in an extra R in the word bombastically, and instead he wrote bombastically. If you get this wrong, Donnie, then I get to have two turns in a row. Type it in Trump. I just Googled a word and I got it. I'm typing that shit in. Did I get it? Hooray, hooray, I got it, I got it. Yes, finally I won. Everyone is on one point, Donnie. You didn't win. And now it's your turn for a 15 letter word. Hooray. Now I can go tell Melania I won Wordle. No, Grumpy Trumpy. We have the ultimate Wordle competition in two days, Donald. And last time I won the match. You glitched the last competition, Joe Biden. Don't you dare cheat on the next Wordle competition, Joe. The king is back, you illiterate people. Ice cream nation today, hooray. Joe, this is the 10th consecutive time you got the intro wrong, Joe. Joe is super useless. And today is the ultimate special episode 10. And we are doing a Wordle competition. What's a Wordle competition? It's a game to see who can name the most ice cream flavors. Take your pills, Joe. That brain of yours will not last even one round. Anyways, Bushy Wushy, today we compete against each other, starting from three-letter computer-generated words. When we lose, we stop and tally up our points. But there is four of us and only six guesses. And who will be the referee to ensure no one cheats? For the guesses, we will go in teams. And for the referee... For the referee, I got someone ready. He is most voted in our comment section. Guys, welcome to the one and only smart person. Mr. Beast! Hello, current and former presidents. Super glad to be invited as your referee for today's competition. Jimmy the Timmy, I love your new videos, especially the ones where you donated stuff to African children. Joe, you sound more like a child than a president. Are we going to win money today if we win Jimmy? Absolutely. So today's Wordle competition will be Trump and Biden versus Obama and Bush. The winning team gets $2 million. Woo-hoo. Imagine all the ice cream I can buy with $2 million or $1 million after you take half. Lame. I will open a McDonald right next to my house with that money. Shut up, fatty. I will buy more horses and cows for my farm in Texas. You guys are all so boring. I will donate that money to starving kids in Africa. Comment below whose way of spending money is the best. Now let's get started with three letter words. Donald and Joe, you guys go first, and you need to communicate for who puts in the word. Sleepy Joe, all you are good for is sleeping and snorting cocaine. I got this round. I will carry us both and win the money. I'm whacking in win. Pushy, bushy, wushy. We have the upper advantage against these two idiots. Do you want to go first? Sure thing, Obama-rama. The eye is revealed. I'll try sit. My turn now, dumbasses. Hey, Donald, give me a go writing in the word. All you will do is make us lose, Sleepy Joe. Fuck you, Grumpy Trumpy. Move over, damn your body is humongous. I'm typing in pig like you are a fat, ugly, orange pig. God damn it, Joe, you gave them a clue. This is like a casino now. The word ends in IP, but there is hip, dip, rip, lip. Are there's so many options. I reckon go with hip. We would have better odds anyway. Okay, Bushy. Ah, rip. That was close. Sleepy Joe, I got this. It has to be rip. I'm telling you, Joe. No, Trumpy, I reckon it's lip. No, Joe, we only have one turn left. This is like sudden death. I'm the real Wordle King. I know the website will put in rip because they are telling Barack Obama and the Bushinator to rest in peace. But I won the last Wordle competition. Remember, I have a gut feeling it's lip. Guys, hurry up. Put in your word. Trust me, Joe, on this one. I'm putting in rip. Oh, no. Fuck's sakes, Donald. Your confidence is like a peacock in a hen house, out of place but still strutting around. Shut your gay ass mouth, Joe. Your word isn't right either. Wait for them. They have 50% chance of getting the word. Should I put in lip or dip? There's the only two sensible options right here. Well, considering the company we're up against, dip might just be the right choice. 
No offense, Trump. I hope it's dip. Please be dip. Did we get it? Yes, let's go. Oh, baby, let's go. At least none of us got it right. Joe, I'm starting the next round. One point goes to Barack and the Bushinator. Now it's four-letter words. Barack, you guys start. I started last time. You want to start Barack? Yes, sir. Joe is getting further and further away from his unlimited supply of ice cream. I'll type in Chip, haha, Joe and Donnie, come and win this round. Give me the computer. I want to call Barack something. I got it, Sleepy Joe. I got something even better against these nerds. You're going to type in some random bullshit again, Donnie. Ha ha ha, fat loser and sleepy loser. We will win our two million bucks, ha ha. Ah, shh. Screw you, Barack. I never thought you would betray me like this. Fuck you, Barack. I want to fucking do this to you and Manchel now. Donnie, are you okay? I want to bomb the nerdy brains out of you, stinky poo. I will drone strike you a book or two and spray them with perfume. Then we can talk. Ha ha, we got this, Barack. The word ends in MP, and the second letter must be a vowel. Facts, bushy, wushy. It can be a MP, UMP, or EMP. Just go for it, Bush. I want to type in lump because we are versing Grumpy Trumpy, the big lump of fat rump. Comparing me to a lump is like saying Texas is a small state. In both cases, you're gravely mistaken. Donnie, I'm thinking of putting in dump for our word. Both your IQ will get dumped by Bogdanoff after this round. Ha ha ha. You are so lame, dumbass. Bogdanoff died ages ago. And screw you, Barack. I'm whacking in tank. I will blow up your house if you make fun of me and Joe one more time. Trumpy Rumpy Tank was not even close. But hey, thanks for admitting we are on the same side. Okay, Barack. We have only one more turn left. We need to get this word. I mean, there's rump, but wait, I'm also thinking of putting in dump. Holy shit, I'm playing against two robots. It's man versus machine at this point. Are you gonna diss Joe just like that, Trump? Yes, because I'm the real Wordle King. I have a strong feeling that word would be dump, bro. Go for it. We have 50% chance. I'm fine with that. Oi, Donald, I have a feeling I got this word. It's obvious, Sleepy Joe. If dump is wrong, then the word is rump. No, Donald, I'm thinking of another word. Did you snort too much coke again? It's gotta be rump, bro. What else can it be? Donnie, you forgot there's also jump that could also be a possibility. Good point. Joe, but I'm still convinced it's rump. Bush, damn, we completely missed that one, man. It's all good. There's a chance they get it wrong here. So, Donald, I really think the word should be jump. No, Sleepy Joe, I'm convinced that word is rump. Trumpy Rumpy, do you think Wordle automatic word generators would put in rump to intentionally roast your ass? Think, bro, it has to be jump. I think you're lying. I'm putting in the word jump. Biden, if you get this word wrong, you asshole. Say that again, Donald, I didn't hear you. Um, never mind. We got one point. Let's go. Credits to my help, Sleepy Joe. One point goes to Team Sleeping Trumpy. You guys start with five letters. This is a tight match for winning $2 million. Joe, I'm dreaming of the McDonald's I will open next to my house. And if we win this, you can give me your money and I will give you unlimited ice cream for life. That has to be the worst deal ever, Donnie. I could open a McDonald's near my house and get unlimited ice cream anyways. The hustler is getting hustled. Looks like Joe is better than you at business, Donnie. Joe, that was just my level one business question and you have passed like anyone should. Wait till my level 100 business tricks for later on. I'll just hope your level 100 isn't about wall constructions. Anyways, I carried the last round, so I get to start us off. I'm whacking in Texas. We still need to crash at Bush's place. I'm still waiting on that barbecue invite from you, Bushy. Don't worry, bro. We're going to play more Wordle and more FNAF when you guys come over. You still owe me that tomahawk steak you promised two episodes ago. I still remember that, Trump, and I will get my medical services ready just in case. Ha ha ha. By the way, I'm feeling adventurous for this word, Bush. I want to chuck in alien. Alien is the least expensive expected word to come out of Barack. Joe, pass me the iPad. I 100% got this word. Donnie, it can't be your N-word again. It's the other N-word. It's the N-word that describes Obama. Donald, look, you fat piece of lard. The I has been used. But you can replace that I with an E because they both have the same sounds. They both sound like E, and in my case, knee. Do not say the word because you are seriously risking us to get canceled, Donald. Plus, your word cannot be N-E because the E in Texas is not green. Screw you, nerdy robot. You ruined all my fun with Joe. Now I want to enter my secret codes and send a fucking nuke to to your house, Mobamba, Obama. Donald, you illiterate pig. Every time you enter some stupid words, we are further and further away from winning the $2 million. Also, I told you it cannot be the word nukes. Shut up, you fucking crackhead. If we win this round, I will take all the money because I carried you. First, I hope you remember to stretch those tiny hands of yours. In this match so far, you have carried us in the wrong direction. You're only making it easier for the other team. We are in a rivalry, but at this moment, it's our cooperative spirit against a team that's having a civil war of their own. Let's go, Bush. So the second last letter is E. I have a strong feeling the word ends in E-R. Mind if I type in power? It could also end in E-D, but sure power sounds good. We would still have the final go. Yes, we got it. The word indeed ends in E-R. Let's pray Donald or Joe don't guess this word. Then we got this round in the bag. Joe, I am fuming on how nerdy and robotic those two idiots sound. Let me type in fuming. Donald, if you stress, we will choke. Also, fuming is six letters, bro. Let me think. No need to think, bro. The next letter after M is an N. Surely funer is a word, right? What the fuck is funer? What kind of word is that? Think a little harder, grumpy trumpy. Your brain is so slow, Joe Biden. 
Biden. Oops, I entered the word. Damn it. I'm so angry to team up with Joe Biden and versing against two fucking robots. This entire competition is glitched. Looks like you handed this one to the robots again, Donnie. We're not robots for human sakes. Barack, look at this word. I think it gave us all the clues needed. The N has to be second. So first letter is likely a vowel, and therefore the word could begin with UN. That makes this word so much easier to guess, Bushy. Then the only possible word is under. Yeah, the word has to be under. Oh, baby, let's go. Ha ha ha, losers, we're on two points now. You're a legend, Barack. We're going to win this competition. One more point for Barack and the Bushinator. Two points against one. Donald and Joe, what is your strategy moving on to win this competition? Donald needs to learn how to work as a team, and we need... I think the strategy now is to fix Joe's crippling, dangling dementia and start opening his eyes. Okay, moving on. Six-letter word. Barack and Bushinator gets to go first. That would be amazing, Donnie. I wanted to fix Jill's fertility for a while now. Okay, Doki, I'll pretend I didn't hear that conversation. Bushy, pick a word. I'll chuck and strike. Remember the good old times you had to drone strike all those Middle Eastern countries when you were in office? That was fun memories looking back at it. We both had our moments bushy. Yours was a bit more shoe-centric, as I recall. There's a word I want to put in. It's our first guess, so not a big deal. Just don't put in bomber or tank or nukes. It could be one of these words, though. But now that we are losing, I want to buy a golden shotgun and a big fat tank and some grenades because I want to fucking hunt down Barack and the Bushinator for being so damn nerdy. For once you put in a sensible word, Donald, for your first guess, I'm actually proud of our teamwork. Trump, even in a fantasy world, you're still looking for shortcuts. Some things never change from you, I. Donnie, you should spend more time studying the game than your fantasy shopping list. And even with those gears, you could still misfire. You're absolutely correct, you nerdy Bushinator. Next on my list is a golden dictionary so I can finally beat you robotic nerds. I'm thinking of whacking and bottle. We can celebrate with bottles of champagne, fine wine, and world-class spirits. Then we can send some pictures to Joe and Donnie. Ha ha ha. I really want to join you guys. Sounds so much fun. Your only fun, Joe, is kindergarten children. <laughs> yes, I love them. I will ship them to Bush's house in Texas in a big pallet. Also, I'm locking in palate and I can smell every single one of them when we are at Bush's house. Joe, you fucking wacky ass retarded partner. You just gave them five green letters. What's next? Child debates or kindergarten election? At least my word is on point, Donald. You only got one green letter for this round. I thought you were on my team, you skanky betrayal creep. I want to get a fucking palate from my factory and shove it up your mouth so you can be quiet. Your brain, Donnie, is a... This word is now super easy. You thinking what I'm thinking, Bush? Of course, Obama-rama. On the count of three, we both say the word three, two, one, wallet. Yes, let's go, Bushy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock that bad boy in now. Entering it in. Yes, let's fucking go. Now, Bushinator and Barack is on three points, and they are getting closer to win the $2 million. Uh, on the other hand, Joe and Donald, who is still on one point. Anything you want to say, guys, before moving on? I'm super glad I have Bush on team. We bond so well together. It's a dream being his partner. I want to bomb Joe Biden's fridge and life support provider. If we lose, then I will order drone strike to nerdy Barack's house when Bush comes over. It has been a wonderful opportunity to work with Barack on this competition. This has made our friendship and bond better than ever. Donald is a good, fun, and interesting partner, but I really need him to get his head into the game and win the competition. We are really far behind. You heard them, guys. Let's continue. Barack and Bush gets to start. Why do they always get to start first? This game is rigged. Starting first has the lower chances of winning Donald, that's why. You know what, Bush? I feel a bit bad for them, especially Joe. I'll type in a word that Donald loves to do. You being sarcastic on this one, Obama-rama? Nah, bro. For real, though. I'm gonna type in golfing. Donald, I'm super anxious about the outcome for this competition, bro. Let me start us off. I'm gonna type in anxiety for the first word. When is a day that you're never anxious, Joe? I swear we better win this round. Donnie, as long as you start using that backup fat and protein stored in your inflated belly, we will have a chance. You need to think more, talk less. Ha ha ha! After Joe mentioning it, Donald's big belly would be enough to make the garbage truck engine fail. Mind if I type in garbage for this word, Bushy? Garbage? Sure, it'll remind Trump of his old apprentice catchphrase. You're fired. Bush and Adder. The only thing getting fired here is you from this Wordle game. You didn't even belong here from Wordle 1 to 5. And now I'm getting teamed on? You would literally be clearing brushes in Texas. Donnie, no one is ever kicking my boy Bush from this gang. It's okay, Donald. I'm on your side. It's your turn. Type in your word. This game is clearly rigged. They are on three. And we are on one point. We're going to choke that $2 million. That's why I keep yelling at you to fucking focus, Donald. I want my unlimited supply of ice cream. Fuck's sakes. Why the fuck am I teamed with this cocaine and children ad? I've hit the jackpot to have Joe Biden on my team. At least I got one point and almost got two. You should be grateful, Donald. This game sucks. I'll type in.
been jackpot and hope I guess that this is the word. Not even close, Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy. You really have a gambling addict, don't you? I'll give you a hint, Donald. When it's your last two guesses, try to use most of the yellow words as possible. Oh, true. That makes so much more sense. I wish I had Bushy on my team. I've literally been doing that for the last four rounds. Donald, holy shit, your attention span is worse than TikTok scrollers. Says the person that needs to snort bags of cocaine and take pills just to stay away. Barack, it's our last guess. I really got no clue for this word. I don't think we'll get it. Me neither. I haven't found a single clue yet. The word I'm thinking of is theater, but that word don't use the B. I don't even know what to put in. We've got two choices now. Make it hard for them or make it easy for them. I reckon let's make this one easier for them. If they get it, we would still be winning. I really kind of feel bad for Joe Biden and Donnie. They just can't vibe together like us. Ha ha ha. It's almost like watching a cat and a dog trying to play chess together. Let's give them a break this time. All right, Bet. I'll type in theater then. Bush, what you just said, who's the dog, who's the cat? It's up to you guys to figure out. I'm the dog, you're the cat, Joe. I'm big and strong, and I will chase you around and eat you for supper. And like any cat, I always land on my feet. Let's land a win here instead of bickering, okay? It's our last guess. We need to find this word. Okay, I think I got a clue. Enlighten me, Donald. See, you stupid ass. The last three letters cannot be T-R-E. That means it has to be T-H-E. Then it's something F. It's breath. Yes, yes, it's breath. Let's type that in. You two fucking illiterate six-year-olds. Breath don't have the E. The word you just typed is breathe. Holy shit. And that's our current and former president. Joe and Donald is coming back with another win. The score is now two against three. Barack and Bush and Nod are still winning. Donnie and Joe, you get to start with eight letters. Let me go first. I gave the best ever clue last round. I am a strategic and smart man. I will type in tactical. I'm relieved you didn't type bombing or nuking and slapping S's on the end. These are my favorite things, but we are competing for $2 million, Joe. Why the fuck would I waste a turn just like that? I'm not stupid. Donald is sounding smart all of a sudden. That's the most abnormal thing that happened today. Then type that in Barack. We can't give them another point again. We need to floor it now. I gotta say it's entertaining watching Trump try to keep up. Fat Turtle versus you, Zane Bolt. Which team won the last round, Barack? Exactly. Keep talking shit. You live in Android. I'm thinking of putting in children for this word. Joe, you fucking ugly, wrinkly creep. I have something even better on my mind, and it will figure out more letters. It's something you use, Joe. If I have to remind you again, Donnie, I don't use cocaine nor marijuana, and I don't have any bombs. You are so ignorant, thinking I'm so stupid. This is something that makes you unsee things. You mean sleeping? That would be a very bad guess. You're close, Joe. I was thinking of eye drops like you need that puny drop of water because your old dinosaur eyes are so dry and coarse. Fuck you, Donnie. I thought we are on the same team and trying to win this round. Of course, Joe. It's just so funny to make fun of you because your dementia will forget every mean shit I say to you. And look, eye drops is actually a good guess. Much better than if you type children, you creepy, pervy, stuttering fossil poo. I may forget a thing or two, but I still know the concept of teamwork and always being a supportive team member. Having you by my side is so useless, your eyes can't even function without assistance. Surely that would get us the win, Joe Biden? The cat and dog over there are going at it again over some Fugazi. That has to be the shittiest ever team to be together to play Wordle. If you find any two people from across the globe, chances are they have better teamwork than them. 100%, Barack. This will be an easy win for us. I barely have to use my brain against these wacky idiots. Donald, you fat piece of McDonald's shit. Joe, you sagging malfunction ball sack. Mute. Anyways, from what you just said, I think wackiest could be a good word to put in. Go for it, Barack. We get the final guess anyways. Now on mute. Fuck you, Donald. Fuck you, Joe. Oh, wait, Donnie. Look, it's our turn now. Damn it. We only have one try left. Joe, come on. Focus, big bro. We need to get this word. This is such a tricky word. What the fuck is the word, Tress? I can't think of anything. Oh, shit. I think I got the word 100%. Are you a thousand percent sure? Yes, sleepy Joe. I, Donald Trump, is 10,000 thousand percent sure don't type it in what is the word so the second letter is a so instead of the word mistress i can type in mistress like i am the fucking master and melania obeys me in the bedroom oh my fucking god this word makes sense but i'm not 100 percent sure if it's a word and even if it is a word i doubt wordle would put that word in all i hear from you joe is mm mm do 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 goo goo and gaga fuck you donald i said everything nice and clear no you didn't you just mumbled now watch me smack in that word and win this round the real wordle king is back oh shit you chose this round again. What the heck? This game is so glitched. I bet you, Mr. Beast, tweaked the servers of this game and made it glitch. Yes, let's go, Bushy Wushy. Have you got the word, bro? Certainly, Obama Rama. I got the word. Thanks to Donnie's word, we will win again. Let's go. Okay, Doki, on the count of three. One, two, three. Mattress. Mattress. Oh, Donald, Donald. This game is fucking rigged. We were only one letter away. Brock and Bushinator is now on four wins, and Donald and Joe is currently on two. It also seems they broke their computer and they were using Windows. Boys, here's $2,000. Buy yourselves a MacBook and continue playing Wordle. Thank you, Mr. Beast. Much appreciated it. Donnie, you really need some anger management classes, bro. I hate to say this, Donald, but you literally just came out of jail less than a week, and you're acting up.
You're seriously going to hurt someone. How the fuck am I supposed to win $2 million with Joe Biden when we are playing against literal NPC robots with chat GPT installed in their brains? This is man versus machine at this point. Donald, they are just smarter in some of the rounds they got luckier, man. It's okay, bro. Barack, you start us off. I'll type in flashback. I really hope Joe doesn't get flashbacks of the nightmare of teaming up with Donald. You know, Joe, I feel so good after I rage. It's like I've turned into a teenager once again. Uh huh. That's good to hear, Donald. Just don't break this MacBook. It's the last computer we have. Want to type in teenager? Absolutely, Sleepy Joe. Teenager is eight letters, but I will smack that round S on the end. Beautiful. Our turn, Barack. I'm thinking of putting in sabotages like Donald just sabotaged his computer. That could work, but I was considering the word September. We have so many new content planned for the channel next month, and it could be a good time to hint them out. What do you reckon? Oh, true. I remember we discussing about movies and new games and stuff. I, yes, do that Barack type that in. It's the perfect time. Oh, I can't wait to play different games and crush you nerds. Focus, Donald. We're still playing Wordle. The words are only getting harder. There is one thing I want to do right now, Joe, and it's a very good word. What is it? You want a threesome? You want to fight back? Or you want to start counting down for your next nuke or bomb timer? What the fuck? Donald brought a nuclear weapon to this competition? Holy shit. I better take... Cover. Calm your titties, guys. It's just a prank. I want to break free from this glitching server and win my two million dollars and then open my McDonald's. That's not a bad word, actually. Go for it, Donnie. I'm locking in break free. Let's go. If those robot nerds get it wrong, then we can get the final word. Oh, no, this is going to be bad. Barack, I'm almost certain I got this word. Of course, it's that word bushy wushy. The word ends in T, yeah? Yep, the word ends in a T. You do the honors, Barack. All right, then. Thank you, pushy bushy wushy. I'm typing that in now. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. We will win ya. God damn it. Fuck this game. It's full of cow and horse and dog shit. All right, Barack and Bushinator on five points versus Joe and Donnie on two. Clearly, this was not a fair matchup. So this next 10 letter word will be three points if you win. There will also be a 20 second timer for each side to make things more intense. Are you ready, Bushinator and Barack? We're ready. Are you ready, Donald and Joe? Yes, beastie feastie, we're ready. Okay, Barack and Bushinator starts guessing the word. If you don't get it, you miss your turn. Oh shit, Barack, what word do you have in mind? Damn, this is stressful. 10 letters is actually hard as well. Um, I don't know. How about illiteracy? Yep, that's not a bad guess. Go type that in. 10 seconds. Quick, quick, type that in. All right, done. Joe, what's a 10 letter word that come to your mind? Ice cream and sleeping is what come to mind. My mind. You know, these aren't real words and not 10 letters, right, you sleepy ass? Then, what 10 letter words come to your mind? Huh, bomb and nukes, they're not better. 10 seconds. Shit, shit, hurry up. I don't know any words. Well, look at Barack and Bush. I don't know any words. See, what words do you see? I don't know any words. Hurry up. Alien and robot. Wait, farm is yard, so yard master, that's 10 letters. Hurry up and type that in. Fuck sakes, I'm sweating already. I don't know what words to type in now. Then use their strategy. Look at Donald and Joe. I see ice cream and Joe. I see fat and orange and Trump. Wait, ice cream, you can type in Hagen dazs It's an ice cream brand. 10 seconds. All good, you can type that in time, no problem. Holy shit, that's the most stressful round yet. Joe, you come up with a word this time. You know, I don't know many 10 letter words, right? Well then, look at you and me. What words do you see? We're low on time. I see obesity in you and I see smartness in me. 10 seconds. Fuck's sakes. I also see lots of jewels in you. I see mega jewels. I'm typing that in. Roasting me in time pressure is your strength, huh? Screw it. Hurry up. Don't lose on time. And done. That was so close. Bush, this is our last turn. I have not figured out this word yet. Shit, we can't even skip a turn anymore. I have no clue either. I'm looking around the room. I'm also out of words. Damn it. I hate Mr. Beast's time pressure. 10 seconds. Fuck you, Jimmy. You're the worst ref ever. 10 letters. Um, um. Oh, we can type, gentlemen. And then slap an S on the end. That's not the word because of the second last E, but whatever, screw it. Last word, brain function. Jimmy, 20 seconds. I think you think, no lose. Brain, brain, think, think. Brain, brain, think, think. Brain, brain, think, think. Brain, brain, think, think. 10 seconds. I hate your kids, Jimmy. Joe, I think I fucking got it. I really got it. It's government. Yes, that's so true. It fits everything. Five seconds. Hurry up, hurry up. I'm typing that word in now. Yes, finally we're back on par with them again. What the fucking shit? Why is that not the word? You actual imbecile Donald. Holy fucking shit. What's filled in your brain? Oh my gosh. You illiteracy just lost us $2 million. Your brain's smaller than a peacock. Yay, yay, let's go. Fuck yay, let's go. We are the champion, the ultimate Wordle champion. I'm coming over with Michelle tonight. Prep us some tomahawk steak. You bet. And the winner goes to Barack Obama and the Bushinator. One million dollars each. Congratulations. I hate you, Donald. Screw you, Joe. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
Donald and Joe. Yes, Jimmy. What's up? Thanks for inviting me and participating. You guys get $10,000 for competing. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Hooray, I just want a year's supply of ice cream. See you again in Wordle 11. Or see you in FNAF. Or in the sky. Subscribe to Top Presidents. I'm back, you brainless people. I'm sick of following my dreams, man. Unacceptable Biden. It haven't been 10 seconds and you got the intro wrong for the 11th time. You are so useless. Fine, I got it this time. Welcome back to Game Theory. Go back to sleep, Joe. Okay, good night, boys. Thanks, Bush. Now you made Joe go into his hypnotic state. I hope he is still asleep because I want to fart in his demented face. I'm also starting the three-letter word this time. And this time it has to be themes, or else we're going to get so many stupid guesses. Guys, where am I? You have shrank, and now you're in the toilet where I just took a big, fat, stinky shit. No, no, don't do this to me. Sleepy Joe, we are starting with three letters, and we are guessing Trump's word. Trumpy Rumpy, tell us your theme. Fuck's sakes, this would be way too easy. We agreed on themes, bro. Come on, tell us the theme for this word. Fine, then. This word is something I Donald Trump finds super-duper disgusting. It's so gross, I want to throw a up. A three-letter word that Trump hates it must be something very complex if it takes only three letters. Let me guess, this is something you use as an insult? If it describes you, Sleepy Joe, then absolutely. I don't think you think of Biden as a joyous man. Are you suggesting that I hate happiness? And if you don't, why did you run for President Grumpy Trump? You guys are fucking rats. I ran for president because I am Donald King Trump. I'm the best ever person in the history of mankind to be America's president. So rat is the word you hate, huh, Donald? What an intellect you are, Trumpy Rumpy. I'm typing that word in. Ha, 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 ha. You wasted a word, sleepy, creepy, pee, pee, Joe. Did you really think I would fall for you guys' provocation? Come on, guys. We literally wasted a word, and we didn't even get a letter. So it's something Donald despises, huh? Like your short tenure as president, where you were a great living meme? Sleepy Joe governments don't last forever. Look at Cuba. Good things don't last. And you will be kicked out of the White House in a few months, Joe. I can't wait for the day you step down and I rise as president once again. So you like the little things, huh, Donald? Small hands of yours, tiny sympathy combined with your small heart. Are you afraid of the big breakthroughs, Donald? Ah, uh, dumb shit. You trying to make me laugh or what? You sound like one of those old guys trying to get young people to like you. What's next? Put a cap back on and say, what's up, bro? Too bad robots don't have friends. Far out, this is such a hard one. We have gotten no letters correct yet. That's because Joe Biden, the ugly, demented face, is on your team. You can't talk shit, Donald. Did you forget in Wordle 10, the Wordle competition, you were literally the stupidest person in the group, you McDonald's infused brain cells. Ha, 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 ha. That was the best Wordle game of my life. Absolutely, partner. We destroyed Joe and Donald. Anyways, getting back to this word, Donald hates dirty stuff and instead liked to wrap shit up in gold, so I'm thinking it could be mud. He has to hate mud, right? You're close, Bush. This word I put in is close to mud. In other words, you can also call this thing a piece of shit. I bet you're one of those people who says the poor are poor because they want to be. Do you have any ideas then, Joe? You've got to find a way to get inside Donald's brain. Money, 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 money. What, what are, are you, you doing, doing Joe? Joe? I'm thinking like Trump, like Bush said. Don't be an idiot. It has to be something that's completely opposite to Trump's principles, something that goes against everything he's done. This is something that's just so despicable to me, but rarely can it be useful. Got it. He hates war. He actually loves war, Joe Biden. Completely wrong, and the A&R has been used. Aha! Uh -huh. It's cops. He hate cops for sure. Ah, Donald's still running away from the cops. By the way, I hung that mugshot of you on my wall. Yes, let's go, Bush. We guessed a letter. Two robot nerds and a cocaine addict still can't guess a simple three-letter word. You guys are all so brainless. Shut up, Grumpy Trumpy. I'm not a robot, neither is Barack. Joe think. You give us some ideas. Perfect. He hates China. Joe Biden, you impaired, medieval, foolish, catastrophic idiot. China has five letters. No, but he has a point. China is useful, but at the same time, they're a son of a- I got it. It's yen. The yen? It makes sense to me. That's China's currency Bush is referring to. Oh, now that makes sense. But wait, yen doesn't have an E. You said who doesn't have an ear? I didn't hear you, Barack. I'm typing in yen. You just wasted another word, you brainless, senior, immobilized scumbag. You should get on your knees and apologize to Barack and Bush for being so stupid, you cocaine addict. I've heard better arguments from a toddler's mid-tantrum, but please, Grumpy Trumpy, keep trying. Donald, you dirty, dirty pig. You're word is ho, isn't it, Trump? That's true, it's a ho. Joe? What's wrong, Obama-rama? No, Joe, but I mean, it might be Joe. Are you sure? Donald, you son of a fucking... I told you this thing is useful sometimes. That's not even a word. That's a big, fat fucking fraud. Joe Biden, is this thing useful? Of course it is, Donnie. Barack and Bush, in my previous episodes of Wordle, do I always hate Sleepy Joe the most? Um, I guess. You did hate Joe a lot previously, that's true. See, Joe Biden? You guys all answered my question, therefore Joe is something I fucking hate, is not a fraud. Anything fraudulent is your demented cocaine ass existing and staying awake at this hour. Okay, moving on. I got the word right, and this time it's a proper word, not like some people who just put stupid things in there. Shut up, Barack. It was super duper easy. I told you guys the clue at the beginning of the game. Do you have any idea what that word is about? No, none. Play it. Hey, I gave a clue. Did you give a clue? Does the opposite of Trump count? The opposite? Hey, we said we weren't going to use names. I didn't use names. Then why did you put Bush in? Me? Yeah, he said the opposite. 
opposite. What's more contrary than our governments? Don't be stupid. It must be good. Yeah, it's the opposite of you. We know that among the four, I am the best. Also, I take the liberty of picking first because I didn't play in the last round. You literally played the last round and insisted you wanted to pick your word. And you ended up insulting me, you fat orange sweet potato. Oh no, here he comes. Dirt! You guys are so dirty, filthy, and nerdy all at the same time. Just like that, I got one yellow letter. Guys, I got my word. This is the perfect word I will put in at this moment of the Wordle game. It's something that describes our big Trumpy rumpy. It has to be sleep or cocaine or kids. If it's none of that, it better be something good about me or else. What's that word, Joe? It's a substance that is formed after Trump's skin when you combine it with the word he just put in. Are you calling me huge or great? Fine, I'll give you another clue. You failed to get a tan in the sun, and when you combine it with the word you just put it, what do you get? Donnie, he's hitting at your spell. Special kind of sunburn. The sun loves me more than it loves you, Sleepy Joe. None of you guys are correct. Too much dirt and Donald Trump would get you a new substance called mold. Mold? What the fuck? Am I a dish now? A sunburnt dirty dish. Haha, <laughs> that's so true. Well, if we're keeping with the dish theme, I'd say Trump's more like a cast iron skillet. Claims to be non-stick, but sure does rust easily. Obama-rama, you sound like you forgot about the immigrants fleeing at the border. Let's keep out the political spears, guys. Give us a hint, Obama-rama. What's this word theme about? Fine, this word is something that describes me, the one and only Barack Obama. Black and old. Don't disrespect him. Obama's an athletic young man. And very charitable. Yeah, he supports charities and helps the poor all the time. Thanks, guys. Much appreciate those kind words. If it ends in a D then charity and fun goes together really well. Absolutely. Let's give that a shot. All right, typing it in. Wrong. You guys are so illiterate. I bet you the word is aged, like how old Barack is getting. Donald, stop calling people old here. You are the second oldest in this room, and I'm way younger than you. Speaking of age, cut down those Big Macs. Perhaps you could save a decade or two of your life. Barack, I'm like a fine wine. I get better with age. Admit you're just jealous that while you were munching on arugula, I was enjoying America's finest cuisine. Stop typing in age. You gotta stop insulting him, grumpy Trump. You're so fucking retarded. My God, that's... That's why you didn't get re-elected. You're not getting re-elected, Sleepy Joe. Tell me, what have you done? You deserve the Presidential Medal of Freedom, unlike me, of course. See, Bush, they said you didn't deserve the medal. I don't fall for provocations, Trump. We're not all monkeys in ties and wigs. Shut up, stone face. At least smile. Tell me, Mr. Smart Guy, who doesn't wear a wig, what do you think he is? Well, Obama's a straight shooter, and if he has to pull out a sword, he pulls it out. But the sword is too long. Not sword. It could be spad. Are you really thinking about that? Well, he has the ability to pull out a sword when it's needed, not like Mr. I'm going to lick my enemy's feet. That's literally Joe Biden. Is that all against Trump or what? You spastics, put up spad. I'm telling that can't be the word, you century-old pair of dinosaurs. No, I don't trust it now. It's too far-fetched. True, you're right. Try LAPD. What is that, a rock band? Donald, if LAPD was a rock band, their hit song would be License and Registration, Please. Los Angeles Police Department Obama had a lot of dicta about law and order and public safety. I can't think of another word that's four letters long and has A and D in it. Now that makes so much more sense than spad. Oh shit, put in the word spad. Bad. Why are you insisting on that word all of a sudden? It's our last chance. I guess Obama's big ego makes him think it's a sword and not a police organization. Wait, if it's big ego, then it has to be Chad, just the opposite of you, Trump. And that's what Obama would think of himself. Chad, it's obvious. Chad, that's some creative thinking. Anything opposite of Trump is a good guess. Uh, I've known many Chads, and they're all fantastic, but coming out of Joe Biden's wrinkly and stinky breath, that that guess would be a total disaster. Nice one, Joe. I genuinely didn't think you would guess this word. This is ridiculous. Every single time, Biden, every time, you clearly glitched this game. Welcome back, Brainless Bunch. Today is super special because I get to start. It's Joe B here. I will sing a song. You are not a singer, Joe. And for the 12th fucking time, you have gotten the intro wrong again. Joe, you are such a dangling, foolish, stupid, demented, and creepy old man. Now is time you dumb people start guessing my five-letter words. I'm pretty sure Joe got the word right last time. What word got Joe right next time? Hello, who are you? Joe Biden, let me help you out. Say I'm stupid and I will obey to everything Daddy Trump says. If you say that, you will get your memory back. I'm Joe Biden. Oh, hey, guys. Hello, Trump. Hello, Barack and Bush. Joe, hurry up. Start with your five-letter word. Barack, I single-handedly fixed Joe's dementia, so of course I get to start the word. Oh, Oh, that's right. Now, I remember we were playing Wordle. What theme is this word, Donnie? This word that describes somebody in this room, and I'm telling you, this is a super hard word to guess. You stole Joe Biden's turn, Donald, so I'm going to type in spaz like you're a spastic old man. Since the biggest nerd in this room has no clue of this word, I'm going to be the nicest friend you ever had and give you guys one more clue. We're probably better off without it. Shut up, Joe. Let Donald give us a clue. Nope. Since Joe didn't want a clue, none of you guys get a clue. Please, Donald, give me a little clue. Then I will give you a big, big kiss on your cheeks. Yuck, yuck. Get your stinky dinosaur extinction century old 
all breath away from my face. I bet you this word is so hard that the brainy Bushinator can't even guess it. Screw you, Donald. I'm typing in a word that is super controversial, especially for America. That better be the N-word Bush. It's my favorite word. Georgie Bushy Wushy, do not type in that word. You are going to get us canceled and we could get demonetized. Shut up, nerdy robot. Let Bush type in that N-word. Is your word the N-word Bushy Wushy? Well, it has something to do with color as well as black and white. That's definitely the N-word. Hurry up, Bush, type it in or else I will type the word in for you. Do not type in that word, Bushy. Haha, <laughs> get pranked. I'm typing in panda. It also subtly describes Donald Trump in a way. Are you calling me black or white Bushy? I'm neither. Okay, Donald. Now, Bush wasn't even close, so give us another clue. Fine, then. This word is quite the controversy. Aha, uh -huh, I got it. It's something that describes us and controversial. The word has to be something to do with Barack Obama. Why the fuck do I always get bullied whenever we talk about anything related to color or intellect? Why just why? Because you married Manchel and all of us have proper wives. Do you have any ideas, Joe or Obama? I can't read the minds of mindless people. Fine, I'll take one for the boys. Donald always calls me a nerdy robot, which is super fucking annoying. So I will type in nerdy and sacrifice my soul to get us a clue. This is the N-word. No shit, Joe Locke. Of course I put in the N-word. Grumpy Trumpy, you are seriously going to get us canceled. Holy Moses, you actual fat pig of a racist brain cell. I love it when Obama loses his mind. Ha ha ha. Guys, don't type in the N-word yet. I have something even better to figure out whether or not it's the actual N-word. Mm, something five words long with N and A in it. Something that's not that kind of the N-word. Guys, what else can it be? The N and A lines up and there's going to be two G's in the middle. Obama just said jizz. Was Manchel around? Donald, I wonder why you are still not in jail. Your word is enough for me to sentence you to jail for life. I'll just tell the officers it's all fake news and Joe Biden rigged everything. Guys, I'm seriously considering an N-word to put in and then figure out whether or not it's actually an N-word. Joe, obviously it's an N-word. The N is green, can't you see with your eyes? Joe! No, Barack, I mean, I want to type in Ninja and figure out where the I goes so then we could judge whether it's the N-word you guys are referring to. Joe, you stutter worse than a newborn toddler. You could type in that word, then we can get more clues for the N-word. Trump, you replace the I with another letter to sound like an E. Didn't you, Trump? Fine, I'll admit it. I didn't expect your brain to think so deeply and come up with such analysis. You are officially a nerd Barack Obama. Exactly. Boys, let's find a word that has two G's in the middle and we get Donald's stupid word. Obama, you just said to jizz in the middle. Jizz in the middle of what, Manchel? Shut your french fries mouth up, you chubby chub. I think we should now figure out where the eye goes. I'm thinking something like kiwis. Oh my god, Bush, I love kiwis. Don't they grow on the same trees as those tree kangaroos? I mean, koalas? You should be the new koala species. These animals will never go extinct whenever you're around. Let's call it cocaine koalas, discovered in 2023 by Donald Trump. Ha ha ha, that's the perfect name. What's up, cocaine koala? Shut up, you animal racism couple. Bush type in kiwis and find out the eye. All right, I'm on it, sleepy koala. That's the wrong word, cocaine koala. It's your final guess, cocaine koala. Let's make a deal. If I get this word right, you guys stop calling me cocaine koala and call me Joe instead. All right, cocaine koala, I accept your offer. What about you, Trump? I accept your offer. This is a very hard word, sleepy cocaine koala. Okay, so the words start with N, end in I-A, and has an K in it. That means the K has to go before the I and A. Then the letter after the N must be a vowel. It's Y, Z, one, two, three. I did not follow a thing you just said. So after that analysis, you're suggesting the word is something N, Kia. Is that right, cocaine koala? You're on the right path, cocaine koala. Come on, Sleepy Joe, you got this one. So the word is nukia, like Trump wants to nuke a country ending in IA. You're very smart, cocaine koala. No, Sleepy Joe, what's another word you can put in? Another vowel is O, so Nokia, what's Nokia? Joe, did you just say what is Nokia? You are actually a cocaine koala. Did you really forget what Nokia is, Sleepy Cocaine Koala? Nokia the brand, Joe. Do you remember now? Nope, I got no clue, but it seems like Nokia is the right word. I think I'll type that in. Finally, Joe Biden, you got the word right. I'm proud of you for once in my life. Joe, Nokia is an old flip phone before iPhones or Androids came out. Do you remember now? You get to play the classic snakes on that phone. Remember we played that games a couple times? Oh, I remember now. There was Snake Bounce and Space Impact. These were the games we played the most. So that's the brand, huh? Yes, Joe. Ah, those good old memories. Sad there wasn't Wordle back exactly, then. Exactly, Bush. Also, I just picked my six-letter word now. What theme is that word, Sleepy Joe? This word is something that I am very, very attracted to. I got it. No more clues needed. You are attracted to kids and children. None of these words will fit, even if you smack S's on the end, Donnie. Good point. Then I will smack an infant. Joe Biden and his senile cocaine ass has once again went down to a new low. I love infants, but too bad it's not my word. If you love it, why isn't it correct? Joe glitched this game again. I did not. If Joe Biden loves kids, Kids, that means he also loves people, right? He has to love people. Uh-huh. I'm not sure about that. I don't think he attracts, nor is he attracted to people. Joe Biden glitched this game. I did not. I will type in people no matter what. It could get us more clues. Joe Biden glitched this game. We heard you the first time, Donnie. Thanks, Bushy Wushy. This word of mine is something I'm attracted to, and I attracts. A lot of attention is given. At this point, I have not a single clue. 
word has an L in it, and I, F, and A. This is not the typical word Joe Biden will put in, that's for sure. Yeah, it can't be sleep, can't be kids or children, and it can't be ice cream. Joe Biden glitched this game. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Help us with the word, would you? Joe Biden glitched this game. I'm telling you, I know the ins and out of this wordle game, and there is no way his word is not infant. It's not infant, Donald. You face is a harsh, lying piece of crumbled plastic. Looking at your cheating face makes me want to stick my feet up your ass and punch you in the head. Then I will piss in your nose and throw you up the kangaroo trees. Then I will send you bags of cocaine and burn down your tree. Fine, do that, Trump. But I will order rockets at your mansion, send you tons of McDonald's and feed you like KFC chicken. Then I will steal Melania because I would have won the next election. Then I will order missile strikes to your house and you can end up in a McDonald's grave. Ooh, I think Joe beat you on this one, Donald. I agree anyways. Moving on to my guess, I will whack in Abacus. Don't ask me why I put in that word. Just a gut feeling. You guys are so stupid with your guesses. What is something you instantly think of when you look at Joe Biden? I see the best government ever to America. That's not true. I see ice cream and sleeping when I see Joe Biden. I see a good old pal when I look at Joe Biden. Wrong, I'm telling you. You guys are so wrong. Can't you see Joe Biden is fake? He's filled with fakery. I am a real person, Donald. Not a single ounce of plastic or non-natural substances in my body. Then if everything is natural, explain how you got dementia, Joe. Dementia is natural, just like your overinflated panda look-alike belly. Screw you, Joe Biden. I'm typing in fakery. That has to be the word. How is this not the word again? Clearly, Donnie, the E has been used, so it can't be fakery. I'm convinced Sleepy Joe glitched this game. I'm convinced Donald's brain is glitching. On Joe's behalf, he really likes fairness, and he treats everything fair and square. So the word could be fairly that something definitely attracts Biden. No bushy-wushy. Sleepy Joe made the game glitch. How can he be fair? Shut your fat mouth and your pussy-licking tongue up, Donald. We heard you the first fucking time. Fine, I'll stop saying Joe glitched this game. Joe Biden rigged this game. Oh, my fucking God. Can someone... Oh, Donald, if you'd be quiet for one minute while Obama gets his word, then I will buy you a large Big Mac meal after this game. Okay, deal. Only if it's 30 seconds. Fine, 30 seconds. Uh, finally some peace in my ears. Same, I feel so relieved. Okay, so final word, it starts with F-A, and it must end in I-L-Y. Oh, that's super easy. There's only one possible option here. It's family. Yes, correct, Obama-rama. That was a super hard one, not gonna lie. I had to make it hard, otherwise you guys will guess it way too quick. Hello, failures. Episode 13 of Wordle. Movie time. Get your popcorn. Joe, you need to go to a mental hospital as soon as possible. I will punch you square in the face, Joe. You are useless. I will Uber eat some KFC chicken to you, Trumpy Rumpy. You are built and fed like one. Shut your stinky mouth, you twisted creep. I will unplug you from your life support poo in your mouth, then dip you in white powder and yeet you into your grave, you wrinkly dinosaur. It has not been 20 seconds and you guys are fighting. All right, folks, today is my turn to pick the seven letter word since I got the word right last time. I haven't got a turn in ages. I'm back for revenge, you deranged Obama. All right, Trumpy, you've had some attention. Now let us grown ups do the talking. You know, everybody watches these videos for me. I'm the protagonist and the real wordle king. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. What, what did I do? You managed to get more than three syllables out of your mouth for the third time today without falling asleep. Shut up. You almost fell asleep playing FNAF. Also, Obama, what theme is your word? The word is not easy today. As far as I can tell, it has nothing to do with me, but it's something that could be considered important, at least as a result. As a result, well, it could be talent, ability, skill. Yeah, it could be ability. I'll write it down. Hey, what are you guys doing? I told you the grown-ups were going to talk. I am way more grown-up than you, Obama. With our age difference, you could almost be my African foster care child. If I were your foster care child, I definitely need to give my parent some lessons in maturity and diplomacy. Donald, you might be older, but age doesn't always bring wisdom. I'm talking against two nerdy robots again. Since we're being grown up and wise, I'm gonna bank on jackpot. I never knew you won the lottery before, Donnie. Have you been living under a stone, kid sniffer? Of course I have won the lottery. Lottery is pure luck, man. No, it's not. It takes proper training, discipline, and creative skill. It's a skill none of you have because Bush and Barack are robots, and Joe just snorts cocaine all day. Fuck sakes. Why am I here playing Wordle with Donnie the dumb nut. Anyways, if this word is a result of something... I'm thinking of what young kids today have in common. I can't believe your jackass brain came up with something so stereotypical. If all young people wear hats and ride skeds and snort cocaine just because your generation is a bunch of addicts, it doesn't mean all young people are the same. I agree with Trump about what he said at the beginning. I'm smacking in the word graphic. Hey, Sleepy Joe, that was my turn. Oh, Bushy, that was my bad. I really forgot you can have my turn next. How can you be so stupid, demented, sleepy, and a cocaine addict at the same time? At least Joe got two more yellow letters. Not that bad. Thanks for the encouragement, Obama-rama. Their romance makes me sick. I have a feeling they're going to end up kissing. You're just saying that because you have no friends. I'm saying that because Joe Biden's addictions are contagious and Obama will get affected. Then he will start sniffing kids, get dementia, 
dementia, trip on stairs, and snort cocaine. Then when America have Black Lives Matter revolution number two, remember to blame everything on this old sagging Joe Biden. Donnie, you're not helping us get the word bro. I bet it's another stupid word. Of course not. It's a very meaningful word to me. Well, not exactly. On second thought, maybe it's a social critique. Okay, so what is important to society? Equality and security. Right, security is the most important thing for a society, so it should be something precious. Security is being able to live your life in peace. Lives. That's right. The word has to do with life. I think you guys are overreacting. Bush, did a chipset enter your brain? You sound more robotic than Obama now. I think I'll start calling you Bolthead. Donald, considering how you talk, I would think you're the one with a short circuit. Uh, speaking of Obama's word, maybe it's more symbolic. If we add security and life, we have the value in it. All right, Grumpy Trumpy, if it doesn't fit, then the word can be triggered. Are you hinting you want to be part of World War III, even when your senile ass has retired Bushy Wushy? You're a fucking genius, Bush. I got this word 100%. I don't believe you Trump the rump. The word's starts with me. That's not the word, is it? Definitely not. Are you a moron? You've been screaming polemics all night, and now you... We all think the same thing. Admit it. What else do we have left? Something sacred, important? It fits that description. Besides, it has to do with Obama, him and his moronic ego as usual. Donald, don't you dare put in that word. You are freaking getting us demonetized, Donnie. I'm telling you, I'm 100% certain it's the N-word. I will punch you in the fat face if you say it. God, if this is the word, my respect for Obama will disappear. It has to be that word. What else can it be? This word fits all criteria. I don't think Obama will put in that word, right, Obama? Um, guys, I don't know what to say at this point. Obama the robot, Rama, just admit you are trying to gaslight us. If anything happens, just know we are all friends and we still support each other. You just admitted that word. It has to be the N-word. Don't say it out loud, Donnie. Starts with knee. It can't be. It ends in ga. Please don't do that, Donald. And the word is knee and ends in that gar and finally slap that curvy S on the end. I told you it wasn't that word. I knew it. What in the glitching fuck is that word then that describes Obama? He's literally that word. Maybe diggers. Let me try this one. What, what kind of stupidity is that? It's the Indiana Jones reference. How does that have anything to do with you? Or are you saying Michelle is a gold digger? Holy cow, they're archaeologists. Isn't that obvious? I never even heard of that. See, Barry Obama, even Joe doesn't know. That's the stupidest word ever. Whether Joe knows wouldn't mean much, but admit that was a hard word. That's literally kindergarten level words. You confused all of us with your hints, bro. Guys, guys, I already picked the word. I'll give you a proper hint. It's something I love, love, love so much. Be quiet, I Joe. Let me just type in my word. And that's the easiest round ever. Oh, oh, it's not ice cream. Is it just me? Or every time it's Cocaine Joe's turn, he has to say a word from a rare foreign brand that doesn't exist. I don't do drugs, Trumpy Dumpy. Joe is a dinosaur who thinks he's president. When he snorts coke, he gets kind of crazy. <laughs> Why, what are you laughing at? You can't deny it was a good one. Agreed. But it's your turn to guess Grumpy Trumpy. Well, I'm the expert on brands and companies here. No. 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 What? What company is no? I have a sneaking suspicion it has to be some food that Joe Biden likes. It's got to be something consumable that's branded. Cocaine Joe Biden could literally put in anything. Before you do anything stupid, let Obama write first. Do you really trust him after last time's fiasco? Obama's still more trustworthy than the fat, bald elephant sitting on the other side of the computer. At least I'm not malnourished. Are you sure you're not an immigrant? After thinking about it for a while with my great intellect, I've come to the conclusion that Joe's word has to be an ice cream brand. Bravo. Another great accomplishment by Barack Obama. You should put that in your next book. Trumpy Rumpy, come on and try guessing my word. I think your word is cocaine related. You sniff that bag of shit every waking second. Will there ever be one episode where you don't bully our boy Joe? People came here to see me bully that piece of rotting fossil. I was kind enough to let Joe Biden be the nerd in FNAF, but in Wordle, I am the real Wordle king. You haven't even guessed a word right in the last three episodes, you KFC steroids injected fat belly. Joe Biden, the second your senile ass die, I will piss in your nostrils and use your hollow brain as a poo container. Then when it is all filled up, I will throw you onto the kangaroo trees and feed tree kangaroos. You just admitted you have a small PP. Are you fucking stupid cocaine addict, I will connect your body to my toilet and all of my waste will fill up your body, you rotten corpse of a skeleton. Donnie, I will shit on your face. Keep dreaming, Cocaine Joe. I will type in narcotic. I found a bag of that shit inside Jill's cupboard, you drug addict. That wasn't narcotics, that was creatin. Why the fuck do you have creatin, Joe? Because whenever I work out with Jill, we eat creatin to recover our muscles. What workouts do you do, Joe? You know, that one I like a lot. For fuck's sakes. Jill's skin sags harder than Nicardo Avocado's belly. Let's move on from the cocaine addict. Bush, it's your turn. I completely disagree with your statement on Joe Donnie. I think as the current president, Joe is a very powerful and useful man to the American people. I'm standing in the middle. No comments from me. So you're saying Joe is useful after all those sky-high inflation, high rent prices, and people losing homes. What is wrong with you? It's like you're any better when you are in office, Donnie. Donald Trump is economic boom. Joe Biden means sleeping, which means depression. Let that sink in. Okay, viewers, who is better president for the American economy? Me or Sleepy Joe? You better type in 
in me or else I will find you and send you in prison. You literally came out of prison a week ago, Donnie. Exactly. You can't talk shit big, fat, grumpy, trumpy. I changed my mind again. I think Joe Biden's word is something to do with little kids. Joe, you are a creepy old pedophilic kid sniffer. I'm typing baby doll. That can't be right, Barack. I'm still convinced it's food related. Obama, why did your nerdy robot brain write this? Sounds like you got it. Enlighten us, Mr. Grumpy Trump. What is the word? Ha, it's bomb. Bomb's only got four letters. Ings. What? You can't fool me, Joe. I can read your mind, bitch. Oh my days. I could be sipping champagne with Michelle instead. I'm telling you, the word is 100% bombings. I don't like bombs. You are so fat and stupid. Tell me, Joe, you made the game glitch again, huh? All right, boy. Getting back to the real research. Final analysis. It's a product that has O-G-A-D-T-R-E in it. There we have the seven letters. What word can you make with it? This has to be some made-up word again. It's not Donnie. This is something I really love. I can't wait for Bush to get it wrong, so I get my turn. If Bush get it wrong, it's Joe's turn again. That's not fair. Damn, I got it. Do you see the word? Fuck you, Bush. I hope you get it wrong. I can't make any words here. It's Gatorade, Joe's favorite energy drink. Yes, that's right, Bushy Wushy. I love Gatorade. I'm so happy you know my favorite drink. This is so rigged. When will I ever get my turn? If you stop being a dog shit, you might think properly. <laughs> that's a good one. You are super boring Bush and Barack, and Biden is more useless than motherfucking worm. Subscribe to Top Presidents. Hello, illiterate people. Welcome to Wordle 14. Ma, yeah. Hey. Ma, yeah. Ho. Joseph Sleepy Biden, did you just try to fucking sing the Dragoste Adinte or the Maya He Maya Who song? Maya Who Who. Cocaine fucking Joe, can you ever get one wordle intro correct, you sleeping corpse of a mummy? I think Joe is sleep talking right now. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I just peed on my diapers when I was sleeping. Your stupid fucked up brain will make China invade us in no time. And if we have World War III, it's all your fault, cocaine, sleepy Joe. Fuck you, fat ass. I'm changing my diapers now. Be right back. Don't bother waiting for that century old T Rex sagging balls bag of shit. Let's continue, boys. I'm back. Whose word is it? You're kicked out for being so stupid, Joe Schmo. Someone didn't drink their milk this morning. All right, folks. It's my nine letter word, and this is something. I wish I had more. I'm guessing first. No, you're not. Snort some cocaine and sleep with tree kangaroos. I'm guessing first. Fuck you, Donnie. I'm putting in jackfruit. You can't stop me now, coconut head. Of course, your demented jack ass will type in jackfruit. What's next? Jack sleep? No way your brain came up with a nine letter word that quickly, Joe. You Googled it, right? No, I binged it. Are you that fucking stupid? You really need a Google knockoff to come up with fancy words? Are you going to play, or should I continue to watch you two insult each other? I don't even get a chance to talk this whole time. Donnie, your turn. Um, actually, I want to go last because I could probably win this round. What's your theme again? I forgot with these two idiots continuously whining. It's something I wish I had more of. It's not an easy word. Now we have two nerdy robots whining. I never thought of a day Bush wants more of something. Bush might want more land in his backyard to grow more crops. Or Bushy might want more horsey so he can try to become a Texas cowboy. That's so true, Donnie. You know me too well. Exactly. That's why people always say that I am the real Wordle King. I'm thinking of something different. In Bush's presidency, he always considered to be hawkish during his term. That's exactly why I was the better president, because I am the complete opposite. Given Take Trumpy Rumpy, we both had our fair share of wins and losses. Donnie and Bush, no need to argue politics here. Saying that just in case. I'll type in hawkishly. Bush does have a very hawkish approach to America's economy. You have to be so brainless to have a hawkish addiction. It's just like how Jerome Powell is sucking all the money back from his money printer after printing too much money. And now everyone suffers from inflation. I'm slapping in brainless because Bush definitely needs more political and economical brain cells. This is so childish. Trumpy Rumpy to put Bush in that position. Don't be a moronic bully big man. I'm sincerely sorry, Bushy Wushy, and to you, Joe Biden dangling diaper baby, you can shove your opinion up your nose and snort some marijuana before I piss in your nose to flush down your opinion. I'm not going to answer that, Trumpy Rumpy, because I still need to come up with my nine-letter word. I mean, the A and the S has already been revealed, but there are so many letters to juggle around. Obama's the pro at juggling around things. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Donnie? Mm. I really needed more of that, but there is some constraint which is stopping me to get more of that thing. Bushy Wushy wants more. It has to be farm or Texas-related. Yeah, I agree. I don't think Bushy needs more money. He don't need businesses, not food. It has to be land or farm or animal related. That's exactly what I said. What was that? A ghost? Sounds like the ghost of a prostitute is talking. Donnie, you son of a Mary Trump bastard. You are more of a prostitute because you have the weight and the milkies of one. Ha ha ha, dang. How does it feel to get roasted by Sleepy Joe, huh? Grumpy Rumpy. Fuck you guys. It almost sounds like the three of you want to have a threesome now. Just admit defeat Trump the Grumpy Rump. Anyways, I got my word. It's farm related and Bush wants more of that. What's my word then, Sleepy Joe? It's farmyards. It's obvious it has something to do with farms. Joe Biden is 
demented and gay. Aha, uh -huh, I definitely got this word. Joe Biden is demented and gay. Shut up, Donald. I think the word is... Joe Biden is demented and gay. Shut the fuck up, trumpety humpity dumpity. I heard you the first time and I didn't answer for a reason. That's because your doddering, horrifying, stinky, crumbled pair of brain cells are too old to come up with a comeback. Well, at least my brain cells have experience. Yours seem to be on permanent vacation. Ha 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 ha. Damn Joe with the comebacks today. What has gotten into your brain, Joe? Did you snort too much coke again? Nah, Donnie. Joe's just smart with his comebacks. Maybe peeing on his diapers is his secret recipe to brain function. Okay, anyways. Bush, I definitely figured out your word this time. Damn it, I hope you get it wrong, you immigrant. I have not had a turn in at least three episodes. Only someone like you will get this word wrong, Donnie. We have farm and end in an S. And we also have W, I, and E. This word is way too easy. It has to be farm wives. Damn it, but nice one, Barack. Fuck sakes, this game is rigged. Why do you want more farm wives, bushy wishy? Because I need a cleaner, a cooker, a farmer, and someone to take care of the kids. I wish I can get four wives, but I'm not allowed anymore. That would be the perfect family for sure. Can't disagree on that one. Anyways, it's my turn to pick a 10-letter word, and this word is high class and precious. I'm going first this time. I got the perfect word that describes Obama. Are you going to type in the N-word and somehow magically fits 10 letters? This is your last straw, Donald. Last round you fucking typed in the N-word, and I still haven't gotten revenge on you yet. But that was the best N-word ever. I got six letters correct, remember? But you still typed in the N-word, you racist pig. I swear, Donald, if you say anything racist today, I will punch in the fat belly and take a shit in a bucket and dump it on your head. Obamna, the word I type in definitely describes you and it's quite disgusting. Fuck you, Donald, you absolute shithead. Calm your tits, Obama-rama. All I'm saying is the truth. Then what word is it? Don't type anything stupid. This is something that's extremely precious to Obama and I find it super disgusting. Donnie, I swear what to- What is it, Trump? I'm curious, just like everyone here. If it's not the N-word, then what Since is it? Since you losers want to know so bad, the word has something to do with manshell. Donald Trump, you motherfucking wanker. Obama had to wake up with a bone in order to riz up Manchel and get penetrated by Michelle's chopped off big black cock because Manchel is a man that chopped his wiener off in order to look like a woman. Donnie, you racist, obese bitch. Last time you whacked in the N-word, and now this, you are going to pay for it. Karate pow! Ah, ah, don't do that. Get down, Juji Wookie. Fuck. Nagashi Uki. Finally, that's for calling Michelle a man. Oof, finally I'm relieved. Damn Obama-rama. I never thought you knew karate. Those moves were amazing. Haha, <laughs> let's go. I hope Donald behaves himself now. Fuck you guys. I might be in the hospital bed now, but I will still win this round. You're lucky I didn't drone strike you, Donald. And you're lucky I didn't get a chance to squash you with my big belly. Haha, <laughs> my turn to guess the word now. Oh yeah, I almost forgot we were still playing Wordle. Whatever happened, guys. The four of us boys are still best ever friends. And friendship is something that's forever precious to all of us. I agree, Bushy Wushy. I love seeing Donald in the hospital bed. I even feel super relieved. You call that friendship Joe Biden, you sag in one piece demented skeleton? You are literally in a hospital bed, Donald. And for my apologies for beating your ass too badly, want me to order some McDonald's or KFC drone delivery, Grumpy Trumpy? That would be super nice of you, Obama. While you're at it, send me a bucket so I can take a shit in it and I can dump in on someone's head. All right, order on its way. It should come in less than two minutes. Thanks, Obama. Also, I just got my word. I think we're zigzaggers because this dumbass makes us move back and forth with every stupid thing he says at every game. You're literally typing in a word that doesn't exist. Shut up, Grumpy Trumpy. I think your stupidity is contagious. I didn't give it to you. You were born that way. Let's move on. Donnie, it's your turn, bro. When I look at Sleepy Joe and Obamna, I want to do something that you need lots of precious American dollars to buy. It's probably a made-up word again. If you're thinking of buying more self-awareness, let me tell you, it's priceless. There is no better representation of our interactions among us, and I want to do this right now. It's probably something bombing related. That's literally Donald's brain's thought process whenever he gets mad. Absolutely bushy-wushy. The word I'm whacking in is explosions. I will order a nuke and kaboom both your houses. No, for fuck's sakes, Donnie. This word is something we all have in common, and it's precious. It's more than obvious. What are we all? We are all straight white men. Correct, but Obama's not white, and Biden's a bit gay. Now, Bushy, you're risking us getting demonetized, bro. We are all precedents, pure examples for the American people. Aha, uh -huh. thanks for telling me the word bushy-wushy. I would have never came up with this word. Oh, my days. How long does it take for you guys to figure out we are president? Exactly, I figured it out, Obama-rama. I'm typing in just that. I swear to God, for three fucking consecutive videos, I have not got a turn yet. Joe Biden or Robot Rama must have glitched this game again. Oh, Donnie, by the way, on my GPS tracker, it says the delivery has arrived. Yay, what did you get me, Obama Rama? KFC or a Big Mac meal? Open it up, Donnie. You have five seconds. Five seconds for what? I think Obama ordered a drone strike to your hospital, Donnie. What's that beeping sound? Ah! Ha ha ha. Oh my god. See you in the next video of the Wordle competition. Welcome back, illiterate people, to Wordle 15. <laughs> Joe Biden, wake your wrinkly ass up. 
I'm gonna slap you on the forehead. Ouch, what's happening? Hurry up. Take your pills and get your ass here to play Wordle. What's Wordle? What's ass? Joe Biden, you never fail to amuse me of how useless you can be. You messed up the intro 14 times, and this time you fucking fell asleep, you hopeless, demented moron. Oh yeah, we are playing FNAF. Let's go. Once again, Cocaine Joe, we are playing Wordle. Today is super special. Obama explained to Sleepy Joe for the 15th time. Today is an official Wordle competition, and it's every man for themselves. You get a word right. You get one point. And back to Donnie for the details. We have invited a special guest again for the referee. Welcome to the one and only world's most famous brokey and misogyny, Andrew Tate. Hello, presidents and viewers. Super glad to be here. We are going to be professionals today and have a fair and friendly Wordle game. Oh my God, my kids always watch Top G. How is it going to work with four of us and six guesses? I will come up with a word, give a hint, and you guys take turn in guessing the word. You guys will rotate into the next round in order, so it's going to be all fair. Sweet sounds good. Let's go. What's the hint for the first word? For this three-letter word, this is something I have. And Joe, you can start first, followed by Trump, Obama, then Bush. Easy peasy. You love cars, so I'm going to type in car. Are you really that stupid, Joe? It's the top G. He won't put in an easy word, dumbass. You need to remove his brain like a chess player. Then what's your guess, Donnie? You're lucky you and Joe gets two turns for a simple three-letter word. Don't try whacking in bomb or nuke Donnie, saying that just in case. I'm not stupid, guys. I will show you who's the real Wordle King. I think the word Andrew put in, considering he is a controversial prisoner. You fat nerd. Hurry and chuck in your word. Shut your gay ass up, sleepy cocaine, Joe. The word I'm putting that Andrew have a lot is also something I have a lot. A clogged brain? No, we both are super strong men and we both get to open doors to a lot of sex. Gosh, Donnie, we're just trying to play Wordle. Maybe keep the open doors metaphor for one of your hotels. I'm whacking in pot. I'm sure Tate has lots of weed in his home. Damn it, I got you guys a green letter. No way he smokes pot, Barack. He will literally tell you to breathe air. Starting with a P, then there is I and U vowels remaining. It could be pick. I actually got this word. I 100% got it. It has to be that word. No, Donald. It's my turn. Sleepy cocaine, Joe. Don't you dare put in my word, or else I will shove in up into a sloth street. There's only one vowel left, and it's in U. So it's likely pug or pun or pub. These are the only logical words right now. I'm thinking of one of these. Don't you dare guess it, Joe. I think it's got to be one of these three words that fits Andrew Tate. Come on, Joe. You have one in three chance here. Ye, nee, me, nee, my, nee, Joe's obsession with children makes me want to punch that demented head in his mouth and make him poo out his own head. Screw you, Donnie. I saw Andrew Tate got a new dog, so I will whack him pug. Damn it, that was my word. Oh, what the heck? No vowels in this word. Andrew fucking Tate trying to troll us. And to you illiterate dumbasses, the Y can act as a vowel sometimes, so the only possible options here is pry and ply. That's true, good point. I'm surprised your brain came up with the Y idea that quickly. It's just a lucky fluke performed by Donnie. You have one in two chances, Donnie. I will whack in ply. Wait, what the fuck? Ha 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 ha. The word is PhD dumbasses. You illiterate prisoner that's not even a word you need to come up with proper and actual words my sincere apologies boys i really didn't know that rule at the start the next word will be proper word since when did you get a phd you prisoner phd stands for pimping hoe degree now let's move on to four letters and this thing is the best in the world the last round didn't count that means i get to start off again no you don't barack starts then me then joe this time even the top g said last round didn't count so i get to start and i'm super convinced it's this word donnie it's my turn don't worry obama rama even if trump gets all six turns he still won't get it so let him have this turn. Sleepy Joe, watch me get this word the first go, you cocaine children addict. Is it some dirty word again, Donnie? The word starts with a B and it's the best thing in the world. Let me guess, you're gonna type boob next? Joe Biden, you dirty senile mammal. You've got so many gaps in your teeth, you can't even suck on one. Ha ha, good one. What's the word then, Donnie? I'm telling you the word is 100% bomb. Wow, I am so surprised, Donnie. So, so didn't think you would put in that word. Wow, Donnie, good job. Whoa, what a word. Maybe you can type nuke next. Ha ha. See, even the two robot nerds approve my word. Donnie, you orange Cheetos, they are clearly being sarcastic, you illusional idiot. My turn. I think the top G think being rich is the best thing ever. Let's go two letters. Damn, I don't get to have the last go. Fine, I'll get you guys more clues. I will whack in jail, considering how much this guy has changed after being in jail. So true, Bushy Wushy. I think Donnie can relate to that as well, even being inside for 20 minutes. It's horrifying in jail, guys, but you all know me and Andrew being in jail is complete fake news. I never thought we would be playing Wordle with two prisoners in a room. That's quite outrageous, to be honest. Never in my life did I expect a room to be 40% prisoners. Ha ha. We're indeed making history. Sleepy Joe, your turn. Except for Andrew and myself, none of you guys can last one minute in a jail cell. This is the proper training grounds for real men like us. That's because we are proper citizens and we don't need jail time. Exactly, Obama-rama. Also, I will use all the letters from this word and I will type in arch. My turn, I have a feeling Andrew Tate is messing this round again. No way, Donnie. There is already a vowel in the game. It has to be a proper word. I'm telling you, Bushy Wushy, you only joined us from episode six and I'm telling you this game glitches whenever we do these competitions. This game had not glitched a single time, Grumpy Trumpy. I've seen it glitch before. Trust me, I'm the true master of Wordle and I understand every nuance. This game aims to mess with 
with your mind. Donald, you might have seen it glitch before, but around here we call that user error. Ha ha ha, Obama spitting facts. I'm telling you, this has to be the B word. Did you steal Ballora's panties from FNAF and have it over your face? Can't you see bomb was incorrect? It's not bomb. It's something that describes Andrew Tate. He is a big brown and bold prisoner. I can't wait when Top G smacked the shit out of you and I will laugh my ass off. My turn. This word clearly start with a C-A, ends in H, and as presidents we print this shit and we all know that cash is king. That's correct, Obama. Donna, you really just admire my hairstyle over yours, right, big man? Hell no, you're a bold egghead and I have golden hair. And mine's way more shiny. Anyways, five letter words, and this is a word that describes all of you guys. Good luck, presidents. Now for my turn, I will start us off with smart. I don't think any one of you will disagree with that. I disagree because clearly we have an oversized dumb oompa loompa. Oh yeah, I forgot the rumpy pump lump trumpy is with us. Shut up, nerdy android and marijuana sniffing Joe. You and your living zombie ass will die in no fucking time. Too bad you have the ability to die peacefully as I cannot enjoy you suffering in pain. You also have the ability to die from a stroke and heart attack, which is also disappointing because you will die in an instant without feeling distressed. Biden versus Trump, who has the better health comment below. It's obviously me because I am always above that fat oompa loompa and we are all above average American citizens. Joe, the only thing you are above is everyone's age in this room. I'm surprised you're still alive because genetically speaking, you should have died a decade ago. Trumpy Rumpy, it's your turn, you oompa loompa. Or should I call you humpity dumpity trumpity? Bush, I'm pretty sure the name Orange Cheetos will summarize everything. That's still too long. Better just say fat boy instead. This is the first official warning you old threesomes. Stop making these these retarded nicknames or else I will call my Afghanistan friends and offer them a penny to raid your homes. Alrighty, Donnie the Bunny. Guess your word now. I like that bushy-wushy. Hurry up quickly, Donnie the Bunny. I hate you guys. This word combines something that describes all of us and I'm 100% certain it's this word. Okie dokie, Donnie the Chubby Bunny. Enlighten us with your word. This is strike two, all of you. One more time there will be severe consequences. Donald Ronald, we are all curious what the consequence will be. Tell us, Donnie the Bunny. The consequence is I will get this word correct and I will do this at the same time. We're still waiting, Trumpy Rumpy. Screw you, Barack. I will order three bombs and bomb all your houses. Why did I get the B but no words correct? And then you will end up in jail again. Remember to tweet another mugshot when that happens. Can we all just take a moment to realize that at this rate, even a nine-year-old could probably play better than us in a game of Wordle? Yeah, I wonder who's messing up all of our guesses. Exactly. And the perfect word to describe all of us presidents is we are a true role model for U.S. citizens. And who just said we play worse than nine-year-olds? Yeah, exactly. Obama-rama has officially been disqualified as he failed to pass a simple test for robots. I'm not a fucking robot, you Oompa Loompa. And at least I didn't put in a B word three times in a row. Putting these letters together, I think the word could possibly be brome. Bro, we're dealing with Andrew Tate. You think he has a love for grass, bro? He's obviously calling us broke. Broke? What the fuck? I am a billionaire and I'm the richest person in this room. Congratulations, Joe Biden. Now the official score is one to Barack and one to Joe. And to you, Donald Trump, I am a billionaire years ago. Did you somehow magically 10 times your net worth just because sun could reflect off your bold ass head? Not only my head, but also my body. I am a living source of energy. I can solar power Teslas with the reflection off my shiny head. I bet you my belly is shinier than your burnt egg head. Now moving on to six letter words, this word is complete and utter trouble. Ha ha ha, oh my God, Andrew Tate is fucking hilarious. Sleepy Joe guessed last, so now it's my turn. For everyone watching that burnt and bold prisoner, we are all gonna be doomed and you have to be so stupid to think Andrew Tate is richer than me. You literally invited Andrew Tate Donnie. Once again, Robot Rama, you are so nerdy, you forgot to realize that when it comes to business, I will crush anyone who's trying to compete with me. I mean, that's a debate reserved for another day. I'm curious between you and Andrew Donnie. The word I think that's super troubled is webcams. There has been way too much content that should not be released out onto the internet. I 100% agree, Donnie. You should inform Melania that news and your kids. That has to be the most messed up shit you said for the entire day. What has your creepy ass cocaine child snitched? dinosaur been searching on the internet, Joe. I've been searching for cyber attacks. It's something I'm fighting, and I'm just giving you a friendly reminder to be safe out here. Oh, good point, Joe. I will put an attack for my guests. And I will follow you guys up with the word crimes. Joe Biden is America's worst president and a crooked criminal because he sniffed kids and snort cocaine all day long. Remind me again, Fat Cheeto, who just came out of jail. You started everything cocaine, Joe. Oh, wait, I got my word. Donnie, one and only warning. Don't you dare type in the N-word like you did in Wordle 13. And don't type in bomber nukes. Because it doesn't fit. And it's nothing sexual, Donnie. So a three-way romance, huh? Are you guys going to kiss next? It's called bromance. Barack, you should add Manchel into your gang, and you guys can have fun four ways. This is so foul, Donnie. Thanks, bushy-wushy. At least someone here has some common sense. This is a word that only me, Donald Trump, and the top G will understand. Joe Biden is too old to know this word. What's a matrix, Donnie? It's a movie! Congrats, Trumpy Rumpy. You're a real G. Everyone has gotten a point except for bushy-wushy. Moving on to seven letters. This is my favorite thing. Best of luck, top president. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Favorite thing for Andrew Tate has to be seven months in prison. Again, it's something that shaped him. Just like me, a prison visit will make me come back bigger and stronger. And maybe when my belly reflects from the sun, my net worth can 10x like Andrew Tate. <laughs> Quote by Donald Trump, 2023. When my sun reflects off my belly, my net worth 10x. That's a quote to remember. Lamau. Donnie, your belly will start shrinking instead. Anyways, I'm locking in prisons. I will KO you whenever we have a 1v1 in a boxing ring anytime. Yeah, your winning technique is make your belly shine and blind me from the light reflections. I'm sure you can get world champion and even beat Mayweather with that strategy. You're just jealous you turned from milk chocolate to triple chocolate after being under Michelle's ass and you can never shine like me. Well, I would love to have some chocolate or double chocolate or even triple chocolate ice cream. You guys are so pathetically stupid. Aha, uh -huh, I got my word. I'm thinking of Muslims. Andrew just converted and he's now a Muslim. Speaking of that, I also got my word. Just type in sleeper or cocaine. Hurry up and let's move on from cocaine koala. You guess was close, Donnie the Rumpy Bunny. You got the ER right in sleeper. The word I was thinking of is fighter. Whether or not you can fight Joe, the end result is the same, falling asleep. At this point, you can say, Joe is KOing himself every day. Obama-rama, don't you always surrender when you're under Michelle's ass? Ha 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 ha, you're a legend, Sleepy Joe. That means Obama is not only getting KO'd, but he's being KO'd by a woman. I fucking hate you guys so much. Man, Shell even gets to take his breath away. You call that double instant KO? You are such a moron, you fat Oompa Loompa. I'm whacking in mugshot. I hope your dirty ass goes back to jail again. My turn for the final guess. We have UG and two T's. This word is super duper simple. I see UG and two T's. It's obviously mug tits. There is no M, you oversized Oompa Loompa. The word Andrew likes is obviously his famous Bugatti. Oh shoot, why didn't I think of that one? Nice one. The score is currently officially one point each. The next word is something I'm well known for. I've seen your video of you disagreeing with me and a lot of things. I'm slapping in disagree. You're super well known for that. Even I disagree with you, cocaine, sleepy Joe. At least half of the people around the world disagrees with you being president. Can we please take politics out of the equation for once, grumpy Trumpy? Yeah, good point. I need to not let sleepy cocaine Joe beat me in this competition. You haven't even won a single competition, Donnie. I won the first one, then Bush and Barack won the next one. And I feel super confident I will win and Donald will not win today. Let me focus, Roborama. I think this word has to be Tate's rise to fame. How's that well known, Donnie the Bunny? Because no one gives a fuck about Andrew Tate and he wants to sound relevant. Then why did you invite him as a referee, Donnie? Because he is the world's most Googled man and I can get in touch with him to get me extra clout on the internet for my next campaign. And Sleepy Joe will be dead by then. In fact, he should have deceased to 60 years ago. Once again, age is just a number, Trump the lump. And yours take forever to count to. It would waste many minutes off someone's precious life. I'm smacking in vanquish as in the Aston Martin car model. Why in the fuck would you type in Q and U in a word? This is literally the worst consonant you can ever type in. Can't you see Obama-rama? I get the final turn so chances are I will get the word right and get another point. I think I know the word now. I'm most likely certain it's that word. Give me a hint, Bushy. What could it be? I only have one turn this round. It's all men for themselves, Barack. Sorry, pal. I really need to win this one. Damn it. I really have no clue. I'll just try typing in Miss Prize. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, yes. This is perfect. Andrew Tate is well known for his misogyny. You guys are so boring, it's almost an insult. How are we insulting your orange Cheeto? Because you guys talk like nerds and I'm super smart and boring my intelligent brain is a direct insult. Super nice, Bushy. You're on two point and the rest is on one, the next nine letter word is something that we all have lots of. And if used correctly, it can be super powerful. All right, boys, let's blast through this round. I'm feeling the heat now. This is super fun. I have so many things I can use that are powerful. My turn. We human beings are uniquely different, and if used properly, it can be really powerful. Too bad Cocaine Joe is super irrelevant today. He looks like a shaved caveman of 1,000 years ago. You're just saying I look super shiny and have good skin care? Actually, Donnie, if you rub raw pork fat on your body, you will have the same shiny effect. I rub pork lard every day which is why my skin still looks super young. Joe, this has to be the most weird and messed up shit you said today. So you're saying when I shook your hand today, I was grabbing raw pig fat? That's 100% correct, Obama-rama. What the actual fuck? You abnormal alien human look-alike creature. Donnie, if you rub them on your balls every time you finish showering, they will become ultra shiny and smooth. Joe, that is one beauty tip human beings could have lived without knowing. Let's move on. I'm typing in a celebrity. As in Joe Biden is the most crooked and the weirdest wannabe celebrity on this planet. I have to agree on that. Though I have to follow you up with your word, Donnie with influence. As in, we have positive influence and Joe Biden, on the other hand, influence people in the most wrong way possible. At least I never talked about bombs or drones striking a country, guys. Seriously, Sleepy Joe, you moron. We do that because no one will ever dare to mess with us. Now China will start a World War III under your old demented presidency. It's got nothing to do with China, Donnie. I'll whack and bombard it. Like, even if they invade, we could use all the bombs Trump left for us. I'm so touch bushy wushy This is the first ever time in 15 episodes has someone approved of my bomb. See, Barack and Joe, that's what you call true friendship. bushy wushy Wow, you really do have a soft side. We finally cracked the Trump code. Obama, that's one for the record. We need to frame this moment.
Donnie's soft side is rarer than a total solar eclipse. I got it, Joe. This is the sweetest moment Donnie has ever been. I'm also seriously out of nine letter words at this point. The only word I can think of now is airplanes. Not a surprise, Joe. Have you learned how to walk on stairs? And there goes Trump full crazy mode right out of the gate. Slow down, Big Mac protein. We haven't yet enjoyed your kind side enough yet. Want to talk more about bombs, bro? Yes, only if I can send one to Joe Biden's in Obama's house now and kaboom his senile ass. Hurry up, Donnie, type in your word oompa loompa. Do you have anything else better to say other than bombing us? Shush, Barack, I'm trying to figure out my word. Starts with A, end in E. So it's something A, Lee, E's. Can it be anal titties? Anal titties, you gotta be out of your mind. Wait, Barack, my bad. That word doesn't fit. I also forgot the B. Let me think. I super hope Donnie gets this wrong so I get to walk away as Wordle champion. Wait, guys, so titties is too long. If I have it, then abilities is not a word. Hold up, I got it. The word is abilities. That took your oversized brain cells long enough to figure out. Nicely done, Donnie. Now two point to Donald and Bush. The rest of you guys are on one. Now I will skip the 10 letter word because the next 11 letter word is the most important thing ever. Good luck, champs. Alrighty, so 11 letter words and I get to go first. The best strategy here is to sacrifice a turn to get some clues. I will type in misogynists again. Oh my god, I still can't wrap my head around why Donnie invited a bold prisoner as a referee. I think Donnie is trying his best to get us demonetized because he has not yet won a single Wordle competition yet. That's because you glitched the game, Joe. Otherwise I would have won the first and previous Wordle competition, you pig lard testicle. I'm gonna type in expertizing as in being an expert is really important. Not the kind of trash talk skills like Donnie, by the way. First of all, your senile, demented ass spelt expert advertising wrong. Secondly, trash talking is an art, one that you clearly haven't mastered, and an art you never will master because the only thing you've mastered is sleeping and being useless. To be fair, Joe was more useful than you today, Donnie. You typed in bomb three times, and you had to burn all your backup energy to figure out the word abilities. Trump the rump, I think you need to drink some milk. Your temper's getting too hot right now. Fine, I will whack in the word responsible because I am the most responsible person in this room and I am the real Wordle King on two points. Haha, <laughs> you said so much, but you ended up saying nothing. All I hear is blah, blah, blah from Donnie the Bunny. Grumpy Trumpy, you are so moody today. Let's just move on. How can I not be moody when the demented skin cancer, vitamin B12 deficiency, thyroid disease, and AIDS crumbling rotting ass is packaged in front of me? I do not have AIDS, Donnie. But you can't deny the other four diseases because I just Googled your health conditions just then. I doubt you will survive another week at this point. Trumpy Rumpy, you gotta stop this. Google is a place to do educated research, Donnie. Jesus Obama, I just researched Joe's mental and health problems in days till he will die. That's proper Google research, Obama. Now I will shove a finger up your ass and I will finger transfer all the diseases I have. Then you will have same Google profiles as me. Before this argue gets any worse, let me type in an important word. That word is adolescence, the most important times of our lives. Obama Rama, you are taking me back in time when I was still deciding if I wanted to be a fighter pilot or president. I remember those days. The world seemed so big and the choices even bigger. Those were the days when our biggest decision was which flavor of ice cream to get and whether or not to take an afternoon nap. Classic Sleepy Joe. And now you added snorting cocaine and kids sniffing, then finally your dementia kicked in. From tomorrow, I will keep count the number of times you call me demented and cocaine, and every time you say it, you give me 100 bucks. Deal. Best deal ever, because you will forget whether this deal even happened by tomorrow, Sleepy Joe. We seriously can't play one Wordle game without you two fighting like babies. Let's move on, Bush's turn. If this word is super super important, then it has to be something like brotherhood. We are kind of having one right now. How the fuck did you get that? Ha ha ha, that's called instinct. Nice, nice, very nice. Bush, you are on three point, Donnie on two, Barack and Joe on one point. This next 12 letter word has something to do with me. This game is clearly rigged. Move over, Joe. I get to go this round because I'm one point behind Bushy. Hey, Donnie, you cheater. Don't blame me. You're on one point, Joe. You won't get three point anytime soon. This is a fight between Bush and me right now. Grumpy Trumpy, you greedy cheater. Every word will competition you find a way to be greedy. Come on, Donnie, bring it on. First word I'm locking in is bold prisoner, because that's literally what Andrew Tate is. Oh my fucking God, I don't know any 12 letter words. Oh my days. I'm gonna type in billionaires. I'm almost out of vocabulary too. I don't know what word to put in now. Come on, Joe, think you can find a word. My brain is actually dying. What words are there? Looks like someone's going past their bedtime. What is something you want to do, Joe, or something you see? I really, really, I want to sleep now. I'm so tired. Jesus Christ, Joe Biden. The one word I can come up with is Lamborghinis. 12 letters is so damn hard. I need to think something to do with the top G. I already typed in bold prisoner. What else is there? Come on, Wordle King. I'm right here to take your spot. Uh, I'm still thinking of a 12 letter word. Seems like Joe's stupid brain is contagious. Okay, boys, let Joe take his nap. 
Waking him up will do you guys no good anyways. All right, I come up with something. What's that theme song called? Oh, that French Andrew Tate song. I forgot the name. Oh, I got it. It's Turner Dan Levy. That has to be something to do with the bold prisoner. Honestly, Trump, I also don't know this 12-letter word, so we'll try to use all my letters and put in prize fighter. I'm super curious to see what this 12-letter word is going to be. Congratulations, Bush. You are the official top G of Wordle and the top president. Fuck's sakes, what even is this word perspicacity? Sounds like a pervy ass pooed in a city. My unmatched perspicacity, coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. Welcome back, stupid people. The birds, the singing, the rivers. Please, can we have a peaceful day for once? What happened, guys? I just woke up. Joe messed up the intro for the 16th fucking time, and I'm too busy to yell at him because I was a little too busy organizing my entire harem of women. They're impossible to control. We already know you went to get your prostate checked, grumpy trumpy. Joe, you are a repeat customer. You're the only one who gets it free every day because you're literally a walking advertisement. You have no proof of that, Donnie. I saw it with my own pair of fucking eyes. The video's right there on your Pornhub profile. What the fuck were you doing on Pornhub, Donnie? Tell us. Um, I mean, I didn't mean to... Let's play Wordle. You're probably looking for girls. I can't wait when you get another mug shot. Joe Biden, I will open a jail cell next to your house and I will drag your old ass in there when you're sleeping at night. We have not had peace for even a minute yet. Who's starting today? Of course it's me. It's a 100% me. Screw you, Donnie. My computer, my rules, I'm starting. Hell no, Sleepy Joe. All you are good for is typing, sleeping, and cocaine. You're more boring than my grandma. Let's have Joe start this round. Your meat riding Joe is crazy, Barack. Is that how you ride Manchella? every night? I'm not going to answer to that. Who's guessing first? What's the theme of your word, Joe? This word is the start of something. A thing that can be good or bad. I got it. I'm guessing first. Fortunately for you, Donnie, I didn't pick a business nor a brand this time. No shit, Joe. The only brand you know is sleeping pills and you've ran out already. Actually, Donnie, I think you have a little too much greatness. I'm glad you admit it. He just called you fat. For God's sake, Bush, I wanted to laugh at him for not getting it. Come on, peeps. Guess my word. I'm still waiting. Joe, you said this is the start of something. Just because cocaine is important in your illusional world doesn't mean you can put it in here. Try putting cocaine in there and see if it fits orange bitch ass fat elephant. Shut up, cocaine sniffer. I bet this wrinkled drug addict is talking in his sleep right now. And you are talking from your ass, you fatty. This word is something that can be good or bad. Global warming? No, because he said something. As an object, it's symbolism. I got it. That cocaine sniffer must have typed in ice cream. Can you count, Grumpy Trumpy? I can count to a billion Joe Biden. You would fall asleep by the time you count to your age. Donnie, how can this word be ice cream? Because Joe Biden typed in ice and makes us think it's something important. He's trying to trick us. In fact, this is the first time I've ever seen Trump think... I don't need your flattery. If I didn't get this word wrong on purpose, the rounds would only last one guess. Says the one who hasn't won a game in three episodes. I bet he's on his fourth. I bet I'll beat all of you, I'll win this round, dumbasses. Admit you're just a sinking sag. Let me put it in. Why did you write sag? Because sagging skins of certain people in this room tells us it's the start of a new generation. I bet that comment was directed at Joe. He's a gray-haired fossil that's about to spoil. I bet you right now he's watching gay porn while snorting a kilo of cocaine to make his next bad presidential decision. And I bet you he's not doing that now. He'd make better decisions than you. Okay, Mr. Economic Recession. There is no economic recession, stupid. Fine then, how about Mr. I'm making the Chinese dollar the new world currency. Sleepy cocaine addict. I was analyzing while Trump and Joe were kissing passionately. It could be something... Get to the point, we don't want five minutes of you talking about why you chose gay and explaining why it's a theoretical and semiotic representation of your desire to farm crops or suck. Uh, was that insult directed to Grumpy Trumpy? No, Trump do not have the intellectual capacity to formulate a sentence let alone a long one. You guys attempt to ride each other's meat fucking grosses me out. I'm gonna type in gut. It's something all of you need to take good care about. That was a brilliant guess. Now we just need to guess that last consonant. There's lots of words starting with G-U. How will you guess it? I got it, I got it. It's clearly an important word to people, especially for Obama-rama. It's a three-letter word. It's super obvious. I wonder what kind of racist jokes you're about to come up with a three-letter word this time. Obama-rama, you love, love, love this, and it's super important. Donnie, it's not drone strikes or bombs again. Are you sure it's a proper English word, Donnie? 100 a proper word, and I'm super certain it's this word. Anything could get into Trump's head. Come on, Donnie, what's that super important word that I like and start with G-U? You love to do this, Barack. You should know it yourself. The word is obviously gag. That's your word. Gag? Are you kidding? What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Donnie? You love to gag on Manchel's BBC and get penetrated by her at the same time. Isn't that obvious? What in the actual fuck, Donnie? Come on, show us what kind of shit you've been searching for lately. Donnie's been searching for how to beat up apes. 
And then an image of Michelle with Barack Obama popped up. How would you know that, Joe? I'm going to hack into the U.S. military and order drone strikes to your homes. Then I will open a school for seniors just for you two morons. And Sleepy Joe Biden would be your first customer. Yeah, want to go to school with me, Trumpy Rumpy? We can be best buddies. Hell no cocaine, Joe. You are the most wrinkled, dangling, frail, rotting dinosaur wherever you go. Anyone near you will be prone to getting bullied. Barack, it's your turn now. You're right, Bushy Wushy. I'm done listening to these idiots. There's G-U, and it's something important. I'm convinced this word is gag again. It's the most important human ability. Can't you read, Donnie? The word starts with G-U. And you got it wrong. Reading is for stupid people. There are only two alternatives, mine and the wrong one. My first instinct to this word is gun. It's the start of something and perfectly fits the criteria. Good job, Obama-rama. This word was a bit too obvious for you. Cocaine, Joe, is that your perception of reality? A malnourished African that- Shut up! When we're finished, I'm gonna give you an even worse beating than I gave you two days ago. No, let him finish. I wanna hear him say it. You really thought you're gonna manipulate me? Well, in keeping with the game before Trump gives us a strike, it's my turn. I picked something. What's the theme give us a clue? Is it sleep? Is it pills? Is it ice cream? It's my ass, Joe. Nope, none of that. Is it related to you? For once, Donna, you are correct. This word is something I love, and it's something I like for real this time. Is it penis? Donnie, you don't even respect your mother. You're such a scumbag. First of all, take the cocaine out of your mouth. You inhale it. You don't swallow it. Cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. Can't you say anything else? Of course I can tell you other things. Say them then, Donnie. Later now we're playing Wordle Sleepy Joe. See, your jokes aren't funny anymore. You're going out of style. The future is today and Trump is forgotten. Shut up. Nobody knew you before you became president. If they Google you, you came up before the election as senior citizen who can't find his vibrator. You're a bad person. I'm going to kick your ass. Come on. I bet if you try to hit me, you'll break into pieces. Did you eat today or did the dope keep you from eating? See, you can't go five minutes without making a dope joke on me. Ladies, ladies, it's nice to see two people show their undying love, but viewers are waiting for us, so hurry up. Every day, Trump's love for Biden gets more implausible. Barack, you're more likely to divorce yourself to marry Biden than I am to even say the word in person to that cocaine addict. Based on what Obama's been through lately, based on my interpretation as a good friend, colleague, and brother, and based on the vitality he's had lately, I theorize that the word is slip. Why on earth would I like that, Joe? You're right. If you had said Manchel's tool or dong, you would have nailed it. Since neither of you are taking this seriously, I am. Let's see. Think like Obama. Think like Obama. It's me. I'm big. I'm the best. I've got books talking about me. Look how good I am. I'm not like that. Yes, yes you, you are. are. Kind. It fills in every letter. You mean king. That would be getting into Obama's head. Don't be an idiot. I'm definitely typing in kind. You see how it's not right, bushy-wushy. That's why I know and you don't. You don't know Obama. Nobody knows him. I know what he really thinks. He, he just... He just... He thinks of... Oh, no, here it comes again. Donnie, don't you dare. He thinks of bombing Afghanistan every day. Kill me on that one. Fuck's sakes, Donnie. It's gotten into Obama's head. Hey, I was about to say that. You too, Biden. You love to put Humpty Dumpty together. No, of course not. And now it's my turn. Let's see, as Obama's best friend... Actually, I'm starting to doubt that sleepy Joe. Why is that Obama-rama? We are best buddies. Joe, I'm telling you, I got the B and O right. If you type in bomb again, the M and B will become green next. Donnie, you know there is no way I typed in the word bomb. Aha, uh -huh, I got it. B and O word, which Obama loves. Oh, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, yeah, I see you figured it out. The word has to be boar. Obama rides that every day back in Kenya, and he could easily camouflage in a pack of boars. Yeah, you really are stupid. I just did a little research on Obama. Good thing we're former presidents, and there's a lot about us on Google. Yeah, there's so much that people could imitate our personalities in stupid videos. Like, like that, that happens. happens. Then I discovered the word. It's something Obama talks about. It's book. It's more than obvious. Did you research Obama, or did you research Bill Gates? Because the only thing bookish about Obama is the size of his face. He looks like a Stephen King book. Stop projecting Trump the orange rump. Ha <laughs> ha, I told you. I knew that's the right word. You wrote Bach. <laughs> the moron type Bach by mistake. Hey, hey, anybody can make a mistake. Not so intellectually superior, Bush. Least I expected. He got hit hard right in the pension. It was the light. A light came in the window and hit me in the eyes, and I saw the O for a C. I don't know about you, but I'm typing in the word. That's cheating, Donnie. I think I know the word. It's book. I told you it was book, Donnie. Hey, slow down, old man. I said book first, so that's cheating. Finally, Trumpy Rumpy, you finally got a word right at the cost of Bush's mistake. Uh, I thought a book, and Bushy was meant to type in the word book. You what? Does your line say book? Screw you, Donnie. Now it's my turn. Say hello to all my uninformed viewers. Ah, uh, I'm a Barbie girl in a Biden world. Has no one told you that you are old, Joe? For the 17th goddamn time, Joe, get the intro right. I am plastic, and it's fantastic. We already know that Joe Biden, you are made of plastic, and you are not a human. I bet you touch Melania's plastic every single night, right, Donnie? You can't talk shit, Joe. And they're off again. This time failed to survive 20 seconds of peace. Joe, you are literally covered in cocaine and plastic. And you eat plastic. Monkeys and chimpanzees, whose turn is it for this word? It's my turn, old man. Remember I got the last round correct? We are going from bad to worse. And Donnie, stop calling people old. You are literally the second old person in this room. I only call it like I see it, and from where I'm standing, Joe's acting decades older than both of us. I'm not that old. 
only three and a half years older, Donnie. But to me, you sound like you're at least a century past your use by date. Donnie, how about you start using that youthful brain of yours and come up with a five letter word? Just to make you happy, Robot Rama, I've came up with my five letter word and it's something to do with humans. What if Donnie is trying to fool us and puts in that favorite word of his? Are you saying he put in bombs? Or are you saying he put in nukes? No, you illiterate people. If I put in that word, no humans would survive. It defeats the purpose, you morons. Okay, how about this? I put in bombs. Then if I get it wrong, then one of you put in nukes. Sounds good? Yep, that is a good idea. You put in bombs, then we can get more clues of the word Trumpety Dumpety put in. Hooray, Obama Rama, you agree with my ideas? I'm a genius. The only thing you're a genius at is sniffing kids, sleeping and snorting cocaine just to stay awake, Joe. I'll order a Big Mac just to shut you up for two seconds, Donnie. Yes, please, go do it, do it now. Ordering food now. Joe, I reckon you should continue with your idea. Oh yeah, typing in bombs right now. I told you, cocaine sleepy Joe, the word is not bomb. Obama go type nuke. Did you just try to mimic an African accent, Joe? Wait a second. This word cannot be nukes either because the S has been used and it's incorrect. Hurry up, Obama. No one wants to hear your nerdy robotic analysis. This word must have be something like, I'm the best, the greatest, something like that. The kind of things you think of when you think in Trumpy Rumpy's shoes. So you're saying Trump is not insulting anyone today? I don't think so, no. I mean, Trump did say this word has something to do with humans. There's not much insults he can throw out there, I believe. You guys will never guess what I am thinking. I think I will type in major because Trumpy Rump always think he is so big and important. He says stuff like, I'm the major of the best. This word also doesn't repeat much letters. At least you got the R correct, Obama de Lama. None of you are even close. I thought your brain was nerdy, Obama. It's my turn to guess now. You need to think inside of Donnie's brain, bushy wushy. And you need to learn to think Joe Biden. Anyway, now it's my turn, and I'm going to say what it is because I don't think Trump's brain gets very far in thinking. Number one, it has something to do with humans. And number two, it's not an intellectual word. Georgie, bushy wushy, you old man, you've got to stop underestimating me. Did you forget who the real Wordle King is? I won the last Wordle competition, dumbass. And no, Donnie, I'll prove it to you that you are not so intelligent. Why on earth did you write next, Bushy? Because I'm not going to write in that word. The word? Don't tell me it is that word. Of course not, but I will give you guys one last hint. Okay, Donnie, what is that hint? The hint is that this word is an N word. We are not blind, Trump. We can see the N is green. I was saying that just in case Cocaine Joe fell asleep again. I think I got it. Is the N word. I said that a second ago. That is copyright strike one Joe Biden. But I definitely got it. Donnie loves this N word and it's related to humans. Please, for the love of God, Joe, don't type in that N word. But I have to type in that N word. The word literally starts with an N. Can't you see Obama Rama? Just whatever you do. Don't type that N word because you will get us demonetized. But I have to type in an N word. Joe, don't you dare type that word in. I'm typing it in. Do you want to get canceled, sleepy cocaine Joe? Of course I don't want it, Donnie, but I'm typing in nukes. Oh, pew, I'm relieved. Haha, get pranked Obama Rama. Joe, your pranks are so bad, even five years old girls won't fall for it. Obama almost fell for Joe's prank, Donnie. That's because Obama is a robot and robots have no emotional intelligence. Screw you, Donnie. I've got the perfect word for my next guest to figure out your word. Yeah, do that, Barack. Then you can get more clues for Trumpy's word. No, you sleepy Joe. This is an ultra hard word. I will type in the word never. If we don't get the E and V, then it's obvious what word Trump was trying to type. You are such a nerd, Barack. It's obvious my word is an N word. Why did you put in that N word, Donnie? Because it has something to do with humans. Yeah, yeah, no shit, Donnie. I'm typing in my word now. Wait, guys, I need your help for one thing. What is it, Grumpy Trumpy? Do you need help getting out of your chair? No, I need help because I just forgot how to pronounce that word. Let's move on, guys. Donnie is just playing stupid. Now, I'm being serious, how do you pronounce that word N-I-G-E-R? Is it knee or lie, and does it end in gar or jer? Good point, Donnie. I honestly don't even know. Wait, I thought Obama would know this word best. Now Obama's playing dumb, huh? So if Obama doesn't even know, then you need to trust me on the pronunciations because I put in that word. Let me help you out, Donnie. The word is pronounced as Niger. So the country has one G and the N word has two Gs, right? I'm absolutely speechless. Wait, Barack, are you saying the word is pronounced as Niger? Shut the fuck up, Donald. Let's move on to Bush's word. Finally, we can move on from Donald's whining. Shut your demented, ugly, skin cancer-looking face up, Joe. You whine more than me and you are more stupid than me. And you are more orange, fat, chubby, obese, fake, criminal, racist, shit-haired, arrogant, ignorant, and most importantly, more incompetent than me. Your entire career, Joe, and the most memorable thing about you is me. Think about that. Also, I've got one word for you. Crack, look it up. Funny how you mentioned crack, Donnie. Maybe you're just reflecting on your hairline. Kids and babies. I got my six-letter word, and this is the perfect word to describe Trumpy Rumpy. Well, it's obvious that word. There's no other six-letter word that better represents me. Obviously, Bushy Wushy is talking about bigger. 
because there's nobody bigger than me. Oh, please, Trumpy Rumpy, bigger? Did you really think Bush would put in a word for you to guess in your first guess? Ha, 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 poor Humpty Dumpty Trumpety. Not so intelligent anymore, huh? You guys are such crybabies. I have a strong feeling this word could be bomber. It can't be Grumpy Trumpy. Bush would never say anything flattering about you. Don't make me fall asleep, Sleepy Cocaine Joe. You're boring. You're just parroting what they're saying. Let's get on with it, folks. I'm kind of in a hurry. Are you seriously going to change your diapers again, Georgie Bushy? Don't mess with Bush, bro. At least he has some very high class. Thank you, Obama. It's good to know you're the only one in this room to still have some sense. No, Bushy, I've got the most sense, and that demented kid sniffer has the least amount of common sense in this room. Fuck you, Donnie. I don't sniff kids, and it's clear I have more intellect and common sense than your big grapefruit coconut head. When you fall asleep, Joe Biden, I will sneak into your house, put Jill to deep sleep, then I will start farting in your ears, piss in your nose, and poo in your mouth, you dirty, creepy, and senile crack addict. Don't you dare say this about my Jill, you Big Mac-infused orangutan with hairs of a sloth. You would run out of energy by the time you reach my doorbell diabetic criminal. And you Joe Biden. Boys, boys, let's get on with my guess. No, no bushy-wushy. I was enjoying their toddler fights, man. I got the perfect word to describe Trumpy Rumpy. No way you got my word. It's Polish because Donnie looks clean from the outside, but your brain ain't got nothing inside. See, this is what I've been trying to say for a long time. Biden is not somebody who's in his right mind. That's why I should be reelected. Please, Donnie, let's not campaign now. The United States of America needs a tough, smart, tough leader who will lead them to economic growth, who will make them richer. Say no to a government government of leaks say no to a government of Biden. Biden means prostitute in an ancient language. Vote for Trump. Donnie, there's only one word that describe you and I will put in that word. Haha, <laughs> it has to be legend. I am a legend to come up with a speech on the top of my head. Trumpy Rumpy, I didn't hear a thing because I was taking my pills. Too bad you missed the best speech ever, Joe. All right, Donnie. The word I'm whacking in to describe your extraordinary actions today is... It's legend. I'm a legend. No, it's stupid. In fact, I think I should have typed in that word many episodes ago to describe you, Donnie. That insult should have been directed to Joe Biden. He is the stupidest person in this room. The fact you eat way too much McDonald's already makes you stupid. Imagine if none of you guessed this word. Then I can call all of you stupid. Bushy wushy, you just got lucky on the previous round. It's your turn, Donald. We're all waiting for your guess. I think Bushy wushy is trying to trick us. He's saying this word describes me, but I think this word clearly describes Joe Biden, the creepy crackhead. Oh no, Donnie, you're gonna get your word wrong again. There's no way Bush will lie in his speech and what he says. Clearly, he's being seriously. Once again, I am a legend and I can read people's minds. I think the word is rapist, as in how Joe Biden raped little kids. <laughs> Why do you think I do that, Donnie? So you sound like Santa Claus when you reach climax, Joe? Uh, yeah, what the fuck was that sound you just made? Don't worry, I was listening to some Coco Melon. Kind of 80 year old watch Coco Melon. A wrinkly, pervy cocaine addict whose name is called Joe Biden. Fuck you, Donnie. I have the word to describe. Your criminal orange fat ass. You better not get this word wrong, Joe. There is literally only one option in here. Okay, Obama-rama, the word Bush put in that describes that orangutan is racist because this chubby chub was trying to be racist in the previous round. Joe Biden, can you not see the T at the end? Bushy wushy that's the word you put in to describe me, huh? I'm only saying the truth, Grumpy Trumpy. We all know that's a fact, bro. And the final word is racism because Donnie the Humpity Dumpity is the most racist person in this room. Just because your chocolate and Michelle's triple chocolate, it does not make me a racist. Donnie, Barack, Bushy, which one of you said chalk chip ice cream? What's up, not so smart people? Hey everybody, this is Atlas. Atlas, what has gotten into you today? Yeah, Atlas, because I'm the one carrying the burden of running this show. I don't wanna know how many hours it took you to put that presentation together, but for the 18th fucking time, Joe, you got the intro wrong. That's because I'm a genius. Joe, you're a dumbass. I'm the genius, billionaire, virile, and young. Virile, young? Yeah, compared to you, old folks. Donnie, you're literally an animal lard ball. Haha, <laughs> Obama Rama, Donnie is an orange lard ball. Shut up, you pot balls. What are you saying, Trump? I didn't hear you. Is that because your hearing aid is broken? I just don't understand animals. Haha, <laughs> Donnie got roasted for once. Woof, woof, I will bite your legs off. While you guys were barking like dogs, I already chose the word. I don't want to waste my time. Will there be a hint? Not for you, Donnie, because you're a bad dog. I don't need a hint anyway. I know what the answer is before we start. I don't doubt that, Mr. Linguistics. I bet Obama put in a nerdy thing again like he always does. Of course not, because I think fair, right, Joe? Well, what do you mean, Obama-rama? Ha 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 He just called you stupid? Obama-rama definitely didn't call me stupid, you fat orange lard ball. Come on, if no one's guessing Obama's word, then I will go first. Screw you guys, it sounds like you all are teaming up on me today. I think you guys are all dog shit friends. Fuck sakes, Donnie. Looks like I have to give you guys a clue before this gets any more stupid. The word I put in is something a bit dirty. I hate you, robot. You said the clue after I put in the word, but I seriously know Obama's word today. What's your ideas, Donnie? 
Share them with us. No, Bushy. I have two ideas, and each idea cost a million bucks. Is one of them the correct answer? Yes, one of them is definitely the word Obama put in, I'm telling you. Donnie, can you give me the idea you have for free? We are besties, aren't we? Hell no, Sleepy Joe. No friendly discount. A million bucks for every idea. I don't have a million bucks. Can you at least give a clue? Bushy, are you really going to trust Donnie on this one? Of course, Obama-rama. Donnie sounds super serious today. See, robot man, no one likes you. Everyone likes me because I'm the real Wordle King. I hate it when you call me that. Obama-rama's pushing it. Now robot man is gone too far. Alrighty, I'll buy your hint, Donnie, on my next turn. But for this one, I will type in disease. Speaking of disease, good job, Joe Biden on the quarantine, by the way. Millions of people died because of you. You should be ashamed of your demented coke-snorting self. Donnie, you illiterate fatty. Did you really forget you started it? And when I'm in office, I cured the disease. You have smaller brains than a newborn baby. Ha 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 ha, that was good. And that was true as well from Joe. Don't get excited. I highly doubt he could ever formulate another sentence in his life that was remotely intelligent. What happened? Did I hit your micro-ego? Ha ha ha. <laughs> wow, that's Joe's brain rebound. Okay, okay, Bush, that's enough. It's time to show you why I'm a genius and make it clear why Joe just got lucky. I'll prove to you I'm smart and I won't need your hint, Donnie. You will not get this word right, Sleepy Joe. You have the final chance to buy a hint off me for a million bucks before the price of a hint goes up to two million bucks. If you can do it for half the price, I will send you a year's salary for your hint. Okay, Joe, deal accepted. Great doing business with you, Joe. Just when I thought Joe was smart a second ago. Okay, Donnie, what's the hint? You promised me for the hint. Okay, Joe, shh. You don't want Bushy or Obama to know? Ha ha ha, Joe is about to get scammed. No way, Donnie knows my word. He could possibly hack in the computer too, Obama. Okay, Donnie, tell me now. I better be right. Okay, shh. The word Obama put in that's a bit dirty in seven letters. Joe Biden. It's the word asshole. Let me break it down. It's seven letters and assholes are the dirtiest part of a human body. And I bet you Michelle's asshole is even more dirty. This word will definitely be the right word. Fuck you, Donnie. You just scammed my half a million bucks. The word starts in D-I, you dumbass. Give my money back, Donnie. Trust me on that, Joe Biden. I know Obama glitched the game and tries to play tricks on your eyes, Joe. This is not sounding good. Joe, what did Donnie tell you? Was he even close to my word? No, guys. Donnie said the word was asshole. And for the reasons you guys don't want to know, especially Obama, you definitely don't want to know he reasoned. Okay, at least he tried. But rest in peace for your one-year salary, Joe. Wishy, wishy, you're not helping. I will put in Big Macs because if I get my money back, I will find a way to force feed Donnie's orange lard ball with half a million bucks worth of Big Macs. I told you, Joe Biden, I have two hints. You unluckily picked the wrong hint. And this final hint I have will be sold at a discounted price of a million dollars. Hell no, you fat orange lard ball. I'm not getting scammed again. I might consider your hint, Donnie, only if you agree that I get to beat you up if it's wrong. Deal accepted, Bush? I haven't accepted the deal yet. It's your turn, Donnie. Hurry and put in your word, man. It would be super unfair if I put in the word because I already know Obama's word. Then whack in your word, then. I doubt you know my word, grumpy trumpy. So dog shit was right, but now there is an extra I. The word has to do with shit because it's dirty. That means the word must be dipshit, which explain all of you guys in this room today. Okay, so I officially lost hope in Donnie's ability in Wordle. I will come up with the word myself. No, Bushy. Okay, special deal for you. One grand and I give you the hint. Donnie, no one in this room would want your hint, man. I'm telling you, it's definitely the correct answer. Hell no, Donnie. That hint you gave me was super duper wrong. That's because you got unlucky, Joe. You and your senile skin crackling coke addict will always run into bad luck, bro. Fuck you, Donnie. You still owe me half a million bucks. That's what you call the state-of-the-art deal, cocaine sleepy Joe. Okay, whiners, I got the word. I don't believe you with these letters. No way, Bush. Let's hear it, Bushy. It's a dirty word and the words start with D-I and ends in an S. So that means Obama whacked in an S on the end. No shit, Bushy Wushy. Even Sleepy Joe can see that. I'm surprised you saw that too. Now this means the P has to be in the middle. So when the A has to go in front of the P. Are you sure, Bushy? I wish Bushy gets it wrong so I can burst out laughing. What's next, Bushy? If the E goes after the P, that means the word has to be diapers. Let me type that in. No way that's right. Oh yes, let's go! Why was your word diapers, Obama? Of course Joe would ask. Let me guess Manchelle wets the bed every night so she needs diapers. Fuck you, Donnie. One more thing about my Michelle. I will bitch slap the Will Smith out of you. My turn now, haha, but why was it diaper? That's because it's a fun word, and just in case I had to roast someone during the game. But you unintentionally roasted Manchel instead. That's it, Donnie. Har, fuck you, Barack. Ha ha ha, that's what you get for scamming me, Donnie. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, I got my eight letter word, and it's something nice. I hate you, Barack. I will definitely get you back soon enough. So if it's bushy wushy putting in the word, and it's something nice, then it's seriously a very nice word. You just repeated what Bush said, Joe. Once again, Joe's dementia kicked in for the infinite time. For this word, I will put in some. Something that Trumpy Rumpy the Humpity Dumpity really lacks. He lacks kindness because Donnie is always mean to everyone in the room. Stop crying, Joe. I'm a genius and you mistaken it as an insult. Donnie, every time you say genius, my dictionary cringes. Ha ha ha, Bushy Wushy, you classy legend. Bush, you still use a dictionary? Ever heard of the internet? It's called Reading Donnie. That's why I got the last round correct. Good point. Anyways, I think for Bush's word, 
I want to type in grateful. Because Bushy Wushy is a grateful man, and I think us as presidents should be even more grateful of the small things in life, such as having each other's company and playing Wordle. I think we all need these moments of reflection. Thanks for bringing us back to what's important, Barack. You guys are boring the death out of me. This word has to be something that represents us perfectly as the greatest man in this room. I think the word is... Come on, man. Just spit it out already. I like Big Macs, which is McDonald's, which obviously means the word is business. Did you really think Bushy would have typed in that word, Don? Grumpy Trumpy is officially the wordle noob. Keep talking, Joe. You nap all day long, and you snort so much crack that even snow is darker than your hair, Sleepy Joe. You are such a meanie weenie Donnie Lardball. Deep breaths, Trump. We wouldn't want you to overheat under that tan. Says you who's already overcooked. Donnie, you don't want to get hit harder than Chris Rock this time. Once again, it looks like you all want a threesome by teaming up against me. All men for themselves, Donnie. I just came up with a beautiful word that perfectly describes bushy wushy. I bet Joe's word is gibberish again. It's not, I promise. Perfect word for me, huh? You sure it's not one of Donnie's hints? What the hell is wrong with my hint? Ah, uh, that it was shit Donnie. The word I put into perfectly describes my boy Bushy Wushy is fragrant. He loves some classy scents in his home. Actually, that was a super good guess. Damn, you're getting closer to my word, but since Donnie has the last guess, it's all good. What was that supposed to mean, Bushy Wushy? Um, uh, nothing. Okay, anyway, so we know it starts with FR, and the only way the N aligns in this word is friend, so... It has to do with something, friend, I guess. But friend is six letters, and Bushy's word is eight letters. I know that, Joe. That's why I'm considering to put in the word friended. Perfect word Bush would put in, as we are all friends, and it's super nice to have everyone's company. Bush might be right. We are all good friends, except when Obama-rama hit me today. That was just a friendly encounter, Donnie. Don't get personal. I agree, Barack, but don't get personal as well. Oh, shit, why did you do that, Donnie? Ha ha ha, just a friendly encounter, Barack. Don't get personal, bro. Geez, Donnie's hit is like two or more of Barack's hit. Yeah, he's got that extra premium lard energy and power. Donnie, I hate you. That was so unfair. Of course it's fair. You hit me, I hit you. You will pay for this, Donnie. Donnie, don't you dare get this word wrong. Otherwise, I will enroll you back into preschool again. You think I'm dumb, Bush? The word is obviously friendly, but shit, I forgot how to spell it. Is it L-I-L-E or L-Y? They all sound like Lee. Can someone call a surgeon to see how much lard has gotten into Trump's brain? Come on, Donnie, think. Um, I'm guessing it's L-Y, because Y is the biggest looking letter out of the three. Yay, good job, Donald Trump. You have successfully completed first grade spelling tests. By the way, you still owe me the half a million you scammed me today. And you still owe me a hit, Donnie. Oh shit, bye boys, I'm running for my life and hide in McDonald's toilets. Ordering drone strikes. Subscribe. Hello again, you brainless bunch. Hey, an old woman just creeped into my bed. Hurry up, call Secret Services now. Are you sure that wasn't Jill? Oops, it's my wife Jill, I remember. For the 19th time, you crusty old man, you messed up the intro again. It's scary when a white hair lady appears in front of you without having the time to see her face. I'm sure Jill is thinking the same thing. Let's get started. I've picked my nine letter word since I got the word right last time. This is a super hard word. I bet you all will fail. Wow, Grumpy Trumpy, you are super energetic today. I'm surprised. It's like Trumpy Rumpy became a completely new person today. The second you die in your grave, Joe Biden is the day when my life will get 10 times better. But that's not possible. You will die before me. You're already falling apart, you wrinkly scumbag. Now hurry up and guess my word before you guys bore me out. What's your category, Trump? My word is something from a tree. It's an insanely hard word. I bet none of you will guess it in six guesses. I was going to say friendless. I have to come up with something else now. That would perfectly describe Trumpy Rumpy. Too bad it doesn't fit. Don't make me kick you in the face like an animal, stupid cocaine Joe. Anyways, who's guessing first? I'll take the honors. There won't be many nine-letter things that belong in a tree. Trust me, Barack. There are heaps of things from a tree. Exactly, Barack. Ronald belongs there. Once again, Joe Biden. My name starts with a D. Get rid of the D. Ronald sounds better. Fine, then I'll take the D and shove it inside, Jill. Donald Rump, get my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Guys, this will be an easy round. I will start us off with pineapple. Doesn't repeat many letters, and it grows on trees. Hey. Oh, ha, 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 bushy. That's the definition of Ohio education. Bushy, coconuts grow under the mud. Did you know that? I made a tiny error. I'm mistaken pineapples for coconuts. Maybe when you're digging for fruits, Bushy, you might find a super orange one. Maybe you might find cocaine Joe Biden because I buried him into the dirt and pissed on it, and then cocaine Joe Biden crops started growing. Finding an orange fruit in the mud would be ten times more hilarious. And when you touch it, it's a super greasy one as well. Ha ha ha, facts, Joe. Also, for my guest, since we are talking about the great and orange Trumpy, the big McDonald rump, I think the perfect word to describe him is big sticks. I like that play on words that really plays on size, doesn't it, little Trump? Make a note, viewers, asshole of the year is coming. Shut up, elephant in the room, since Trump is 90% gut. Once again, Barack Obama, I'm not fat, I'm just stuffed with greatness. Trumpy Rumpy is stuffed with pregnancy. You're already a mom, did you get stretch marks? If you did, you're a stretch mark man, which perfectly makes me put in the word mangrove. If you wanted to play on words, Obama, you should have typed in mangrove. It's still way better than pineapple. Pineapple is the height of Wordle today. You guys are once again insulting my intelligence with boringness. All our viewers ran away because you talk like Rose. Robots. Says the person who picked a topic to do with trees. You Biden, not only are you boring, but you're stupid at the same time. Now we know the word starts off with something A-N-G. 
and then Donnie whacked an S on the end. That means it's definitely an eight-letter word. Bushy, you have not made any sense this entire Wordle game so far. It's clearly a nine-letter word. Haha, <laughs> Bushy, will you say birds swim in the oceans next? Hell no, Joe. Speaking of birds, you gave me a really good idea. Just a quick tip, Bush, birds don't grow on trees. I know that, but I'm thinking of hangbirds, because birds relax and hang out on trees, therefore hangbirds. See, I'm a genius. Bushy, that clearly doesn't make sense. That was quite a genius idea from Bush. He got us one more yellow letter. Absolutely, that was an awesome idea, because it just helped me come up with my next nine-letter Word. Did both of you and Bush attend the same school of fictional vocabulary in Ohio? You're just jealous because our school didn't have a course on how to avoid bankruptcy, Trump. It's called business. It's something none of you robots will ever understand. Trump, you are a messed up blob of wobbly lard. How dare you roast all three of us at the same time? We will all gangbang the shit out of you and you will end up in a hospital. That's a perfect word, Joe. I will put in gangbang because we will crush Donnie and beat him up and he will be back in the hospital bed. Metaphorically, not literally, bro. Don't worry, Joe. We just need two more white men and we can make it happen. Call up Bill Clinton and Elon Musk. Obama, if that ever happens, we will become the top OnlyFans creator and have millions coming into our pockets. Shut the hell up, Donnie and Bushy. First of all, Donnie, you are a dirty piece of shit. And second, Bushy, I'm seriously reconsidering you as a friend. Just imagine the toys you can buy Manshell with that kind of money. We are not going there today, Donnie. I have to blame Joe starting all this. Ha ha ha, Obama-rama. I was saying it metaphorically, not literally, bro. I think we should move on before we get canceled for talking about this. I think you're right, Bushy Wushy. We should move on and organize it for another day and force Obama into this. Shut up, Trump, you orange sweet potato. Never in a million years would I do such haram BS. Okay, chill, Obama. Blame Joe Biden, the crackhead, for starting this. Anyways, I will try figure out my word. Final guess for me. Joe, why did I feel like you overdosed on your cocaine today? You sound super artificial today. Maybe that's the thing that gets Joe excited about. I knew something was wrong with you today, Joe. Um, I'm nothing. I woke up next to Jill and I had some fun with my son. That's it. Remind me to never ask you about your morning again. Yikes. Either Jill almost lost her life or Joe is high on coke again. None of that, I promise. So back to Wordle. It has A-N-G, but also K-R-O in it. Which means the first letter must be a consonant. Easy peasy Obama-rama. The word is obviously kangaroo, and then Donnie whacked an ass on the end. Why would it be kangaroos? I'm locking it in. Stop saying locking it in. Sounds like a country is about to be bombed. Oh shit, that's the word. Why the fuck is kangaroo something to do with trees, Donnie? Because Sleepy Joe is a tree kangaroo, and the tree kangaroo always sleep on trees. Well, at least I'm not an orange orangutan swinging from conspiracy to conspiracy. That animal is called Koalas Donnie. Then in that case, I'm a muscular kangaroo. You're a pregnant kangaroo, Dumpty Trumpy. Also, I just got my ten-letter word. Damn, I wish it was my turn. Rip Joe got the word. I am a male kangaroo, Sleepy Cocaine Joe. Also, give us a hint now for your ten-letter made-up word. No need to be so aggressive, Donnie. You're a nice pregnant mother, and you need to be a good example for your baby kangaroo. <laughs> Donnie Def got the heavies for being pregnant. Mark and Joe, I will send you guys into your grave in a second. You can't carry heavy thing while being pregnant, Donnie. I bet you are giving Jill one every single day because Jill is so old and wrinkly. One more time, Donnie and I will Will Smith slap the Chris Rock out of you. Joe, that was my line. Anyways, what's the category for your word, Joe? Viewers are waiting for us. This word describes Trumpy Rumpy the pregnant kangaroo. Ha, and it's ten letters, boy. This is gonna be fun. I go first. This word is clearly Wordle King because that's who I am. Bad luck, pregnant kangaroo. Get my belly out of your mouth before I slap the dementia into your head, Joe Biden. Donald and Joe fighting is the definition of meme kings. Ha ha. Except I'm smart and he's dumb. I have a hot wife. You have a rotting wife. I have health. You have fats. I have brain. You have dementia. I'm a straight human and you're a pregnant kangaroo. Oh. Joe cooking Donald and deep frying him. Damn. I can't wait for the day Joe Biden dies in his grave, then my life will become ten times better. Then no one will take care of your kangaroo's babies, Donnie. Joe Biden clearly overdosed with Hunter with their cocaine addictions. I've never been so speechless ever. Donnie, just to make you feel better, I will type in the word confidence because you are a truly confident man. I gotta give you that. Thank you, Bushy. See, Joe Biden, that's what you call true friendship. I'm just telling the truth, Trumpy Rumpy. All right, this word, I have the perfect ten-letter pun for Donnie. It's also the perfect word to describe Trump the humpity dumpity. What now, boring Barker? I can't wait for the lame word you're about to put in. Boy, this is gonna be interesting. The word I put in is chubby chub. It's a kind word to call Trump fat, and it sounds like the chupa chup lollipops. Obama-rama, this has to be one of the worst words you put in today. I told you guys Obama's word is gonna be lame. I can read human minds. I am certain I will get this word because I get the final turn. You won't get it, Obama-rama. This is a very hard word. Screw your yappings, it's my turn. Well, someone's eager beaver today. I think Joe Biden put in this word to describe me. If not, then clearly Joe cheated the game. I didn't cheat, it's a proper word. I have a feeling this won't end well, but Surprise us, Donnie. You guys think I will type in some stupid words. This is once again an insult to my intelligence. The word I'm putting in is accomplished, because clearly I am the person who have accomplished the most things in this room. Everyone in this room has made history one way or another. Exactly. Hence, we are top presidents. No, let me rephrase this. I am top president, Obama's black president, Joe's sleeping cocaine president, and Bushy is nobody's president. Let me rephrase this. Donnie's pregnant president. Ha 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 Jeez, that's a good one. Joe, you are trotting on thin ice again. I can't wait to finish and punch you in the demented head. Come at me, Donnie. I have 
have Hunter at my home. There is no way you can beat them to Donnie. Fine, then I will rock up another day with machine guns and a tank. So for my guess, clearly Donnie, as a pregnant kangaroo, he is trying to be a father and a role model. So I will type in the word father-like for my final guess. You are sweet, but also a meanie at the same time, bushy-wushy. Not gonna lie, this is getting dangerously close to my word. Ha, ha, ha. The word is clearly start with fat. But Joe Biden, is this a proper word or is it made up again? It's a proper word. I even asked Hunter, Google and Bing. It comes as is Donald Trump. Joe, I swear on my life you are high on coke again. But there is not a single word that aligns the D and B. This word has to be a made up word. I also think this is a made up word, Barack. Oh my gosh, Joe. The word you wrote that describes Trump. Is it seriously that word? Yes, it's really that word. Well, technically a compound word. Joe Biden, I will bomb you if it's something to do with my belly again. Joe, get cover. I think your word that describes Donald Trump is fat and dumb. Am I correct? 100% Obama-rama. Donald Trumpy-rumpy is orange, fat, and dumb because he is a pregnant kangaroo. Ha ha ha. I can't believe you put that in Joe. Can you count to five for me, Joe Biden? Absolutely. One, two, three, four, five. What's happening now? Get wrecked, Sleepy Joe. Subscribe to Top Presidents. What's up, morons? Today is going to be epic. Ra ra Rasputin. Joe Biden's the American king. At this point, Joe, you should sing. It's a love story. My cocaine just said... Yes. Joe, can you get the intro correct for once? I'm seriously begging at this point. For the 20th fucking time, Cocaine Joe messed up the intro, and once again, that crackhead is the most useless person in this room. My head is not cracked. Donnie the pregnant kangaroo. Once again, your brain is in sleeping mode because you're super useless. Barack and Bushy explain why today's super special. Today is our fourth official Top President's Wordle competition. And the player or team who gets a word right gets one point. The competition finished when no one guesses the word correct. And I won the first competition. Yes, we know that, Sleepy Joe. Back to Donnie for more details. We invited a special guest, the one and only former president, Bill Clinton. Oh my gosh, we finally have someone that's just as old as Grumpy Trumpy. Hey, what's good, presidents? We have every 21st century presidents in the room. Let's go. What's up, Bill? So how is the competition going to work today? As a milestone for the 20th Wordle video on the Top Presidents channel, you guys will work in teams and I will be the word giver. So who's on whose team, Silly Billy Willie? Excuse me, Joe Biden, what's Silly Billy Willie? It's your nickname. I call Trump Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy, and then I call this brown guy Obama Rama, and then this farm guy Bushy Wushy, and now I will call you Silly Billy Willie. It rhymes perfectly. Joe Biden, I invited Billy the first time. Don't make it the last time because you're high on cocaine, Joe. Also, the name rhyme sounds super retarded. I love rhymes, you pregnant kangaroo. Sleepy Joe, let Bill start the game already, bro. Okay, Obama the llama. I never knew former presidents always fight and argue. This surely is a first for me. Trust me, Bill, you will get used to it soon. All right, now announcing the teams. I got a wheel ready, and the first two names the wheel lands on will be a team. I super want to be with Bushy or Obama this time so I can finally get a win. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, look, the wheel landed on you. For the love of God, you spinning wheel, please, 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 I beg you to not have Sleepy Joe on my team. All right, spinning again. Let's see who Trump partners up with. Land on Bushy. No, no, skip Joe. Give me Obama. Ha ha ha. Yes, I get to be with Obama again. Oh, my fucking days. Woo-hoo. I get to be with the pregnant kangaroo Grumpy Trumpy. When will your baby be born, Trumpy Rumpy? I will gobble your head with my belly if you don't shut up cocaine, Joe. Oh, yes, let's go. We are going to win this Bushy Wushy. Okay, so Team DJ versus Team Bo. Now, starting with three-letter words, the hint is this word is one of the most popular words. And Team Bo gets to start us off. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, Bushy, we got this. Why are we Team Bo? I guess because you are Bushy. Bush and I'm Obama and Billy made our team name Bo, which is quite nice, I gotta say. That means you are Donald and I am Joe. Therefore, we are Team DJ. Joe Biden, we lost last time. Go snort some cocaine and put your thinking caps on Joe. I got seven pounds ready. I'm on it. Jeez, Joe is actually doing snow in the middle of a Wordle game. He'll fall asleep a second later. Also for our word, I'm thinking of you. It's a very common word. That's a smart guess, Bushy. It also takes two to three vowels out at the same time. Okay, okay, Joe. They got it wrong. Any ideas? <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Fuck sakes, I told you sarcastically to stay awake, not literally snort seven pounds, you arctic monkey. Ooh. Ah. You are so useless, Joe Biden. Fuck sakes, I will put in the word pee then. Why pee, Donnie? Because every baby always says, Mama, I want to pee or I need to pee. So lovely, I need to pee now. See, that's why it's a popular word. However, since I am Donald Trump, I will be a bit creative and get more vowels. Okay, Bushy, there is a yellow E, so likely the E will go in the last letter for this word. What do you think of the word lie, as in lying, to find out the E location? I was thinking of I, because it definitely gives us the E location. True, although lie doesn't repeat letters, and it would get all the vowels. Now that you put it that way, I think lie could be a better word to put in Bushy. All right, bet. You can never doubt a scholar, bro. Thanks, Obama-rama and Bushy-wushy. Now the word has to be B since P was wrong. Remember you're working with Joe, bro? Oh yeah, cocaine Joe. I'm gonna type in B now. 
Ugh. Ah. Oh, it feels so good. It's better without you on the team, you cocaine addicted, wrinkly crackhead. I'm awake now. What's up? Joe, you sound super high now. How much did you fucking snort? Tell us. Half a bag, so I don't know how much that is. I think it's three tons. Joe, you demented addiction creepy man. That's obviously three and a half pounds if you had a seven pound bag, you white haired, snow dependent living animal. You're a fat orange lump of clay. Anyways, what word are we putting in? I'm putting in B because you are so helpless, I'm single handedly carrying the team once again. Bushy, the word must be she. There is no more vowels, and the first two letters definitely is a contract. True, that's 100% correct. It's one of the most used English words as well. All right, Bushy, I'm locking in she. Bro, we're going to get the first win again. Huh? The word's not she? What in the actual? Oh, I see. We missed that word. Oh, shoot. It's that word. Damn, how didn't we think of it? Trumpy rumpy. I got the word. Do you think I will trust you after you inhaled half a bag, Joe? The word is obviously the... Cocaine sleepy Joe Biden. Once again, the word is not za. It has nothing to do with cocaine, you moron. No, Trump, the word is the. How many times do I need to tell you the word is not za, you idiot drug addict? I'll put my word instead. It's not za, it's the. The word is the. Clearly, you're high on cocaine, fucking Joe Biden. How can the word be Z E R? Can't you see the E and H is already revealed? It's not Z E R, it's the. Fuck's sakes, now you're back on cocaine addiction again. It's not za, not zero, and has no Z in the word. Trump, I will get super mad. The word is the. the, 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 the. If you say Z one more time, I will punch you in your demented head <laughs> oh, bro i can't bro i can't the word is the even four-year-olds understand no shit joe biden i learned the alphabet when i was one year old fuck sakes i'm putting in my word sleepy cocaine joe i will get super mad the word is obviously that i will get super mad if you mention z or anything related to cocaine one more time joe biden i didn't say any of that trumpy rumpy i said the you are really testing my patience aren't you dumbass no the word is the you use the in a sentence it's the like the cocaine the sleeping pills the children have you got it now dumbass donald clearly you're talking about yourself but can't you see Joe Biden doesn't fit in three letter words, you moron? No, the word is the T H E, the fatty, the clock, the wordle game. Oh my gosh, Donnie. Yes, I got it. The word is the T H E. See, I'm the real wordle king. I said that, Donnie. You did, but I thought of it first when you were still explaining your guess. So that's called idea stealing Joe Biden. Screw you, Donnie. I'm typing in this word and the credit goes to me. Ha uh ha, -huh. this is the funnest wordle game yet. Now it is one point for Team DJ. Oh yes, let's go. <laughs> I'm a legend. We got the next one, Barack. You were just a bit unlucky. Fun fact, D is used in 7% of all sentences. Also, Donnie and Joe, you guys need to work better from now, and I'm taking away the bag of yours, Joe. That's considered cheating. Oh no, but I will fall asleep soon. Three and a half pounds will get you awake for a whole year, Joe Biden. Anyway, silly Billy Willie, tell us the next word category. This next four letter category is something I really like and team dj starts okay grumpy trumpy i think we put in home because it's obviously something billy willy likes no joe i'm convinced billy willy likes our rhyme so i will type in bill who will put in their own name you orange looking pregnant kangaroo close your stinky cocaine breath joe biden did you already forget who got us the last word point it's obviously me your dementia risen exponentially once again it was me all right obama rama what is billy like it's our first guest so let's try to discover more letters i mean he does like his hometown a lot he's just like me living a laid-back lifestyle okay now we're talking should we put in home or town let's try town get more commonly used consonants all right bet locking that in now yo donnie i got the word it's obviously a b word no shit even blind people can see that sleepy joe i'm not blind yo joe do you think bill clinton likes the same thing as me there is zero chance bill likes stuffing mcdonald's in his belly he's same age as you but way skinnier than you once again i partnered up with the most useless teammate of this planet i'm super convinced it's that b word just saying billy won't type in bomb bro neither will he type in boo i agree we need to think deeply what clinton the minton rington is thinking about it's a hundred percent got to be that word. It's not bomb, Donnie. I was never thinking of typing in bomb. I'm typing in B-mob. Why did you type that? What the hell is a B-mob? It's bomb, but you spell it backwards. All right, let's move on. I will seriously lose precious brain cells listening to Ronald Donald. Baraki, I'm surprised Manchel didn't squash the brain cells out of you yet. You know, it's comments like that which remind me why I missed the days before Twitter. Now you're talking like a robot again. Anyways, we got to be strategic now, Bushy. A word good enough to give us more clues, but hard enough for them to guess. Typing in a word with more vowels could be a good idea for our guests. Yes, I agree. There's so many choices, though. I'm considering the word pure. Has the vowels and commonly used consonants. That's a really good idea, Bushy. Yes, do that. Should make it hard for them now. Ronald McDonald, Billy's word must be dope. This is first warning, Joe Biden. Anytime you mention anything cocaine-related again, Joe Biden, you will get a strike. If you get three strikes, I will get a needle, insert cocaine up your butthole, then you will become constipated, Joe Biden. Hey, Donnie, that's not fair. I'm on zero warning. I was saying silly Billy's word will be very cool. I can't wait for the day you die, Joe. Then America would be so much better without a coke addict as president. Exactly. The coke was so good, it even made me president. Hurry the fuck up, Donnie and Joe. We've been waiting for ages, man. Okay, okay, Joe, help. I can't think of another B word other than bomb. All right, Donnie, how about bong? 
You know that thing I use. I'm not stupid, Joe Biden, but can't your senile crack ass see the O has been used? Wait, I think the word could be bang. I don't think silly Billy Willie likes to bang things. Who doesn't like to bang their partner, you moron? Oh yeah, I forgot someone named Jill because she's so old and crippled. Uh, this is strike one Ronald McDonald. Get my wife's name out of your fucking fat mouth. Aha, beautiful. This word should be easy now. I can think of band or bank, the most logical words Bill would like. Bro, Bill Clinton has a great taste in music, though, so the word has to be banned. Yeah, he ain't like Donnie who likes money all the time. Exactly, Bush. I'm whacking in band. Let's see if we got it. Yes, let's go, brother. Woohoo. Let's overtake Donnie and Joe on the next round, Bush. Team Bo also on one point now. Just in case you didn't know already, my favorite song is A Light Went On and He Sang by Tom Piazza. This has to be the lamest word to put in Wordle Silly Billy. We'll try to get the next round, Donnie. Remember, I'm super awake. That barely makes a difference, Joe. Okay, now moving on to five letter words. This word is something that describes all of us presidents in the room now. And Team Bo starts us off. Oh, I got this one. I've got the perfect clue for this round. It's something we all are, Trumpy Rumpy, not something. Something you like. Donnie, don't steal our turn. You're such a nerd robot, Rama. And you're such a chubby chub, ha ha. I forgot to call you pregnant kangaroo today. Admit both of you are just jealous because I've overloaded IQ stored in my belly. Then try to beat us in this round, Donnie. So Billy's word that describes all of us seems difficult. I mean, Billy is such a chill dude. Bet it won't be anything bad. I'll start us off with smart. It's something Billy the Clintilly will write in. Billy the Clintilly, Bushy, we already have one dumbass Joe Biden. We don't need another name rhymer. Ha 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 ha, Bushy Wushy, you're learning from the expert. Joe Biden, you're the expert in Guinness World Record to snort the most amount of cocaine while playing Wordle. And for sleeping. Also for getting the most intros wrong consecutively. At least I am champion in three things. Which are all super useless. Anyway, sleepy cocaine, Joe, I have gotten my word. And that word is bomb with an S. Excuse me, Joe Biden, I have not finished. Sorry, go ahead. I'm super convinced this is an N word. Word because silly Billy Willie. It cannot be nukes, Donnie. Holy cow. Stop interrupting me. Yep, my bad. Anyways, the word starts with nig and ends in. Donnie, you racist pig. Don't you dare type that in. Barack, I have not finished. My bad. Carry on, but it better not be that word. This beautiful N word is something that you cannot see Obama at this time of the day. You'll get us canceled. Barack, did I say I finished? You didn't, but. Then let me type in my word, Barack. You only get one chance. And this word I'm putting in is night because we all sleep peacefully at night. Phew, I'm relieved. You were walking on super thin ice just then, Donnie. Haha, <laughs> it's such a good word. Got three yellow letters. That was a really good guess. I think, Bushy, we should type in awful. Because Donnie tricked me again with his stupid N-word troll all the time. Obama-rama, Donnie typed in a good word. How about be more positive and type in the word again like you fell for his trick again? Yeah, we could. Again is quite a good word, that's true. Okay, I'll smack it in. Why would Bill like the word again, though? It's easy, Obama. He's catching up with the president gang again. Oofed. Two greens and two yellows, this is gonna be fun. Donnie, trust me, bro, I got this word 100%. Once again, you're interrupting me. But you didn't say anything this time. You interrupted my thought process. That doesn't mean shit, I got this word, let me type it in. What is it, Joe? We are on the edge of losing a point. It's a word that describes all of us. Can you for once say something intellectual, Joe? We know this word described us. The word is aging. The letters all fit in together and it makes sense because all five of us in the room is aging fast. Of course your cocaine addicted brain will type in aging. Whacking it in now, what did you say about my cocaine? I'm nothing, never mind. I'm telling you. The amount I took today, I will stay awake for at least a whole year. Okay, Doki, two points for DJ and one point for Bo. Question, why does the winner start? Because the losing team gets the final guess, which balances everything out nicely. I gotcha. Yeah, that's super fair. Bushy, even Sleepy Joe knows that. Okay, moving on to six letters. This six-letter word is something to do with me. Only if you know me very well will you guys get this word correct. Okay, we get to start this round. I will type in robots because even Silly Billy Willie the Clinton badminton is sounding like a robot. Stop calling everyone robots, grumpy, trumpy, rumpy. We haven't made fun of your belly yet today. That's because you guys all talk like robots, except for this guy here who is filled with powder. I should call him sleeping powder from now on. There is no such thing as sleeping powder, Donnie. The three and a half pound you inhaled is awake powder. Without it, your ashes could literally be sold as sleeping powder, and I can make so much money off that. Screw you, Donnie. You will never see that day come. That's why I always want to bury you into your grave, piss on it, and start growing Joe Biden's sleeping powder crops. Fuck you, Donnie. Your body is perfect for McDonald's to bury. You guys are literally on the same team, bro. It's teamwork versus team civil war again. Haha, <laughs> so true. Anyways, the word that describes Bill, how about govern perfect for Bill's leadership style? I can't disagree on that one. Go type it in Obama-rama. Yes, sir. Right on it. Trumpy rumpy. I got the perfect B word. Finally, you're thinking like me. Okay, on the count of three. We both say it. Okay, three, two, one. Bomber. <laughs> what the fuck, Joe Biden? Breath? Yes, breath. You yelled again and I just took your breath away. Sleepy Joe Biden, you dangling fool. Your breath smell like mold. It smells amazing, super refreshing and nice. Shut up, Joe Biden. I will only put in that word to shut your cocaine mouth up. You smell worse than horse poo. <laughs> 
Eel, go away, Joe. Go shut your nostrils as well. I am not cocaine, you cocaine addicted duck lard testicle moron. So, Bushy, this is a B word. Let me rearrange these letters to get more clues, bro. Once again, Billy put in a tricky word for us. I'm thinking on the lines of Bethel, like in House of God in the Bible. I mean, he is Baptist, so okay, maybe that would work. That's exactly why I'm convincing you for this word, bro. What in the actual frick? No new green letters? For once, Joe Biden, we have one turn left. Be useful for once. Grumpy, Trumpy, Rumpy, how about you use your overloaded IQ in your belly and come up with a word? I was convinced it was bomber, but it doesn't look like it fits. So we have BTH and L. Okay, how about LB math? And LB stands for large bulk math. Joe, is that your daily breakfast order? I mean, Joe actually stayed awake for so long and got you two points, Donnie. Then I have no clue what word to put in. You're right, I can't think of a word as well. So let's type LB math then. What do you feel when you snorted half a bag, Joe? I felt super thrilling like energy passing through my veins. Let's type thrill. If Team Robot gets this word right, then it's all your fault, Joe. Only thrill you know is hearing your own voice. Thankfully, most of us have learned to tune it out. Cocaine, koala, if we lose this competition, I will kick you in the balls, send you in your coffin, then mix Obama's poo with ice cream and feed it to you until you die, sleepy Joe. You have the unique gift for making ice cream sound terrible, you fat old orange man. Donnie, I hope you rot from diabetic cancer. Sleepy Joe. You're the one who would sniff ice cream and mistaken it for cocaine or sleeping pills. They remind me of two siblings under 10 years old argue. The two world's oldest children. Which kid are we talking about? Obviously the cocaine addict and his son. I'm not an addict. They are talking about you as well. You are the world's oldest kid, Joe. And Trumpy Rumpy, you are the world's fattest kid. And you guys are both kids. Anyways, Bushy Wushy, this word is insanely hard. What could this word be that describes Bush and only people who know him super well will know the word? That's exactly what I'm also trying to figure out, Bushy Wushy. We know the word starts with a B, but that does not help at all. I mean, look at these letters. 2L at the end doesn't work, and the TH does not go together as well. Holy cow, there is no way we can't figure a six-letter word out, bro. This is ridiculous. What the hell is that word Bill put in? I was thinking of something blue or blue something, but it doesn't work. And there is no way Bill made up the word. Want to type in something like blueth with TH on the end and see what word Bill put in? We will lose this round. Doesn't matter at this point if we can't figure out anything right. Fine, then let's type in blue thing. Oh, no, no, don't get it right. Did they get the word? Huh, the word is blithe? Yes, Trumpy Rumpy the pregnant kangaroo. We won the competition finally. Let's go, sleepy koala cocaine, Joe. We finally won. Remember, I carried you. My seven pound of coke carried us Donnie Ronald McDonald. What on earth does Blythe got to do with Bill Clinton? No way did none of you presidents remember Blythe. I was born as William Jefferson Blythe and Bill is a childhood name. And when I got married, that was when I changed my surname to Clinton. Oh shoot, how did I forget that? Oh yeah, my bad. But come on, this match doesn't count. We need another round. No, Barack, we won fair and square. But none of us thought of that word. I'm just as surprised as you are, obama Ron. It's time for Silly Billy Willie the Clintilly Clinton Badminton to announce the winners. Since when did my name evolve to Silly Billy Willie the Clintilly Clinton Badminton? Just now. I really don't understand the 21st century president language, but the winners today goes to Donald and Joe for two points. Yes, for once you did something nice, Joe. I'm proud of you. I'm also proud of you, Donnie, for being a smart man today. We might have lost Bushy, but this is by far the best moment Joe and Donnie had together. That's true, but next time I will crush Donnie and Joe in our next Wordle game. Welcome back, you negative brain cells. Are you ready, kids? Once again, Joe Biden. Bushy wushy, you're meant to say aye aye captain. But you're not captain. Does none of you know the Mr. Krabs intro? Every kid I met knows it. Really, Joe? Sounds like you've been spending more time in Bikini Bottom than going to sleep. For the love of 21st century's humanity and global Earth, sleepy creepy Joe Biden, you've botched the intro once again. Can you do the viewers some favor and get the intro for once? That's the perfect intro, and I just set a world record. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., you kid-sniffling cocaine wanker addict, you broke the record for making us be the stupidest channel on YouTube. I order you to get on your knees and apologize to the viewers. Wah, 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 you want to order? I'll order you some Big Macs right now, Grumpy Trump. Oh my fucking days, your dementia risen beyond the height of the sun again. We can finally accept me and Bushy are the smartest of the bunch. Ha 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 ha, everybody knows I'm the smartest one in the bunch. I'm just gonna stay away and not gonna argue with that. See, Bushy says I'm the smartest. I meant to say Trump. Oh well, never mind. Anyways, this round this time is something simple that you'll guess quickly. Three letter word, and it's something I like. You like beer and getting drunk with your cows. That's four letters, stupid, and besides, how's Bush gonna like it with cows? Cocaine Joe, putting up with you is worse than 100 years in fucking hell. Every day, Trump is more mediocre and depressing. You were saying I fell asleep. Me too. What are you talking about? Joe, shut up already. Don't you start to Obama-rama. Everybody's waiting for you to guess the word Joe Biden. Okay, okay, so three letter word that Bush likes has gotta be something that makes Bushy-wushy excited. Oh, I got the word. 
Once again, Joe Biden, cocaine is not a three-letter word. Who said I was going to type cocaine, you orange pregnant kangaroo? I will type in fun because everyone loves some fun. Sleepy Joe, fun has to be the lamest word to put in there. Congratulations, even Bush's old man called you sleepy. I think you've redefined the word sleep, Joe Biden. You got to stop calling people old Donnie. I'm only eight days older than you. In my books, that's eight years. After a lot of analysis, I think I know what it is. Bush is a man of the people, a homebody, a family man. What best represents that? Boring, sleepy Joe. No, wait, Joe Biden is gay. I'm not gay. Yes, yes you, you are. are. Donnie, you orange cheeseburger. I'm talking about public transportation. I'm talking about the bus, the way the man gets to his destination. Congratulations, Obama, for trying to take the title away from the dumbest Trump. Obama-rama, uh, I bet your head has been buried under Michelle's butt cheeks for too long. Can't you see the you has been used? This is just my first guess, you orange pigling. I'm not even trying yet. Of course you're not, because you don't know how to think properly. When you say you know how to think, Donnie, it sounds like the sense of a person who says he doesn't know how to think. Shut up, you cocaine-infested, demented, crippling, stupid old man. I bet you love living your lazy life, sitting in a wheelchair all day like an useless and disabled old man. Did your fat-ass really forget who lost the last five episodes? Get a fucking reality check, ASAP grumpy Trumpy. Look at the decaying dinosaur who's running his dirty, expired, stinky, and vomit-infused fucking mouth. I have the soul of a teenager and Joseph Biden, you were born past your use by date. I'm typing in old just to let the viewers know you are the oldest animal in this room. At least I act like my age, not my shoe size. Jeez, Joe, that was really cold, hard, brutal. That's because your shoe size is higher than your IQ, Joe. Ever consider that? Screw you, Donnie. I will type in top because I am the top president of the top president. Once again, this round falls on the shoulders of Barack Obama, the man who will save this game. If you find these two hidden letters, Barack, then clearly somehow you rigged the game. I never cheat. And once again, it all falls on the shoulders of Barack Obama. Yes, we heard you the first time, Obama Rama the Llama. That word is something Bush likes. Therefore, I am 90% sure it's something to do with animals. And I'm thinking of a three-letter word that's better than a dog. You mean your initials, Obama Rama the Llama? Shut the fuck up, Donnie. This animal I'm putting in perfectly describes you. A big orange pregnant hog. Ha ha, you guys clearly can't guess the last two letters. If Obama-rama can't guess the word, there's no way a pregnant kangaroo will guess it. Joe Biden, if I guess this word, I get to fart on your face. And Trumpy Rumpy, if you get it wrong, I get to hit you in the big fat belly. Okay, deal, you hit like a girl anyways. It's hard, but not that hard, Donnie. Clearly these two hidden letters must both be consonants, and since it's something Bushy likes, I'm convinced the word is joy. It's a typical old man's word. Did Donnie get it? Ha ha! I typed in moo sucker. And now you owe me a hit. Wait, Joe Biden, let me explain. You said I hit like a girl. Nothing to be afraid of, Donnie. Ouch! Did you fucking snort cocaine before this round? What the fuck, sleepy Joe? Oof, Joe, you're old, but you pack a punch. Now you learn to never call me a girl. Ha ha ha, get wrecked, Trumpy Rumpy. You cocaine-infested moron. I can't wait for the day you die, Joe Biden. I hope today is your final day alive. Does that mean I put in my word again? Now, Bushy, who on earth will guess moo? All right, in that case, Joe got the first green letter, so it's Sleepy Joe's turn. Yahoo! Ooh, I got my four-letter word already. This is going to be an epic round. I bet it's going to be some retarded thing again. Unfortunately, it's not. And unfortunately, I'm going to disappoint you. You always fucking disappoint me, cocaine sleepy Joe. What's the category for your word, Joe? It's a four-letter word, and it's a very healthy thing. At this point, I bet Joe thinks cocaine is healthy. I'll start us off. So four letters healthy. Joe does like a bike ride, so I'll start off with bike. You damn Obama. Two green letters already. I bet Joe Biden put in something crazy in there like the N-word. It's something super healthy and non-racist, Donnie. I really hoped you had died when you fell off that bicycle. It was just an accident. Just like you were accidentally born into the world, sleepy cocaine Joe. Better to be a healthy accident than an ill mistake that keeps on giving. Is it me, or did Joe somehow mysteriously got smarter? Don't worry, Bushy. It's the cocaine kicking in at this hour. Screw you, Baracky Wacky Obama. I don't do cocaine. Shut up, Joe. You clearly do cocaine. Look at your wrinkly skin. Now I know your word is obviously the opposite of healthy. I don't even need to think about it. Don't blow it, Trumpy Rumpy. I won't. I know what I'm doing. It's a word ending in K-E. For once, Donnie, you have gotten the important details. And this is why the retarded word this cocaine addict and demented kid sniffing pervert typed in this word. All right, Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy. What's my word then? The word is 100% nuke. That crusty old fossil typed in nuke. You're a dumbass, Donnie. Donnie, that's all you think about? I bet you even got a picture of Nagasaki on your wall. Once again, Joe Biden, you rigged and cheated this game? Now I'm more convinced the word Joe put in is probably a healthy word for sure. Snorting 30 pounds of cocaine is not a good thing, Bush. Look at him, he needs help. I don't even have cocaine, Donnie. That's because you ran out, you cocaine addict.
and instead you started sniffing kids as a stimulant. Oh, I don't do that grumpy, trumpy, rumpy, you orange Ronald McDonald. I really understand why America is doomed under both of your presidency. At least I didn't go on apology tours, Barack. And I'm still president. Yeah, the most useless one. You know, guys, I've been pretty quiet, but even I have to say, pot met the kettle. Good timing, Georgie. It's about time you chimed in. Also, Bushy Wushy, it's your turn to guess. True, so we have every single vower except for O. So I'll whack in Joe. Joe Biden, you ill-brained old man. Is that word what I think it is? There's many words that fit in here, so I'm not sure what you're thinking. Oh, shit. Even I can see the word Joe Biden, you sleeping addict. I know my guess. What are you thinking, Grumpy Trumpy? The word is obviously woke, that sleeping corpse of a man. Oh, true, that could work. If you steal my idea, Obama-rama, I will file an impeachment order on you. I got something even better, don't worry, Donnie. What's your word, Obama-rama? There's so many possible options here. And the only one that fits Joe Biden's definition of healthy is Coke. That has to be the word. You got it right, Obama-rama. Joe, are you kidding me? Wait, Bushy, I can explain. Ha ha ha, you couldn't, could you? You couldn't live without it. You rotting powder marinated old man. I can explain that, dummy Trumpy Rumpy. I never agreed with Trump before, but what I meant was it was Coke Light. That's a healthy thing. Coke Light is about as healthy as drinking kerosene with dirt. Now you've sunk yourself. Ha ha ha. We don't fucking call you Cocaine Joe for nothing, you dangling, twisted old man. I told you, it's Coke Light. It's a healthy thing. That's pretty depressing. Now we're going to go with a real word. We're not going to go with nonsense. I agree. I lose brain cells every time I sit in a room with Joe Biden. Same goes to you, Grumpy Trumpy. I'm going to be much more mature this time and just say something simple. The word has to do with the animal kingdom. Obama? Asshole, I said an animal. And I said Obama. Fuck you, racist pig. You're literally a ghost that slithers in the shadows. Are you calling me a snake? At least I'm not a lame hog that gets ridden on by people like Manchel. A snake sheds its skin, but once again, you never seem to shed those bad habits. Oh, Humpty Trumpty Grumpy, how it shows you never went through a primary. It's clearly from an animal, and you couldn't get a word right. I was convinced it was a self-centered thing on Obama's part. I clearly said it was an animal. I'll just keep the game nice and simple and whack in sheep. Don't go writing sheep. What's wrong? You just got a green letter. That's what's wrong. Sheepish and lazy, just like Bushy. Better sheepish than an orange pregnant kangaroo. I'm big, but not pregnant, Bushy Wushy. All righty, I got my word, considering Obama's a big African, I mean American man. This is already not going well. An American man who loves his country, so I'm sure he put the word eagle. Not as bad as I thought, but that was a super bad guess. Now I know the ultimate word that fits Obama's five-letter animal. Wait a second, let me see. Oh, fucking hell. Donnie, are you putting what I'm thinking right now? Damn on, no, this does not look good. Every time we come to five letters, it lands on Donald putting a word that might get us canceled. Donald Trump, tell me the word before you put it in. I told you, Obama-rama, it's an animal, and it also described you. I know this word fits in here, but don't you dare type that word because it's not my word. Calm your man shell looking tits, Obama. This word describes Obama perfectly. Grumpy Trumpy, can you for once not risk getting us demonetized? Fine, just say the word out loud. Don't type it in. What's wrong with typing in a word that perfectly described Obama? I swear I will get my entire bloodline and haunt your house at night. Are you telling me you are not a human? Fine then, now Obama is officially a robot. Oh gosh, I always fall for your stupid word plays, Trump the Rump. Ha ha ha, you are just a bit too sensitive about your tin Obama-rama. Joe, please don't get started. You know, I've been analyzing, this animal has to end in ER, but I can't think of an animal with this criteria now. What did you have in mind? I was thinking of otter. That's about the best I can come up with. Even I know that, stupid. There's no O in this round and there is a G. Says you grumpy Trumpy who got zero letters correct. Oh, that's beautiful. I definitely got the final word. You cannot possibly mess up the word at this point. I bet Joe will mess up because he is high on crack again. You fat orange lump of lard. This word is just as orange, but more muscular. Goldfish does not fit in here, crusty Joe Biden. No, the word is tiger. You illiterate and negative IQ brain cells, Donald Ronald. Congratulations. Finally, someone is making sense. And why the hell did you put tiger in there? Obviously, lion is the king of the animal kingdom. Tiger is one of the kings, and I was just watching Winnie the Pooh. The original? No, the horror movie. Ew. Gross. I think I'm gonna throw up. Welcome back, losers, to Wordle 22. Hip hip, hooray, hoo hooray. It's nobody's birthday today, Joe Biden. I swear Donnie said someone turned 22 years old. Donnie said this is Wordle episode 22. Once again, Joe Biden is the most useless person on this channel, and I am super awesome. Did you forget, Grumpy Trumpy? I got the last word correct, so I'm starting off with six letters today. Once again, Joe Biden, I bet you this is going to be some crooked and stupid word again. No, it's not. This is a perfect six-letter word. If this video gets 500 likes, we will put makeup on Donald Trump. This video is epic. Subscribe now. Bushy, wushy, there is no way way I Donald Trump will put on makeup. It would look super good on you and it will make you look younger and skinnier. Come on, Donnie, do it for the channel. Fine then, only for the channel. You better subscribe illiterate people. Let's move on to the game. What category is your word from Joe? I chose a food-related word because there is so many food to choose from and it's hard for you guys to guess. I'm gonna go first. I bet Joe Biden loves to eat hot dogs. 100% you got it wrong. Joe like hot dogs because he has a small and thin wiener. I bet you hate them, Donnie, because you always choke on them. Name a time when I choked on eating a hot dog, you fucking moron. I will go with my food that's super healthy. Ah, Bushy, now you're speaking a language.
language where Trumpy Rumpy will not understand. McDonald cheeseburgers, Big Macs, and Quarter Pounders are the world's healthiest foods. What don't I understand? The fact that these foods all make you orange and chubby. And that's why the healthy word I'm whacking in is banana. I bet Trumpy Rumpy never ate a banana in his entire life. McDonald's and KFC are the healthiest food ever. And banana looks like an Asian man's yellow penis. That is complete and utter false. Don't get me started on the health benefits of a banana. Name me a healthy episode we made on this channel, Baraki Wacky. This food is too healthy for this channel. I bet Donnie never ate a banana. That's why he has diabetes and no muscles. Since when did bananas cure diabetes and cancer, you sleepy moron? It is a source of protein, Donnie, and could replace your McDonald fats. That's completely true. And it's natural sugars as well. Processed food are the best foods. Even humans are processed in a hospital. Everything on earth is processed. The healthy food I typed in is not processed. Grumpy Trump. Even the air is processed, Sleepy Joe. How is the air processed, Donnie? Are you crazy? Wait, I want to hear Donnie's explanations. Health lesson 101. There is sun, there is rain, there is thunder and lightning. Therefore, the air we breathe is clearly processed by natural disasters. And here I thought I'd heard it all. Well, Donnie, you sure do have a way of making my life interesting. I bet Sleepy Joe's word must be some processed dog shit. The food I typed in, if you eat it, your breath will not smell nice. Oh, easy, I got it. The word is wiener because your mouth smells like shit after gobbling on a big fat wiener and swallowing sperms. Donnie, this is not my word. That's because you're gay and you don't have one. Of course I have one. It stretches out big and long and it is super perky. What the hell? Is perkiness even a thing? No, it's not a thing, Bushy. I'll just move on to my guess. Ha 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 ha. Look at the screen. First three word can all relate to wieners. And I will break that trend and I will type in ginger. Ginger perfectly represents Donald Ronald McDonald. Geez, you guys are so boring. I already know Joe Biden's dirty and stinky word. Too bad it's Bush's turn now. I will go with galley because that's where the food is prepared. And Joe Biden might trick me to thinking it's a proper food. Even Bushy Wushy is doubting Joe Biden? That just shows that Joe Biden is a useless and crippled old man. Joe has done many useful things, Donnie. Fine, then name one thing Joe did that's useful, Obama. Okay, easy. Um, um. See, you can't think of one thing. Damn, you really are putting me on the spot here. Fine, let me ask Bushy Wushy. Name one thing Joe has done that's useful. Um, I don't recall anything, but he is a good pal to hang out with. Doesn't count, Bushy. That's not a thing. Gotta give credit where it's due, Donnie. Fine, let me ask Joe Biden, the man himself. What have you done that's useful? useful apart from making the media for tripping on stairs, falling off bikes, and sleeping, Joe. Um, I can say a lot of things, um, um. See, you can't even think of anything. Damn, you really are putting me on a tough spot here, Donnie. See, that's why I say you're useless, sleepy Joe. I can make ice cream and sniff. Oh my God, Joe Biden, can you not think of one thing? Can't blame him, Obama. You and Bushy didn't come up with anything either. But we have to say, Joe is a great friend. Credit must be given where it's due. Oh, thank you, Obama-rama. That's why we are all best friends. Your guy's kissing grosses me out. I'm certain Joe Biden's dangling word he put in is garbage. Garlic. Are you serious? Joe Biden put in a proper normal word for once? I didn't know you liked garlic too, Bushy. I love garlic breads. I'm surprised you actually put in garlic. All right, dumbasses, it's now time to prove once again why I'm the king of Wordle. The only thing you'll be king of is idiots and homosexuals. Just admit you want me to be your king so badly. I never said that. Grumpy, trumpy, rumpy, tell us the theme of your word. This word I put in is a bit more useful than the useless Joe Biden. I mean, you always call him old, so I'll kick us off with putting in fossils. You always call Joe that word. You're second oldest in this room, Bushy Wushy. Uh, that was the first fact you said correctly today, Trumpy Rumpy. Learn to count. I said at least three things correct today. Okay, Grumpy Trump, name them. First fact was Joe Biden was useless. Second fact was air was processed. And now Bushy being older than me is fact number three. Geez, no wonder Twitter implemented fact checker for demented people like Joseph Biden. Now this is what you call complete and utter fake news. Well, the thing is, Trump is the past and Joe is the future because he's our current standing president. What does that make us then, Obama? Um, ooh, um, we are the mentors that taught newer presidents. Let's put it that way. If you guys are the mentors, then I'm the star student who surpassed the teacher. And I am the current president, which means all of you are all vintage. Ha ha, I'm typing in that word. Current doesn't mean competent, Joe, but if we're vintage, at least we age like fine wine, and you more like milk. I'm surprised you came up with that analogy so quickly, Donna. You sure do have big hanging rotting milkies. We all know your secret crush is on Donnie. Obama, I think they have a two-way crush. Obama-rama, shut up. You're humiliating me. Don't worry, Joe. I've always got your back. Joe Biden, the only person you're humiliating is you with your word choices. Wait, what did I say. Are you kidding me? You said something stupid again 10 seconds ago. No, Donnie, I really forgot what I said. Come on, remind him. Nah, I'm good, bushy wushy. That retarded thing Joe said was humiliating even for me. Joe, I reckon you should go take your pills. I will put in forgets because you easily forget things, man. Obama is right to think that anyways. I will follow him up with a simple word Donnie will put in just for Joe. 
Cocaine. You're finally starting to hit the mark for once bushy wushy. Damn it, we had a nice simple game, and now we are on to cocaine again. I really don't know what other word is more useful than me. Literally anything. I would debate that, Donnie. Are you saying there's more things in this world more useful than Joe Biden? Why, Donnie, jealous that I stole your spotlight? Joe, you know you rigged everything, and the fact I was in jail was also because of your dangling, foolish, living human being. Even in Wordle, Donnie, you can't stop with the conspiracy theories. All right, ladies, let's focus on the words and not the wild tales. And now this is Joe's turn. This word Joe Biden is something just just as useless, but a bit more useful than you. Okay, Doki, I will type in wrinkle because it's useless, but it's also useful because those wrinkles on my face instantly turned me from a six out of 10 into 10 out of 10. So you admit you were only a six before? Sounds about right. Better a genuine six than a self-proclaimed 11 with a reality of three. And in that case, Obama-rama is a seven and Bushy-Wushy is also a six. Thanks, Joe, though I always saw myself as an eight, but I would take a seven considering my age now. Well, Joe, at least you and I are consistent. You might be right about Obama, but you insulted understated me and Bush. We are nines and tens at a minimum. Gentlemen, I think we've stumbled upon a new debate format. Rate the presidents. Yes, I'd love that debate. Viewers comment below if you want to see us debate. I better get prepared. You guys better rate me a minimum of nine, or else I will order drone strikes. Don't copycat me, Donny. <laughs> what was that accent, Obama? Just a special talent. Anyways, this word is nice and clear now. There is a W and an F. So rearranging these letters, the word ends in wife. Why are you writing XXX wife? If you and Michelle plan to film some spicy content, invite me. Michelle deserves way better than an orange dude chubbier than a pregnant lady. Well, that went south fast. Don, better think before you speak. Come on, Obama-rama. I want to know what word Trumpy Rumpy described as more useful than me. It's obvious, Joe. The first three letters align with you. So obviously, Trumpy Rumpy was trying to roast both you and Jill at the same time. Okay, I disagree with the useless part, but I can half agree with my wife being more useful because she did give birth to my kids and supported me along the way. Oh, wow. First ever time you agreed with Donnie ever in a Wordle game. Joe, that doesn't mean anything. I still think you're useless and sleepy. Missed me yet, uneducated people. This is Wordle 23. Checkmate. What in the duck brain? How did checkmate come to your mind? One more time, Joe Biden, your deranged sleepy brain messed up the intro. You hold YouTube's world record for most consecutive intro fuck up ever. Boys, last Wordle video got over 500 likes, so we get to put makeup on Donnie today. Oh, yes, I remember that. Yes, let's go. Trumpy Rumpy's makeup time. No, no, guys, I will look so bad with makeup. We didn't even sign a makeup contract. Nope, deal is a deal. Haha, uh -huh. I took Jill's makeup bag today. Let's go. How did your demented brain even remember such a thing? We get 30 seconds to apply makeup on Donnie. And countdown, three. All your 500 likes made me do this, so you better subscribe today. Two and one, let's go. Okay, starting off with some orange foundation and highlighter. And adding in some orange lip tints. Gentle guys, you have six fucking hands smothering my face. I can't see anything. And I'll draw on some pretty eyeliners for you, Donnie. I hate this. I can't even see what I look like. Trumpy Rumpy looks like a Victoria's Secret's fashion model. Okay, the foundation and highlighter are complete. Now we will move on to stage two makeup. Do you think I'm a human dummy to you? You would love how you look. We'll make you look so good. Even Melania will be jealous after she sees you. Stage two complete. Moving on to the final stage. I can feel the fucking weight of my face already. Wait, Donnie, and a bit more lipsticks, then we will be done. Oh my god, Donald looks like a 30-year-old young man. And the finishing touch of red on your nose. Jeez, if Donald was a girl, I will ask her out today. You look fabulous, Donnie. What do I look like? Who put so much red on my face? I fucking hate this. Embrace the new you, Donnie. Today, you are much more colorful than usual. I look even more ugly than Joe Biden with this makeup. And for the viewers, you have to wear this makeup the whole day. I can't wait to do punishments on you guys. It would be epic. We'll figure that out, Trumpy Clowny Rumpy. Also, I just came up with my eight letter words and this word is nature related. I love that name, Trumpy Clowny Rumpy. I will call you that for the rest of the day. Ha 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 Today has to be the best Wordle video ever. Today is the worst day ever. Viewers will love you, Trumpy. Absolutely. I'm putting in my first guess. Farmland. Even worse, this makeup smells like Jill Biden's oily skin. You're a clown, Donnie. Clowns don't get mad. So you want me to laugh like a retarded cocaine baby? Ha 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 Yeah, well that ain't happening. Ha 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 Yes, just like that Trumpy Rumpy. Keep that attitude for the entire day, Donnie. That would not happen until Joe Biden gets buried with his dusty makeup bag. Not anytime soon. My brain's functioning perfectly and I will type in kangaroo because Trumpy Clowny Rumpy does not only look like a clown, but underneath he looks like a pregnant kangaroo. Ooh. Joe with the full body burn. Joe, did the mental hospital let you leave prematurely today? If that's the case, I will push you under a train and roll my face on your body because my face smells like an old lady. You should join me in the mental hospital. You will get everyone excited. These people never seen a real life clown before. Joe, the only place I will be excited is when I throw you into the African wildlife and watch with pleasure while animals eat their tastiest ever meal. That's also the word I'm whacking in. I am super convinced Donnie does have a secret crush on Joe and vice versa. Donnie just called Joe tasty and Joe wants to marry Trump. The day I marry Joe Biden is the day that dusty, crippling old man dies because I will feed him cocaine in every meal he eats that day. Dream on, Donnie.
The closest we'll get to a marriage is you chasing me in this game of Wordle. You are so old and boring. I will crush you, this round cocaine, Sleepy Joe. Hey, your face today, I just can't take you seriously. <laughs> Joe Biden, how high are you on cocaine right now? Yeah, what the hell was that laugh, Joe? Nothing, but whenever I look at that clown... What about it? <laughs> my heart, my chest is hurting from laughing. Here, here. Good, I can't wait for you to die from laughing too hard today, Joe Biden. That nose, hey, hey, ha, ho, 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 hey, hey. Oh my fucking god, alright, I'll move on with my guest now. Joe has gone absolutely crazy today. Going back to Wordle, if it's nature related, then mornings would find us more clues. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow morning and see the news headlines that Joe Biden has died from laughing too hard. Maybe by tomorrow morning I will see the news that you got divorced because Melania thought you cheated on her. If that happens, I will point every missile in the U.S. at you and Jill Biden's dusty makeup bag. I'm pretty sure last time I checked, presidents don't weaponize vanity bags. That is still very true, absolutely. I will break every single rule because I'm Donald Trump. Trump. But you still look like a clown. I'm pretty sure no clowns has ever entered the White House before. I can make people laugh. <laughs> Joe, stop looking at Donald. Focus on the game, man. I'm right here, Sleepy Joe. Okay, okay, deep breath and close my eyes the whole time. Good job, Joe. You are finally starting to learn self-control. And now it's your turn to guess again. I forgot. What's the theme again, Obama-rama? The theme is to laugh and die. Nope. My hint is this word is nature-related. You are so boring, Obama. Who even likes nature? I, I like, like nature. nature. No wonder you guys are all boring. I like factories and anything processed. No shit, Donald Ronald McDonald. Oh shit, you should become the new Ronald McDonald. Oh ha ha, that would be epic. If that ever happens, I'm putting my life savings to buy McDonald's shares. That would never happen because I will wash this stinky makeup off by tomorrow. Not even with unlimited supply of Maccus Ronald Donald McDonald? Never ever with this stinky dusty powder on my face and my name is Donald. But you look like Ronald. With a D, not an R. I like calling you Ronald McDonald. Fine then, I will shove that D up Jill's ass. How about that? Don't say anything bad about my wife. Joe, we are always waiting for you. All right, then I will whack mounting because only I get to ride Jill Biden. No one else. Jill is mine and forever mine. Joe Biden is so messed up today. Joe just laughed way too much lol. And finally, this is Trumpy Clowny Rumpy, the Ronald Donald McDonald's turn. This has to be the stupidest nickname I ever heard in my life. Fine then, Ronald McDonald. Simple. How about that? If I'm Ronald McDonald, then you're surely the toy inside. Small, cheap, dusty, and easy to break. I'm surprised you didn't mention the golden arches, Don. Of course I remembered. I was waiting for you guys to pick it up. And we are still waiting on your guest, Don. This word is insultingly easy. Obviously, it's Mountain just switched the I and N around. Finally, Trump actually won a round for once. Our makeup on Donald definitely boosted his self-esteem. Joe, get prepared. It's Donald's turn to pick a word. Ha ha ha, you morons. I came up with a nine-letter word that even five-year-olds would know. Aha, uh -huh, I got it. This word has to be about you when you went to school. You were called the orangiest kid, or more commonly, biggest kid, which meant fattest kid because five-year-olds are too innocent. I'm actually fucking surprised you passed elementary school. You even misspelled biggest you moron joe i think it's taking your pills time how could you misspell the word biggest apart from the spelling he did get us three more yellow letters that for sure aha i will type orange kid for my next guest once again joe biden you crippling corpse of an old man this word is super easy and it's school related all right i will type your books it's the best ever thing at the end of the year and it always has bought our families close together i mean i reminisce those school times damn bushy wushy and obama rama decades have just passed so fast we don't even realize it yeah it's been 60 years since i left school time has really flied by didn't we were so energetic back then, and now everything is so unsure and scary all of a sudden when bringing this up. I really don't want to think about that right now. The nostalgia and memories are beautiful, but they will bring back tears of joy, so let's continue playing. I agree with you, since you are the oldest in the room. Bushy carry on, it's your turn. All right, school related. The most popular thing a five-year-old would know is principal. Everyone was scared when they started walking on the courtyards, and all of a sudden we start behaving. Yeah, they were terrifying, suited in black, and always walking with a deputy or another teacher of some sort. Of course, Trumpy Rumpy is always scared because he is literally the big fat school bully. And you're the stereotypical crackhead who would always hide doing cocaine in the bathroom. Ha 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 ha. We always stayed away from these kids, but now we are playing with Joe Biden. That's only because our parents always told us to stay away from them. Now, living all this life, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just some one way of enjoying life. Absolutely. I totally agree, Bushy Wushy. Unless you do too much like Joe Biden, then it becomes a problem. So you have dementia now. I never did cocaine Trumpy Rumpy. Either way, Hunter does it, so he has to be influenced by someone. And that someone is called Joe Biden. Screw you, Donald Ronald McDonald. You mean Trump is saying the truth? Fuck yeah, of course I am. I always tell the truth. I hate you, Donnie, but not that much today because you 
you look like a funny clown. Ha 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 ha. Joe, seriously, you now have a laughing problem. Hurry up, sleepy cocaine laughing, Joe. Viewers are waiting for your turn. All right, Ronald, the no D McDonald. I will type in schedules, a thing that started becoming a pain in the ass when you went into middle school. I agree. Elementary school was where the fun was at. For me, it was those partying days in college. They were golden time. I agree with both of you. I like everything because I was always the boss of my class and king of my grade. Striving for academic achievements was my way of life in college. And with that said, I will type in scholarly. There's a reason we call you a nerd, Obama-rama. Better called a nerd than a chubby orange pregnant clown looking kangaroo. Guys, I think I basically found this word. If scholar was wrong, then it has to start with school and ends in three letters. Oh, I see this word. This is actually the first ever time Donnie put in a proper word. Just look carefully at these letters, Joe. Oh yeah, I see it. There's yellow B and O's and it describes Trump, so it's schoolboy. See, I told you this word is something a five-year-old would know. So it is the makeup making Donnie smarter today. Screw you, I'm washing that dusty shit off now. You would never know what I put in that makeup bag. What the fuck, Joe? Welcome back, illiterate people, to Wordle episode 24. Welcome back to Kid Searching Time. Damn it, Joe. I thought you got the intro correct for once. Sleepy Joe, you are the reason kids aren't subscribed to us yet. But I loathe kids so much. They smell so creamy and milky, especially their mouths. Cocaine pedophilic Joe Biden, your senile creepy ass scare the kids away. That's why you are the most useless person on this channel. Screw you, Donnie. Your diet killed so many cows and pigs. Kids are scared of your fat ass. Demented Sleepy Joe, I can't wait till the day I push you under a car and eat your ashes so I can shit you out in the toilet again. I have security guards around me 24-7 and all you have is fat. Can we ever play one fucking Wordle video without you? to arguing. Trumpy Rumpy the Pregnant Kangaroo started it. Joe, I'm genuinely amazed how demented you are. Last time we got up to nine letters, so we are going to play ten letter words today. I will put in my ten letter word today, hooray. None of us got the nine letter word last time, so it's Trumpy Rumpy's turn again. Ha ha ha, losers, I will put in the best word ever. Will you put in some Fugazi made up word again? What's the category of your word, Donnie? I already told you it's the best thing ever, and it also described me perfectly. I would have used my ten letter opportunity on something super fun and exciting. That's because you're boring like a robot, and the Wordle King is never lame like you. The only king you are, Donnie, is being a chubby orange fat ass. Ha 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 ha, that's very true. And you are also the king of being stupid. And Obama-rama, you are the king of gobbling the most BBC as a president. Donnie, why do you always have to be so mean to everyone? I will be a nice gentleman and type in billionaire to describe you. That's because being mean is fun and being nice is boring. That's because Donnie has never been nice ever in his entire life. Every town and village needs an idiot, right, Grumpy Trumpy? Oof, Joe, what a sick burn. And yet cocaine, demented, sleepy Joe still managed to become president of the whole country. America is all getting fucked by an 80-year-old. Age comes wisdom. It's something you would never know about. When you talk, you mumble. And when I talk, at least people know I speak English. Screw you, Donnie. You look like a pregnant kangaroo. I am typing that in. Joe, you moron. Kangaroo is eight letters. Fine, then I will just whack two more O's on the end. Kangaroo, O. Oh. Sounds like the noise you make when you finally get out of bed, Joe. Are those extra O's for every time you've messed up the intro, Joe? Once again, Joe Biden, the crusty, musty, dusty ass, proved to be super useless. But that was an amazing guess, though. If we wanted an echo, we'd have asked for one. You should insert a dictionary chip in your brain next time we play Wordle, Joe Biden. How can you put chips in a brain, you silly Billy Ronald McDonald? Silly Billy, what's next, Joe? Gonna call me a meanie weenie? Yes, I will. Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy, the silly billy meanie weenie pregnant kangaroo. I'm genuinely amazed how you stumble in your words but manage to come up with nicknames so easily. Exactly. I never had anyone in my life call me Bushy Wushy. Ha <laughs> ha. We're in a room where the silly billy trumpy rumpy meanie weenie is a dummy. Obama Rama the llama wears his mama's pajamas and Bushy Wushy the tushy pushy is the biggest pussy. Oh my fucking days. If I'm a pussy, Joe, you're the cat's meow of gas. Stop using stupid nicknames, Joe Biden. Today you made them sound even more retarded when you put it in a sentence. Just admit I'm the king of nicknames. It's super weird how you are so good at this stuff. Anyways, I will type in commercial for my next guest because business is Trump's favorite thing. Finally, after typing in 30 letters, you guys managed to get two green letters. Is your word a made up word, Trumpy Rumpy? It's a proper English compound word and it's something you can never be. Donnie, not all two words are compound words, you know that? I know Obama Rama, but every compound word is made with two words. See, even you're using my nicknames, Trumpy Rumpy. I can't help it because you got it stuck in my head and I'm stuck with your stupid nicknames for my entire life. I think Donnie does not know what is the meaning of a compound word, and I am going to go with non-smoking. The words ends in king? No way, Donald. I cannot think of a six-letter word before king. All I can think of is fat king and obese king. You dirty bag of dust, you are living dementia and kid-sniffing king. And Donnie is this channel's new illiterate king. Is your word seriously proper English or made up? Once again, it's two proper English words. I even googled it. So it's not a compound word? It's just two separate word, right? I don't see the difference. What even is the difference between the two? It's the same to me. You should have told us it was two different words 
word at the start, then our first three guesses would be way better. It's okay, Obama-rama. I got my guess for Trumpy Rumpy. Crippling Joe Biden, your nicknames not only sound super stupid, but extremely gay and retarded. I was going to be nice and call you a king for once. You're such a meanie weenie. Let's be fair, Donnie wrongfully calls himself a king at literally everything. Ha ha ha, I can come up with a list of at least ten on the top of my brain. And I will call him Dookie King because when he eats too many McDonald's, he would take the world's biggest shit in the toilet. Eating McDonald's is a luxury. When I am on the golden throne, at least I'm quick, unlike you who use it as metal napping tool. The only golden thing about your throne is the fries you drop on it. When it comes to thrones, it's always quality over speed. Obama, you turn the throne into premium quality chocolate, and when Michelle's gets on it, it becomes premium triple chocolate. What, did you just say triple chocolate chocolate chip? Yep, do you want to taste some, Joe? Absolutely. Woo-hoo-hoo, I hope it's mint flavored also. You want to taste some? Obama's got a lot at home. Joe, I know your brain's on a permanent vacation, but we're talking about poo here, not a flavor fest. Since when did we talk about poo in a Wordle game? Oh my God, you demented Joe, you're so useless. Look at the last word you typed. Oh, I remember I called you a dookie king. All right, putting these words together, the correct word has to be Wordle king. And for your info, Donnie, you're not the Wordle king. I am the real Wordle King. Viewers and everyone watching knows that Bushy boy. Okay, let's move on to Bush's round without a massive baby fight. Okay, if Trumpy Rumpy wants to play a compound word, I will do the same this round. What's your theme and clue, Bushy Wushy? The theme is this word is the proper definition of Grumpy Trumpy, and it has no king in the word. This is going to be super fun. I know the word already. Neither any of you guys have said my proper name today because you peasants have horrible names, so the word has to be the best and greatest of all time, Donald Trump. Ah, uh, suck on these yellow letter Donald Trump. At least I have two green letters, you dirty Joe Biden. I know Bush's compound words would be much more fun because it has to be something that's true. Absolutely. This is a true and the perfect description of Donald Trump. Okay, I will break the trend and put in adventurous just to reveal more unused letters this round. You are so boring, Obama-rama. You are such a bad friend. How does writing an adventurous make me a bad friend, Don? It's a sign of you not trusting Bush. He clearly said compound word. You should apologize to Bushy Wushy. Actually, that's not a big deal. First guess is always random for these big letter words. You are such a supportive old man, Bushy Wushy. Joe, your gay romance is almost making me vomit. It's 21st century Don. You should be really respectful. Does it look like I give a shit, Obama-rama? You have to, otherwise you will get canceled. You need to learn some respect, you big, fat, pregnant kangaroo. If we are canceled, I can no longer buy chocolate chocolate chip ice creams. Don't worry. Michelle and Obama have fresh homemade every day. You just need to make sure you freeze them properly. I can't believe even Bushy Wushy is influenced by idiots now. Bushy is being influenced by greatness, you boring robot. Donnie, I see you try so hard every day to become stupider. And fatter at the same time. Uh, Joe, I will go to Obama's home and grab homemade triple chocolate chip and force feed you until you rot from stinkiness. You are already fat, you orange looking pregnant kangaroo. Actually, I will type in kangaroo because you are fatter than a pregnant one. Joe, stop misspelling kangaroo. It's G-A-R, not G-E-R. That's second time today, Joe. Joe, I can't believe eight-year-olds spell better than you and you managed to become president. Once again, Joe is useless. I'm convinced the word that describes me has to be something like greatest of all time. Not only are you built so big, but every phrase coming out of your mouth is fatter than normal. Sleepy cocaine infested Joe. After eating chocolate homemades, everything coming out of your mouth will be Michelle and Obama's stinky shit. Trump, get my fucking mouth's name out of your fucking wife before I Smith slap the shit out of you. I had got it. It's a joke. Just okay, smell with. What the heck did Trumpy Rumpy just say? Some things that you will never understand. You are seriously making me speechless, Donnie. That's because I'm the goat at every everything. In fact, I am so great, I think Bushy Wushy put in greatest of all time to describe me. How will you fit that in Trump? Greatest O, be smart, Bushy. There's no way Bushy would put in greatest O. And there is no way someone can be so boring like you. I got it. This word has to contain Trump in it because all those letters are revealed. This clue was literally revealed in the first guess and it took you guys three tries later to figure it out. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then this word I will put in is Trumpy Rumpy. If it does not end in Trump, it has to start with Trump. You are so lucky, Obama-rama. If I didn't put in Trump for my first round, you would not have figured it out. Have have you figured the word out yet, Joe? It start with Trump, and every letter is revealed, so I just need to puzzle them together. I actually see it already. Joe, look carefully at how the letters are formed. This word has to be something like Trump unique, or Trump is epic. No way, Grumpy Trumpy. The word is obviously Trump is dumb. Ha ha ha. Yes, I got it. Bushy, you actual savage of a man. Ha ha, that is very true. I thought we were fucking friends, Bushy. I will get you back sooner or later. By the way, next episode is Wordle Competition. What should we do? We could bring our wives in and compete. Joe, are you sure? Because we won't have an ambulance for some old age accidents. 
this. You are a fat pig. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTube. This is Wordle episode 25. And we have special guests with us today. Am I dreaming? This is a miracle. Let's go, Joe. Congrats on getting the intro right for the first time. Today is a Wordle competition and our wives are joining. For once, Joe, you are finally useful for getting the intro right. And let's welcome Laura Bushy. Hello, guys. Glad to be here. All right, let's go. Let's welcome back, Melania. I heard a lot about you guys. Super glad to be back again. Let's go. We will win this. Now let's welcome Michelle. I mean, Michelle Obama. Cheers for inviting. And Donnie, remember my name is Michelle. Finally welcome here, Jill Biden. Hey guys, I just woke up a couple minutes ago. Sleepy Jill and Sleepy Joe Biden sounds both super useless. Screw you, Donnie. That was actually a bit mean, Don. I would have roasted Joe already, but since everyone is here, let's get started with the game. All right, what is the format today? We need one team to give us words, and the other three will compete. Winner gets a point and becomes the next word giver. And since I am the king of Wordle, we will give you the word for the first round. Wait for real? You're the king of Wordle? Not Grumpy Trumpy just exaggerates so much. I reckon you should reduce the nicknames, Joe. Hell no, I will give everyone here new nicknames today. We should just move on, Joe. Let's get started. Wait up, what's my nickname? Donnie already made your nickname. You are Manchel Obama Rama the Llama. Joe, there's no need for this. What's my nickname then, Joe? You are Melania the California Mama Mia, and Trump will be Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy. I hate you, Joe. This is the stupidest thing you've said. Wait. Let me hear my nickname. You are Aura the Flora Laura Bushy Wooshy. Okay, this is not that bad, actually. And I call Jill as Jill Chill with her pill grill. Okay, everyone's nickname is done. Let's get started. Yep, finally, we'll get started. You guys should rate my nicknames, actually. Not now, Sleepy Joe. Let's not talk so much crap and let's get started. Well, then go ahead, bro. Don't give me orders. Thank you, we'll do our best. Hey, wait. Relax, it's a good opportunity to see how the others play. All right, if you want to choose the word, but make sure they're like sharks, don't make it easy for them. The only one resembling animals here is you, Trump. Obama Rama, I'm just making making my greatness clear to you guys, the world's first billionaire and Wordle king. You, Donald Trump, a billionaire? I don't see what you need to prove you're already quite big. For Trump, it's never enough. He's like a kid, ha ha ha. Is it just me, or is Barack acting more animated than usual? He's special today, and we're not following our usual characterization. Don and I came up with our first word. It's a three-letter word, and- We won't give hints. See you later. Just kidding. Yes, we'll give a hint. We should be generous with that. Did we call that? I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand what they're talking about. I'm almost sleepy now. So tell us, Mel, what's the hint? It's something we like to do with our husbands. Hmm, something we like to do with our husbands. Well, I like watching Joe sleep. Ha <laughs> ha I knew it. What now, Grumpy Trumpy? Not only are you Sleepy Joe, but you even married to Sleepy Jill. Everyone needs to sleep, Donald. The thing is, Trump is an embryo that hasn't left the fetus stage. He doesn't know how to live. Anyway, this round should be for our wives because they know about these things and it's a chance for them to get familiar with the game. That's what you guys supposed to do for the first round unless Mrs. Obama's name is Barack. Well, kick us off. What do you think, dear? Well, considering we're the wives of men who have been presidents, and I hope it's not just me, I like to gaze at my Joe. And the three-letter word to describe that is C. It was a good attempt, but you didn't get very close. Jill, you should better start with less repeated letters to get better chances of getting a correct letter. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to tell you that. That's actually trickier than I thought, but okay, I got it. Gives me the same sleepy koala vibes. Jeez, Donnie. What do you think, Barack? Hey, this round isn't for married ladies. What? 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 Relax, that's just how it usually goes. You guys have only experienced 10% of the heat it gets here. Frick, I never knew Donnie was this wild. It could have been a good joke if it was in the right context. Honey, don't help them get the heat in there. So what do you think, love? Uh, I suppose it's something we all share. We were supposed to have our wives play the first round. I work with Obama and he works with me. We're a great team. Okay, tell us your guess. It's supposed to be your round. I can't help you with the first round, remember? I do love spending time, sit down with Barack to chat for a while about lots of things. So you're saying you sit on Barack's face and having a chat? Hey Don, that's not what she means. We all know how the Obama family has fun, right boys? No, Michelle is right though. Sitting down to talk every now and then and share our thoughts are essential. Of course it is. And I will go with sit for my guess. And not in that sense, idiots. Behave yourself, especially you, Trump. You're right, guys. Let's not be disrespectful. We need to ensure they don't get their daily dose of suffocation afterwards. Donnie, you orange. Never mind. Trumpy is trying to say that Michelle will sit on Obama's face and suffocate him because his wife is here. I'm not surprised given how stupid Donnie can get sometimes. I believe it's Bush's turn now. All right, let's not lose our cool. This is getting heated super quickly. Don't worry, it's normal in here. Just stay calm and composed and the game is actually quite enjoyable. Well, I do think we'll be having a lot of fun and that's why they brought us along. And it's also something wives like as well with their husbands. So I will go with fun. I actually believe the foundation of a good wife is obedience. Joe, that's super funny you mentioned that. Sounds like Joe is the obedient one in the Biden family, always hiding his cocaine whenever he stays awake. Donnie, are you kidding? That's insane to think that. I mean, what Joe said was absolutely right, and I agree. Yep, I agree with what Joe said, too. I'm not surprised, guys. Since we are all super agreeable, the word nod could fit in here super nicely. 
Who doesn't like an agreeable partner? Ha ha ha, giving me sleepy koala vibes. You're a dumbass, Donnie. Hey, Barack, look, it's a word with an N. Wait, dear, do you think the same as I do? Well, yes, I basically figured out the word when Joe was talking. What the hell are they going on about? Well, obviously, every wife loves to nag their husband. It's a fun thing to do. We all do it. Absolutely. Nice one, let's go. You're just as good at Wordle as I am. You just got super lucky. Congratulations, Obama. Don't congratulate them. The idea is for them not to win because we said a very difficult word. We need to win. Well, Michelle and I, after thinking for a while, have decided to choose an easy four-letter word that represents us. I already know the word. It's 100% that word. Perfect. That way we'll win faster. No wonder you call yourself the Wordle King Don. Get ready, ladies. I bet he will say something racist. Or something totally stupid. Don't interrupt me. I'm going to put in my word. It's definitely this word. Donnie, we have guests here today. Don't say those stupid words. Just a warning, it's not the N-word, and it's not nuke. I know it's not the N-word. I'm thinking of a B-word. A B-word. Tell me first, Don. Give us a clue for your word, Obama. What theme is it under? No clues for you guys. Try guess the word. We gotta give a hint, or else things will get wild. All right, guys, this word is something that perfectly describes us. And Trump goes first. Get ready, you guys. You sound super suspicious, Donnie, if George says it that way. Trust me, Mel, this is the word. I'm 200% sure of it. Fine, I trust you since I don't have a clue anyways. Time to see what the real Wordle King comes up with. Since the word perfectly describes Obama, it has to be the best B word. Ronald McDonald, Obama will not put in that word. I am 100% certain it's a B word because that's what Obama likes to do. Just a disclaimer, ladies. If Donnie says something stupid, just remember that's classical Donald. Wait, Barack, Donnie hasn't written his word yet. Don put in the word. Let's see. I am super certain the word is bomb. You are super predictable, Trumpy Rumpy. Although bomb is not right, props on you getting two green letters, Donald. Dan, I was super convinced it was bomb. Just wait till our next turn. It's okay. That word has nothing to do with Obama, though. Just need to get used to it. Well, at least the word starts with B and O. Trump wasn't that far off. That's the first ever time Trump got two green letters putting in bomb. Why do you love bombs? Is that how you got rich? No, Sleepy Joe. I got rich with my own wit and self-capability. Ha ha, I actually like the name Sleepy Joe. Yep, true. I even call him that. We should go on our guess. What are you thinking? I mean, there's too many words starting with B-O, so how about let's use more commonly used consonants and vowels? Good idea. What do you reckon for bone? It has nothing to do with Obama, but like you said, there's too many options now. Absolutely, I agree. Let's put that in. This is also a really tricky round. I'm still convinced the word is bomb. Maybe they spelt it backwards. No way, Donnie. You should start thinking about other ideas. It's actually our turn now. What should we put in? I'm not sure either, Sleepy Joe. You give it a go. I'm feeling sleepy right now. Holy jackpot. Sleepy Joe, now Sleepy Jill. I'll go with the logical guesses. Bold because when Obama gets old, he will start getting bold. That's really offensive. Why? Unless you mean Bolt, as in Usain Bolt. Now it's the Wordle King's turn. Let me choose this time. Relax, I have the perfect word. I will go with boys because Obamas are both men. Trump, that makes no sense. I have no clue if you're being stupid or trying to be sarcastic, but either way, you are really stupid, Donnie. You guys are both built like men. Donnie, be quiet, dude. Trump, that makes no sense. It does. Have you seen the Squidward meme? Stop mixing everything up. I think we should stop wasting time and play seriously. You're saying that just to stay awake, Sleepy Joe. I think he's saying it because you wasted your turns on child insult, Sleepy Joe. She's right. We need to analyze this deeply. It's a four-letter word with O and S, which represents them quite well. There's quite a few options here, actually. What are you planning to go with? Describes them, but I'm thinking of booze. That word really can describe everything. Good idea. I'll lock that in. This is going to be super easy. Yep, the only word that can fit in here is boss. Now I see why Obama's chose that word. You really don't think much despite having old fingers. A win is a win, so we have to make the most of it. All right, both me and Biden are on one point now. Do you already have a word? Yes, it's something even humans love. One of their favorite things. Power. I completely agree. I bet it's wrong. And we can finish quickly. I'll type in power. That's what happens when you rush and don't take time to think. Shall we reconsider? Of course. We're discussing... I want to play today. Spare us the exaggeration, please. Don't rush them. Everyone has their time. Did you learn that from watching him sleep? Actually, yes. He takes hours for his nap. Hey, love, it's about defending me, not giving Trump more reasons. Relax, I'm just joking. So skipping all the information, we can say the word is peace. Why is that? People in their governments like peace, in case you didn't know, Obama. It's Obaminator. And he goes kaboom. Then it's peace. I'll go for it. Yep, whack that in. Well, considering the family hive mind, I think the word is sleep. Doesn't sound bad. It's something common. And something the Biden family loves. Don't include the entire family, please. No, but it's a recurring activity that could relate to others. Although I think it doesn't have the letter we're looking for. All right, Mel, you're right. He has already been used. I will go with ghost because sleepy Bidens will haunt you at night because they oversleep. Not bad at all. Now it's our turn. The best team in Wordle. Your team sucks. Remind me when we beat you. Be careful. You might end up eating your words. I doubt it. It's obvious we know what the word is. It's a combination of letters that represent what people love. You guys can't imitate us. We're not imitating. We're the real version of intellectual talent. Now something everyone loves is match. 
because people love to find their perfect match in their life. Matches? No, it's a way to describe how people click or connect. Yep, that's how I met Michelle. I'm sure you guys matched on Grinder. We're not talking about your experiences, Trumpy Grumpy. At least his nickname isn't. Yeah, he is Grumpy Trumpy. Yeah, get wrecked, Obama Rama. All right, anyways, we will put in match. Lock it in, baby. Close enough. At least you got some of the letters right. We'll make it easier for you. It's something that makes us all happy. Oh, parties. The word is definitely parties. That's the first thing I think of. Wait, it's our last round. We have to choose wisely. We need to choose something that also represents people's happiness. Something that makes them happy. Well, I've got it. If you wish to share it. No, thank you. I prefer to keep it to myself. That's the way. I know it's related to the party. You were definitely close, but the word is laugh. Oh, good thinking. You actually got it right. Damn, we should have thought about that. Surprise, Sleepy Bidens came up with laugh. It's not that difficult, Donnie. Even grade school kids know. Okay, so we are all on one point except for Trump. Just wait till the Wordle King gets you guys back. How are you Wordle King if you haven't even won around? Okay, now we've chosen a simple yet challenging Word. This word is something truly relaxing. What do you think, dear? Well, it's a tricky word, but maybe it's a trick to deceive us for so long. Being good at that and liking it are two completely different worlds. All right, this is actually a simple vocabulary word that is relaxing. I'll take a chance. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Relax. I know what I'm doing. The word is savage because Bush thinks he is an intellectual savage. Man, there is no way I would put in that word. It's something relaxing, remember. Well, what can you expect from the sleepy cocaine koala? I mean, Joe, I did warn you, didn't I? Chill, it's our first guest. Doesn't matter that much. Can I choose the word now? Of course, Mel. It's about time you start getting good good at this game? I think it's a simple word. It has S and E, so my instinct is that it is a nice season or the beautiful change of a season. So I will go with season. Good idea. Whoa, and that's why I'm the Wordle King and Mel is the Wordle Queen. Honestly, congratulations. Okay, so now we have more clues. I think we should really think about it a bit more. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I have gotten something. Well, then what do you suggest, Michelle? Well, the opposite of something relaxing is the stinking sound of the drain. It fits perfectly if you know how to put it together with the letters Melania mentioned. Are you referring to sewage? Exactly, I'm glad you caught on, I'll lock it in. Well, I think this time we should go back to our roots and accept that it's not a wordplay. Yes, I agree, and I believe there's nothing more relaxing in this world than sleeping. Well, I am, well, in agreement. Yes, nothing is more relaxing. I'm surprised Joe knows his conscience. I trust my wife and I agree with her, so I will put in sleepy. And then on their wedding day, the priest said, Sleepy Joe, do you accept that drowsy young lady in sickness and in health? I accept. And you, Sleepy Jill, do you want to accept Sleepy Joe and sleep forever until insomnia does your part? Yay, congratulations. Now, Obama and Trump, you're the new Mr. and Mrs. Sleepy. Well, while you were making fun, I had time to think of this next word. Putting all the letters and clues together, I think the word is serene. Oh, ha ha ha, let's go. Well done, and that's why I am the Wordle King and Mel is the Wordle Queen. Okay, at least we are all on one point each now. After seven letters, it's where the decider for the winner really comes into play. And we will win this. Hell no, you will lose this. Okay, I just came up with my seven letters. Word. Wait, let me choose the word this round. I have came up with the perfect word. What do you have in mind? It's this thing. Do you see it? Geez, Donnie. All right, let's go with that. All right, dumbasses. This next word, it's a word that's worth a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money. Your orange tan. Well, one thing I've learned in my opulent life is that if something is expensive, it's a roof over your home. And the hard work it takes to have one, to feel secure, with all the security systems in place and everything. Absolutely. What do you think of the word mansion? Perfect, let's go with that. It's also a very Trumpy word. Trumpy Rumpy only lives in a mansion only because he evades a lot of taxes. That's fake news. I pay my taxes and spend my profits on extravagant things. I agree. You're the most expensive thing in my life, Mel. Well, I'm sure of one thing, and it's that Grumpy Trumpy likes perverted things. Ha ha ha. So I have a hunch. I agree too. That man only thinks about money, 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 and sex. That's fake news, Manchel. I never think that. Then what's expensive and perverted for the Trumps, you reckon, and something that poor Melania has no idea? It's obviously Trump hiring prostitutes and getting them in bondage. I'm putting that in. Fuck you, Manchel. You were built a man with fake plastic implants. Another expensive thing in the lives of everyday millionaires is divorces. Uh, and that is probably Trump's priority. I'm fine, and I am happy with my wife's sleepy cocaine koala. I agree with Jill, because in Trump's little head, I don't think he's thought about the consequences of divorces. Are you even taking this seriously? To play Trump's round, you have to think like Trump. That's why we're analyzing according to your thoughts, Trumpy Rumpy. But it could also be something Trump lacks, something he made up. What do you propose? Nothing out of this world. Among the most expensive things are the ones you can't buy. For you, everything can be bought, so it's pointless. But not everything can be bought for us. There are things that have great value. A peaceful life, stability, a beautiful companionship, and that's something you can't buy, even if you think you can. Seriously, Bushy Wushy, I have no idea what you're talking about. I lost track a while ago. That's why our chosen word is con life, as in having a shitty life you need money to escape. I don't even think that 
that's a proper word. God, it's very simple. It's something you buy with money and it's expensive. Where has most of Joe's government spending gone? You mean insurance for immigrants? I don't know. I never read the government plan. I always supported him because he was a Democrat and Trump is a crybaby. Sure, but he's a crybaby who kept USA at peace during his time in office. Barack, if you had not woken up with a boner that morning, you would have married another lady. Let's not lose our composure. We have some information that might be useful. There is a lot of clues here and something relating to Joe, I have no clue. That's because you have not been with us for long enough. If it's something Joe likes, I am super certain it's cocaine. I don't even do cocaine. Yes, you do, sleepy cocaine koala. You need 69 pounds a day just to stay awake, Joe. I really think the word Trump put in is cocaine. To no one's surprise, it turned out to be cocaine. Trump, when are you going to learn to stop wasting your time on cocaine jokes and do productive things instead? We are all 60 playing Wordle with our wives. Bushy, it's the best ever thing to do for all four of our families, and we need to show them our Wordle spirits. All right, everyone, since Trump wasted the word again on something completely unnecessary, we will choose a word that's worth it. Something that opposes everything Trump stands for, for sure. Are you parodying Team Rocket? Haha, uh -huh, then Trump is Boba Fett. If I'm Boba Fett, Joe is a Metapod. No one is going to understand those jokes, did you know that? I have no clue what you're even on about. You can start if you want. From what I could gather just by coming in today, none of you get along with Donnie. You guys have, like, conflicting personalities. Donnie the Grumpy Trumpy can be insufferable at times. He can be pushy, but he's also super competitive. I am the Wordle King and I will win again. You are literally on one point Donnie and we are on two at the moment. And this word we decided is something that is the complete opposite of Donald. Like no common sense or along those lines? Maybe insect brain. Geez, I think you guys are being too hard on him. I agree. And I actually like his Sleepy Joe jokes. It's good to know the ladies have a good sense of humor. That's why I am optimistic, and instead they might put in something that describes you, Donnie. I'll go with fabulous. Haha, -ha, that perfectly describes me in anything. It's the opposite of the Obamas. Great thinking outside the box. Our turn now. Well, Trump is many things, but there are many things he's not. Yes, everyone has flaws. Exactly, and Grumpy Trumpy has many enormous giant shortcomings. I think a presidential speech is coming. Trump is a big chubby idiot, an immoral clueless, and a tremendous orange inflated Cheetos. Cocaine, sleepy koala, and demented noodle brain. I can't wait to land my belly on you and you will end up in a hospital bed. Holy mother Jesus, is that how you boys hang out and talk with each other every day? Yep, pretty much. Actually, this is probably 60% of our normal day playing Wordle. Geez, no wonder you hang out so often. This is super damn fun. You can't last one minute in full heat here. Your brains will melt Obama-rama. Speaking of melting, I will go with my favorite thing, chocolate choc chip. They are super yummy. What went on with discussing it with me? Joe just can't resist the temptation whenever the words ice cream kids and choc chip get spoken. Yes, I love double choc chip ice cream. Don't worry, Joe. There's plenty choc chip in the room. By the time you lick it out from Obama's ass, it would be triple choc chip. You are such a meanie. Let me write in the next one, okay? You should take a good long nap. Now, yes, getting back to the game as usual and ignoring Joe's filler, I think, well, we think because my wife recommended it, the word to choose is optimist. Yes, I agree that Trump can be very egocentric, narcissistic, and always in a bad mood with everyone. So we will go with Optimus. Mood, it's not like I'm Obama. I hope you're not referring to my skin color. Well, the attempt was good. No one knows more about Trump than Trump himself. I definitely know this word. Think carefully, Donnie. We have a T.I. revealed, and this is our last turn for the round. I'm telling you, Mel, Obama is trying to play tricks on us. His word is nothing that describes me but a fantasy of their own. Oh no, whenever Donnie is confident, the word is about to go south. Yep, I'm prepared for whatever comes next. The Obamas love to ride each other, and they need a horse strap for the one on top, so I am going with Latigos. Holy shit, you really are dumb sometimes. Well, I think we should think carefully now. Ha, uh, the word starts with A-T-I, therefore the word has to be national. I'm back from a one-minute power nap. Is it our turn? Wait, Joe, what did you do? Okay, this word is super easy. Every letter is revealed. Are you thinking what I am thinking? Damn it, I missed it by one letter. It starts with A-T-I and referred to Trump. It's obvious this word is rational. Yes, let's go! Well, now that we've won, we have chosen a very interesting word for our next nine-letter word. And the hint to this word is something we all dream about. Everyone in this room dreams about and wants to be this again. Awesome, my moment has come. What do you mean? This is something I always wanted to be when I was young, and all of us wanted to be this sometime in our lives. I feel like a flashback is coming. When I was a child, I was a sad boy, a powerless child, a person who didn't have what I dreamed of so much. The reason I am president is to fulfill that poor boy's dream. I believe everyone here agrees with me. Always I get you, Baraki. True. You're touching my heart. Don't tell me you want a drone strike more places. We do have to admit he has the strong spirit. The dream we all wish to be is to be gangsters. This is the dream of every young man. Did you become president because you had a frustrated dream of being a gangster? Of course. Didn't you as well? Yes, definitely. But I didn't want to be a gangster. I wanted to be the head of the media, like the mafia boss of the internet. 
This is true gangster shit of the 21st century. Holy shit, I never knew there was a black and white gang leader in this room right now. Just pray they don't start fighting. Except I am good mafia boss and Obama's the bad guy. All right, whatever. I'm glad none of you are gang leaders, by the way. I have the perfect word for our next guest. Let's put in drone nuke because that is what Obama and I will create as our next new super weapon. No think, Donnie, think. The word is something we all dream of, right? Yes, correct. Go on. And all these letters suggest the word end in stir. Are you suggesting bushy wushy rigged the game as in trickster? Bro, why do you think everything is rigged? Because I know the codings of this game back to front, and we only got one point. Okay, Donnie, I will just put in my word. Melanie, what did you do? I got the perfect word. Oh, noise one. Damn, that's the channel's record so far. This is unheard of. Damn, we should have put in superhero. We did agree to something we all want to be. But yeah, you're right. You've betrayed the spirit of a man and I wanted to be a dancer. I'll ignore that and assume you never said anything. I'll let it slide, cocaine koala. I cringe just hearing it. Well, Don and I have thought of a 10 letter word. Perhaps something easier for people of your status. We're all equally rich, dear. I doubt that, but okay. The word is something we all hate. I already know what it is. I'll let you pass because you know Trump very well, which even worries me. Don't worry, I only know Trump because he's an open book. He could even be replicated by a robot. Don't talk about replicating. We are being replicated by our creators in real time, bro. The techno Trump, I've heard of him too. Soon you'll be replaced by mechanical parts. That's just an experiment to have more geniuses like me. A genius who refuses to go to the doctor and is afraid. Where do you get that argument from? From my superbly intellectual brain, grumpy Trumpy. You mean your cocaine koala demented noodle brain? Screw you, Donnie. I'm sure Donald Trump is afraid of doctors and having them see him naked with his ugly body, so I will put in seed off. You made an effort to make a word play when clearly the only one who hates them is your senile, expired, rotting, fossil, demented brain. Anyways, it's our turn now. Well, I trust you, dear. I don't think it's that difficult if it's a Trumpy Rumpy's word. Don't treat him like that. The man just got carried away. But all right, I think Trump is like a child after spending a day playing Wordle here. I'm not a child. Also, don't mention child or kids or else. I just heard child and children. What did I miss out? Nothing. Nothing, Joe. I think you should go back to sleep. Wait, does Joe... If you're thinking about his obsession with kids, yes, you are correct. Oh, oops. I should be a bit quiet. Anyways, George, should I put in that word? Oh, yes, let's put that in. Schoolyards it is. Well, I think it's more aesthetic. I can't imagine the Trump family living in a super tiny house. That's why they have mansions. So you think what I think that Trump hates? Apartments. Luxury cars. Yes, apartments, I agree. It's a very cheap place for Donnie to live. And they would hate it, even we don't like it when you have a lot of money. I never lived in an apartment. I was born in a mansion. Yep, and you carried your family's real estate, so props on you. Yes, Trump is a big investor. He's the chubby one in Wes Anderson's movie. The one with Mr. Fox? Yes, it reminds me of that story. Eating 10 turkeys a day. So we conclude that he hates El Salvador. Good idea. Let's put in El Salvador. Crippling Joe Biden. And also, why would I hate El Salvador? Because it's a democratic country, unlike your government policies. I didn't even know the state of that country. All I know is their currency is Bitcoin because their native currency is so broke. Okay, our turn. Now this is getting somewhere. We should think of a place Trump hates like a state or country. How about Los Angeles? Because it's full of celebrities who always think they know politics better than the politicians. Oh yes, good idea. Let's put that in. Bushy, you might be onto something, but that's not the cesspool of horror I was thinking about. Is it California Trump? because of the strict environmental laws and regulations. Wait, dear, that might be right. Look, all the letter fit in everywhere. Okay, I am putting that in. Yes, correct. That's the worst state now. I mean, where else do taxes rise faster than the sea levels supposedly are? It's the promised land of homeless encampments, overpriced real estate. An overflowing degeneracy in the state. I used to love it, sad to see it turn like that. And that's why I'm stuck away in Texas. Alrighty, now we are on three points and now Bush and Trump is on two. If neither of them get it, that means we will walk away victorious. Our next 11 letter word we came up with is a tough one. This word represents an animal, a super terrifying animal. Well, this round should be easy. It's common sense. There aren't many animals in the world with 11 letters. Looking at the Obamas, the first thing that comes to my mind is killer whales, huge in size. That was a pretty mean example, Joe. I got this animal 100%. What is it, Don? There's a couple animals I can think of that's 11 letters. Same, I can name a few as well. Trust me, darling, I definitely know it. You can even think of 10 letter animals and put an S on the end to make it plural. So this could be a tricky round. I got it, just let me put it in. All right, but nothing stupid, Donnie. The animal I will put in belongs in this room. I will put in Sleepy Koala because Joe Biden is a cocaine Sleepy Koala. Damn it, Donnie. I actually thought you will come up with something sensible and get it correct. I hate you, Trumpy Rumpy. We will pass it on and give it to the next person. Okay, Doki, when it comes to Obama, you gotta be careful, otherwise you can easily get tricked. That's why we're thinking carefully and going for a scientific name. Need to be super strategic with this round. What do you have in mind? What about that rare animal they might put in? Oh, nice one. Good idea, Coropterin it is.
Let's put that in. What on earth is a chiropteran? It's a bat, one of the many species. Yes, honestly, if you're going to play against Obama, you often need to think outside the box. That's a good point. Darling, let's start thinking of an animal outside the box. Absolutely. It cannot be a typical animal. It has to be an extraordinary animal. What do you think about this 11-letter animal, a snow leopard? Nah, I got something even better. It's the complete opposite. You mean like a serotine bat or something like that? Trust me, Jill, I got this. It's definitely this animal, and it perfectly fits in here. Damn, that's the first time I see Joe awake playing 11-letter wordles. I'm always awake, bushy-wushy. That's because you inhaled all the cocaine in the White House this morning. What is the word? Tell me. This word I will put in as a super great animal. The animal is Big Michelle. Ha ha ha, this is the first ever time I agree with Joe. Ha 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 ha. Joe and Don, that's so mean. Fuck you, Joe and Donnie. I will come get you now. Calm down, it's not worth it. We have something even better. In what kind of world would I compare my wife to a big, fat, and ugly animal? Well, she looks like orcas. I don't see what's wrong with it, and I agree with Joe. You always do the same thing in the final rounds. You start off well, and then you go off the rails. Let me put in my word this time. No, I got the perfect word. You were just gonna put in something stupid again. I won't let you do that. Mel, darling, look at me in the eyes. I 100% know this word. I got it. Fine, if, but just don't be mean again, Donnie. Easy peasy. Yahoo. I will follow up with Joe's last guess and I will put in sea elephant. It's missing some letters, Donnie. Is that word reference to what I think you are referring to? A sea elephant? It's the perfect 11-letter word, Obama-rama, and I was just following up with Joe's last guess. There's only me in the room that understands you, stupid joke. I hate you. Well, if it's none of these, it's going to be super tough. There are no animals with these letters formed in such a way. What kind of 11-letter animal is this? Honestly, it requires some more thinking. We need to think deeper. I warned you guys at the start, this is a super hard animal to guess. Are you guys sure this is a proper animal? Yes, Bushy, this is a proper animal. Damn, if this is an animal, I will sure learn something new today. Do you have anything in mind? I am thinking of Durukuli, but... None of these letters fit in. All right, let's go with it. I have no clue as well. Nope, wrong, Bushy. You will see what the animal is. Damn, I wonder what the animal could be. Fuck you, Barack Obama and Manchel the Dirty Pig. So that's the animal, huh? That's for calling my wife a man this whole time, Donnie. If that's the animal, then you guys are aliens. That animal will bomb your fucking house down. If Donnie called Michelle a man when we aren't here, then maybe he deserved it. Cheers for being a very well-rounded Melanie. Much appreciated, and I really enjoyed the time we played Wordle with you guys today. Obama won, but that was a bit unfair to be honest. Next time, we need to put more set rules in place. Oh shoot, Donnie just left the call. I think he is super mad now. Alrighty, I better go now and say goodbye to the viewers. Much appreciate joining you guys. I should head off too. I need to take a big sleep after all these words played today. Me too. Have to say it was super fun joining you guys. We need to do something after this victory, Barack. How about you come over to my place and let's gather together. Okay, sounds super good. I will get ready. See you later. See ya. I need to prepare as well. Time to tell the viewers to like and subscribe. Surprise you, moron. Look what I got for you. Donnie, we won. You can't take our victory away. Look what's happening. That's for calling me an animal, surprise motherfucker. Gah! Take cover! <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the launch codes, ha ha ha. Welcome back, simpletons. This is Wordle 26. This is day one of trying to bankrupt Trump. Holy shit, Joe. You only got one intro, right? Why can't you keep the streak? Joe, we are not making anyone go bankrupt. Joe Biden is a worm, and he is near bankruptcy from his cocaine consumptions. Every day is special because you're getting closer and closer to dying. The one who's going to die is your rotting, demented bag of bones. Let's get started, and Joe Biden is useless. I will start. This is a three-letter word, but it has nothing to do with me. Thank God. Nothing to do with Trump either. You are really good at taking all the fun out of life. Nothing to do with Joe as well. Obama-rama, you are losing my respect. It's going to be a three-letter word, but a super, super hard one. Everybody's been guessing three-letter words way too quickly recently. I think Obama-rama is trying to trick us. There's so many options with three letters, so it's not so easy. If I had to choose, I will go with moo because cows make ice cream. And I will go with Joe because I hope Joe Biden gets killed by a cow. Anyone wants to say gun next? Okay, dokey, folks. Let's get started. I will go first today. Hey, you always go first. I am the Wordle King, my game, my rules. So I am going first, Sleepy Joe. All right, you tangerine pregnant kangaroo. Let's see what you got. Shut your demented infused brain, you glue stick cracked bones. Since you guys are always fighting, I will start us off. And the first word I will put in is jog. Hey, Bushy, I was meant to go first. Too bad, Trumpy. If you didn't fight, you would have gone first. And I will go next because Grumpy Trumpy Rumpy is going last. Joe, you sick twisted dementia brain. It's my turn now. A privileged mind like mine knows exactly how to formulate an intelligent three-letter word on par with Obama. Get your dick out of your mouth, cocaine sleepy Joe. My guess is car because I will drive a car made of ice cream and run over Donald Trump. You malfunction T-Rex sack of bones. Your ice cream will melt when you drive, you dumbass. Not when I drive an ice cream truck and crush your pregnant kangaroo belly under my wheels, you fat orange oompa loompa. You said an ice cream car a second ago, you expired dinosaur. Did you become this stupid because your mom shit you out from the wrong hole? Screw you, Donnie, you slimy sack of 
of Lardball. Joe, clearly my word is not car. It's way too easy. And can you two stop fighting for once? Yeah, I agree. We haven't even got one letter correct yet. You guys are so boring. I can't wait when I get my turn to choose a word. It's literally your turn to guess now, Donnie. Don't rush him, Obama-rama. We all know he has a brain the size of a pea, so he cannot focus for more than one minute. Joe Biden, I will get a surgeon to dig up your brain, and I won't be surprised if your demented and cocaine kid sniffling addiction turned your brain into an empty skeleton. Then your brain will be filled with orange cheeseburger looking fat and cancer. Jeez, guys, Donnie, can you go with your guess now? I already know my word. Ages ago, I will put and die, and I predict demented cocaine koala will be dead in the next week since he's half a century past his expiry date. Whatever your reasoning is, Donnie, at least you got the middle eye letter correct. Looks like Obama Ramos' word is not that hard after all. Even the pregnant kangaroo got a green letter. This is called pure intelligence, a skill that old cocaine addicts will never understand. Whatever happens, we still need to work together to work out Obama's word at the end of the day. You're right, Wordle has become a circus. And it's the best circus ever on YouTube. I am the funniest and Joe Biden is the dumbest. In that case, Obama and I are the smartest. No, Donnie is the fattest and I am the nicest. You guys are the nerdiest and cocaine sleepy Joe, you are the stupidest. If you read the comments instead of watching children porn, you would know. Hey, shut up, you orange pig. I don't watch that shit. Yes, you do. I even saw your search history of you searching on Pornhub how to sniff little kids. Wait, Joe, is that true? Hell no, of course not. Trump never even been on my devices. You're acting suspiciously innocent, sleepy Joe. Okay, let's move on before one of you get us demonetized. Anyways, I will go with the word fit and eliminate more constants because there is too many words with I in the middle. That was not even close, Bushy. He's right, Bush. So my next word will demonstrate my redemption arc against Trumpy Rumpy. Whose kids are you sniffing now, Joe? Donnie, you son of an Angus burger. I don't sniff kids. Oh, yes, you do, Sleepy Joe. I've seen many videos of you doing that on the internet. Screw you, Trumpy. That gives me a better reason to put in my next word. Joe, you need to think carefully. Imagine none of you guessing my three-letter word. That would be the most embarrassing thing for us. And it's Joe's turn. We are doomed. I'm locking in bin because Donnie is made of stinky, greasy, and oily fast food, which should belong in the bin. At least I have a bin. Your type of bin is filled with empty bags of weed because you snorted the cocaine reserve of the entire White House. And I will use the budget to spend more, you fat oompa loompa jealous pig. Jill, guys, I'm glad we have two green letters. We just need to figure out the final constant. And Donnie Grumpy Trumpy will have the final guess. Obaminator, give me a hint. Geez, Trump, look at the screen. You got two of the three letters. You're missing one. Okay, we will help you. We cannot get three letters wrong. That's too embarrassing. The last letter must be a consonant. Got it. The word is big as in big bombs. No way the G has been used. You're right. There's biz, bick, bim, bip, which sounds like proper words. Except none of them are proper words. I told you this is a super tricky round. The closest word I think Abominator put in is biz because Z is a not so common letter. Go put it in big whale and see if it's right. Don't push me, Sleepy Joe. Bushy is the perfect person to consult now. Actually, I see why this word is hard. That is very sneaky on Obama's end. Oh, shit. I think Bushy got it. What is it, Bushy? We can't lose because of Joe Biden's embarrassing guesses. Hey, what did I do? You wrote car and said it was made of ice cream, you dumbo. Okay, I give you a hint. The word is actually bib. It's tricky because it repeat letters. Damn, I was looking forward to another turn, Bushy. Ha, 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 ha. Let's go. Thank you, Bushy Wushy. Now I can finally put in my word. Why did you tell him, Bushy, this next round would be a disaster? Because, Joe, we cannot lose a three-letter game of Wordle, how embarrassing would that be? Luckily, Bushy helped you guys. Here comes the real round of four-letter Wordles without repeated letters like the robot nerd Obama-rama. Guys, get ready to turn your brains off. Let's have some faith that it's an okay word. This pacifist vibe you have is starting to scare me. I wish you had it when you were in office. You can stop messing with my presidency, Trump, because I'm not talking about your genius ideas on how to get TikTok out of the country. It's just that you're not geniuses. Okay, Trumpy Rumpy, what's the theme of your word? This four-letter word, I've chosen a word that represents Obama. Is it Nig? Shush, Joe. You're gonna get us canceled. Yeah, grow up, Joe. The racist jokes are over before I order drone strikes on you. Obama, those pacifist vibes you're carrying are disgusting. Ha ha, how does it feel to get Uno reversed by Joe, you robot? I will just ignore that because I'm not gonna pour gasoline on fire. In fact, I will put in fire for my first guess. At least you got an R correct, that's a good start. So the word that Trump says that describes Obama, huh? Yep, it perfectly describes Obama's personality. It's super accurate. Okay, I have a relieved feeling that it won't be a bad word this time. I don't think it's offensive either. Lately, Trump and Obama have been getting along a little better than usual. Barack is a smart man. It's a no-brainer, thank you, Bushy Wushy. So I'm gonna go with the word plan because that's something smart people do. The A is revealed. I'm telling you, I'm feeling it's a word with bad intentions. It's not a bad thing, you demented koala. I'm telling you, Joe. You've said that many times and it's always the same thing. This time it's 100% different. I bet it's another joke about Michelle and Obama, right, Grumpy Trumpy? If it is Trump, I'll use you as a punching bag. Joe Biden, you frail, sick old man. How many bags of cocaine and marijuana have you snorted today? I told you numerous times in your 
your demented brain is still fucking malfunctioning. Joe, come on, bro. Trust Donnie for once. Nope. Trumpy Rumpy is always trying to trick you. Come on, Joe. He didn't put in bomber nuke, which is already an improvement. Yeah, that's why people watching this channel absolutely hate you, sleepy koala. People hate you more. I bet your four-letter word to insult Obama with R and A is race because you are a big racist orangutan. Or Donnie could say Obama's fast at everything. Geez, the R is misplaced, and if I want to say he's fast, I would have put in cars. Is that because McQueen Lightning is fast? No, it's because I know how to insult you with style. See, I told you Donnie is trying to insult Obama again. It's probably something not too crazy this time. Whatever way, Donnie is still a racist little pig. I told you, Obama, it's not racist at all. And after some analysis with AR in the middle, I'm locking in Jark. Are you trying to say Donnie called you a refugee with fake documents? Exactly why I'm locking it in, Bushy, because Donnie's brain can be twisted sometimes. Damn, this round is easy. A, R, and K is revealed. There is only one word Grumpy Trumpy would put in to describe Obama-rama. Oh my god, I see that word too. Donald, you son of a punching bag. Is that word because of my skin color? How many times do I need to say it's not racist? It just describes Obama's habit. It's my turn now, and Donnie, what does dark has to do with Obama's habit? Get ready for the beating of your life. Oh shit, that's not the word. See, you guys are all so pathetic. You all need to team up on me and still manage to fail because you are all dumbasses. Damn, if it's not dark that describes Obama, what's the word then? Are you sure it's a proper word and you didn't put in something like Zark? Yes, Obama, for the untimed time, it's a proper English word. You guys, I think I got the word that describes Obama's habit. Okay, Joey, what is it? The word is bark, and Donnie is trying to say you bark like a dog, probably linking his reasoning to Michelle. Damn, that's actually correct, Joe. Why the hell, you piece of shit, did you write bark as something related to me? <laughs> Finally, you got it, and Obama let me explain. Explain yourself before I force you into my punching bag. Because if you say bark Obama quickly, it sounds like Barack Obama. Bark, Barack, bark, Barack, bark, bark, bark Obama. Probably the most creative thing said by Donnie. Welcome back, illiterate people. This is ultra premium president. Jesus, Joe, I thought you got it right again. Come on, Joe, your intro is getting really out of hand. Before Joe gets us canceled, let me strangle him to sleep because he is super useless. You remind me of being a baby and my mommy and daddy puts me to sleep. Yuck, that's disgusting. I won't be surprised if Joe's diapers is full of poo and piss right now. And once I take my diapers off, I will rub it all over your face. Okay, boys, let's get started. Last time Joe got the word right, so he gets to start. I haven't strangled Joe Biden yet. We need Joe to give us his clue right now. But I need my revenge now. For what, Trumpy? What did I do? Win it, and you can get your revenge, Trumpy. Easy peasy, then I just need to be more serious this round. Okay, Joe, tell us your clue and the category of your word. Too bad Trumpy Rumpy is a big fat loser, and my five-letter word is the most sexy thing in the entire world, and I love that thing so, so much. It really turns me on. Cocaine, sleepy Joe, fine kids, and cocaine sexy. Literally anything can turn on that old piece of bozo. I don't feel good about this. This is the first ever word we put in that's in this kind of category. Don't get your hopes up, Bushy. It's Joe Biden's word. I dibs guessing first. Spit out your word, then humpity dumpity. You motherfucking cocaine, sleepy koala, Joe Biden, the rotting ass, dementia brains. Don't you dare call me Humpity Dumpity ever again. You like to build walls and Humpity Dumpity sits on it, so it's the perfect nickname for you. We haven't even made one guess, and you guys are fighting. Fine, I will be the wise man and go easy on the crying child. Since Joe Biden says it's something sexy he loves and turns him on, it has to be his useless brain always falling asleep, so I am going with sleep. Wow, I'm surprised there are no letters correct. Come on, Humpity Dumpity. It's something I find sexy and turns me on, not something made up. I can't imagine anything sexy for Joe Biden other than sleeping cocaine or little kids. Gr Trumpy Trumpy calling him Sleepy Cocaine Koala Joe is the pinnacle of nicknames. But there's nothing that beats my humpity dumpity nickname. This is strike two, old man. One more strike, then I will suck your anorexic head into my belly just to shit you out in my toilet. Then I pick it out of the toilet with my bare hands, burn it to ashes just to eat it and shit you out again. That was super weird having a human eat another human, then eat human ashes to shit out the original human again. That's what the moron Joe Biden gets for calling me stupid nicknames. It's something his entire bloodline will remember for generations. You are just jealous for not getting a single letter correct. Who's guessing next? I will let Barack go. It's stupid to see Joe come up with a sexy word that turn him on. I have not forgotten the round old man. Something with five letter that Joe love is obviously children or kids related. But none of them are five letters Obama, Rama the Llama. Joe is a creepy pedophilic cocaine criminal that should be sent to jail. You just been to jail, you orange tangerine criminal. Also, children and kids are the future. That's why I am putting in child for my five letter word. Damn, what the heck, no letters are right again? The stupidity of this word is about to exceed my tolerance level. What kind of twisted, perverted, and disgusting word did you put in Joe Biden? I told you this is something really attractive and turns me on. What in the actual fuck, what other degrading? 
degrading things to you like, Joe? It's not degrading at all. I like it. Trumpy likes it, Bushy likes it, and Obama likes it. I do not like getting pegged from behind by other old man's wiener, you sagging bag of bones. Neither do I. It's something Joe likes, probably. Then Obama must like it as well. Shut up, Joe. None of us like it except for you. What is the word Joe Biden? You have to wait and find out, and it's Bush's turn right now. Sounds like Joe Biden likes to get creamed up his ass. No, Bushy, inside my ass, there is only poo that comes out of my ass. And it's going to be rotten cocaine, chocolate-flavored ice cream stinks so much the entire USA can smell it. That's why I'm locking in cream. This by far is the most messed up game of Wordle we ever played. You guys are just wasting attempts. You will never guess my word. I know quite a lot of perverted thing about you, Joe. And tell me, Sleepy Joe, would you rather get creamed up your ass or get pegged by Michelle? But in the end, you get rewarded an ice cream cone. Okay, so either scenario, I will get to eat ice cream at the end. Then that's easy. I'd rather get creamed by Michelle than eat ice cream because after that, I get to eat more ice cream from my ass. Oh my fucking God, I'm speechless. Joe, you are so fucking retarded. What's wrong? I get to enjoy double ice cream this way. It's twice the pleasure. Now we know Joe likes to eat cream out of man's assholes. All righty, let's move on with Trump's next guest. Don't worry, Obama, I got it. After Joe finished eating cold ice cream and moves on to his warm cream out of man's assholes, his intestines would get moldy. Therefore, I'm putting in moldy. Of course, that's not my word, trumpety rumpety dumpety. The only one smells like eggs here is you. That's it. This is strike three. I will dig up a grave and strangle your senile sack of bones to death. You said strike two for humpety dumpety, but I said trumpety rumpety dumpety. Same same thing, you fucking moron. All right, guys, let's be civil and try to keep the gameplay PG if possible. What I learned about you today is talking to you. People have to expect the unexpected. Now we know the word starts with M-O and end in Y, and something Joe Biden finds sexy and turns him on. What could it be? Oh, my fucking days. What the hell is that even a proper word, you old man? Yes, Black Rocky and Orange Rump is a proper five-letter word everyone finds super sexy. What the heck? What even is this word? Joe is rigging this game again. I literally just Googled porn dictionary and did not find a single thing starting M-O and end in Y. I also have no clue, but the only word I can think of now is mousy. Who even likes rats? They are all over New York and they are stinky. People have pet rats, Joe. What kind of twisted word is this, Joe? I swear if this word is not something sexy or a made-up word, I will make you sit on the couch and I will organize five black dudes to enter the room. Are we going to watch the NBA together? If you have been on the internet, Joe, you would know what Trump was talking about. They would teach you how to make proper man's ice cream. Awesome. Will it be chocolate chocolate chip? Don't worry, Joe. These guys would teach you how to make quintuple chalk chip ice cream by the time they finish with you. Amazing. I never eaten quintuple chalk chip in my entire life. I think I finally got the word that fit those criteria. What is it? The only word that fit these spaces is this word I'm typing in now. Mommy, are you kidding me, you creepy old man? Yes, Donnie, 100%. Every mommy was a sexy lady before she gave birth, and she can be so comforting and caring. Uh, change your diapers and everything. That didn't explain how that turns you old dementia brain on. Because ice cream turns me on and mommy can produce the best human milk which can be used to make the best tasting vanilla ice creams. Joe, you sick, twisted, dangling, wrinkly sack of old rotting man. Someone unplug his life support to shut down that demented, perverted old brain. Let's move on to my turn before this gets out of hand. The worst part was Joe's last sentence was well formulated which makes everything stupider. Exactly, I have a perfectly functioning human brain. This is the only time I'm happy for Bushy and the nerds to put in the word because of how messed up Joe Biden was just then. What's the theme of your word, Bushy? It's it's the complete opposite to Joe's word. Oh no, this is gonna get even worse. If you died today, Joe, everything in the world would become better. Be more specific, bushy wushy. All right, this word is something logical and meaningless. Great job, Bush, taking inspiration from Obama. Wordle isn't supposed to be so personal. Hey, I am not so boring. Yes, you are. I got the word I can easily read Bush's mind. What is it now, Joe? I swear, Joe, if you put in mommy again, I will unplug your life support. Mommy is five letters, you orange tangerine. I am putting in mother, which also means mommy. Someone unplug this old man's life support before humanity gets doomed. Let me rephrase it. It's a really dangerous living thing that serves no purpose. Bushy, how much do you like word plays, man? If I'm confused, then Trump and Joe would be more confused. Okay, so it's a living thing, right? Yep, it's a living thing. If it's not mother, then it can be father. Joe, that can't be right. The letters will repeat. I will ignore that old moron and I will type in poison. Once Joe Biden eats some poisonous plant, he will rot in his grave and decease. Then I will be happy. Get wrecked, humpity dumpity. That's the absolute wrong word. Today, you have been the most irritating and annoying annoying version of sleepy Joe Biden. I wish you never woke up this morning. But I'm awake, even with new drip. Joe, you're so irritating, plus what kind of senior senile ass used the word drip? You guys will never guess my word if you continue fighting, bro. An idea came to my mind is this is something plant-related if it is dangerous, so I will go with fungus and hopefully get more clues for Bush's word. Good thinking.
All plants are living beings without exception. This round is so much nicer and closer to real life, unlike that demented koala. Now I actually like Bushy and Obama more. What about me? Aren't we besties, humpity dumpity? The only time we are besties is when you die. I will become best friends with your grave or whoever killed you. That's a bit mean, Donnie. At least we can still be besties at the end of the day, and you can help me take care of Jill like a loving mommy. If I ever die too soon. No, Joe, picturing that graphic is disgusting. Yee, I don't feel good. No, 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 no. Donnie, are you okay? Joe, stop making these jokes, dude. Man, Don would be super angry when he's back. Joe Biden, you sick old sagging man. I can't wait to finish this round and punch you in the cocaine head. Are you imagining my wife to become your mommy, Donnie? <laughs> Okay, I kicked out Joe. Hugh, thanks, Obama. Joe, I will kill you, old man. These twisted images in my head is disgusting. It's okay, Donnie. I just kicked out Joe from the call. Never let that old cocaine, demented koala join us ever again. Oh, no, he's ringing. Don't pick up. Wait, let's all give him a chance. Yo, guys, why did you kick me out? Because you are being stupid and making Donald vomit. Okay, okay, I swear I won't bring up mommy or anything like that again. I can't wait to shove my vomit down Joe's throat. Anyways, let me finally play properly. So word ends in U.S., I'll go with Wampus. A big chubby Wampus is talking right now. Come on, bro, you know I wouldn't put in Wampus for my word. I have a feeling, again, this is something plant-related. Or it could be a healthy living vegetable. You are an unhealthy, useless vegetable cocaine koala, Sleepy Joe. Donnie, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? You are so tempered today. That's because you are the most irritating, disgusting, and twisted version of yourself. You even made me vomit. Not my fault. Your fault for having weak and fat lungs. When this round finished, I will drag you by the demented head and make you lick all the vomit from my bedroom floor. All right, guys. This word is no longer hard anymore. Come on, Joe. I think it's your turn now. We have been repeating letters a lot recently, so with my intelligent thought process. Cut to the chase. Today you have shown no thought process at all, Joe. Let me finish, will ya? I was gonna say, what if Bushy is tricking us and put in repeated letters, so I will go with caucus. Bro, there is a yellow T, Joe. It's a big yellow T on the screen, and you missed that. Looks like no life support in the world can save you. Now this is super easy. All I need to do is put the T over to the right, and we will get the word. Nice one, Obama-rama. Joe Biden, time I get your revenge for making me vomit. What's up, illiterate people? Welcome back to President's Playing Wordle, episode 28. Yay, P. Another opportunity for you all to kiss my ass. You dumbass, you've got the intro wrong. Time and time again. I don't care. All I know is it's time to show you the big, fat, tacky head Trump who the real boss is. Joe, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? You seem a bit too aggressive. I have no words. Let's just get started so I can shove Joe's words back down his slimy throat, which is already filled with cream from multiple men. Shut your fat pig mouth up, you orange, fat Botox face. All right, guys, let's begin with seven letter words today. And we are guessing Obama's word. There you go again, old dementia patient. It should be my turn. I won the last round, Trump. Stop fighting a lost battle. So who's battling dementia now? Humpty Grumpy Trumpy Lumpy Trump. Call me Donald or Trump only, not those stupid nicknames. What's the category of your word, Obama-rama? Haha. -ha. This time I'm taking close sides with humanity. This word tells a lot about who we are as a person. It tells you about Trump, Joe, Bush, myself, and everyone. Bullshit. This black man never fails to be more boring than an NPC which stresses the fuck out of my brain. How can boring stress you out, Grumpy Trumpy? Donna, you overloaded racist brain cells. Don't make such comments again. Only if you have the greatest human brain in existence, you will understand. All right, no point arguing with you. Bushy, let's get started. Who we are as a person, okay? When I was younger, my mom mentioned how unique and special everyone is. But since unique is only six letters, I'll be going for special for seven letters. Even the game knows you aren't special in any way. I wonder what the citizens of America smoke to have voted you as their president. At least he isn't a crybaby who wouldn't accept he was defeated in a free and fair election. You call that shambolic act a free and fair election? It was all fake news. And the crooked Joe Biden has a face looking like expired rotten tomatoes. If there's anyone here who looks like rotten tomatoes, then I bet it is you, Trump. You know what, cocaine sleepy koala Joe, I have a new nickname for your old senile ass, and that's what I'll be typing in. All right, what's that? Let's hear it, Trump. It better not be bad or else I will steal all your kids. I don't care if this cocaine sniffing puppet of a president is older than me, but I think he's becoming increasingly rude to everyone in this room. And today this cocaine koala is being a rude man. I'm locking it in. Is that even a word? Fuck you, Donald. It sounds like you waited for your whole life just to curse like that. Joe Biden used all his reserve weed energy just to shout that loud. That's because you are a stupid, meaty idiot that wrongfully called me rude. At least I got one green letter, you moron. It's your turn, Joe. What's your guess? To be honest, it is pretty hard to say the word I have in mind. I really wish I could skip right now. Joe just spit it out. Donnie just called you a rude man. But I, I really wish I can come up with another seven-letter word. Since we are all wishing, I wish I could shit on your bald horror 
horror looking face and force my tasty pee down your crooked throat. Thinking about that is way too graphic. If it's about that unrepentant cocaine addict, I don't care. Playing this game almost every day with John is gradually teaching me to be tolerant and accept people's opinions, even if it's as unreasonable as what's going on in Trump's head right now. We get that, Sleepy Ben Carson, so can we now get to the part where you say your word and move on to the next? The word I have in my mind this whole time is liberal. Truly, this game is teaching us to respect everyone's opinion, even if it's different. Yes, haha, -ha, that's it. Three greens. Three greens? Sound like you're turning into a vegetable. What word begins with L and I and says a lot about who we are as a person? I'm trying to come up with a word. It's definitely not old age, bushy wushy. It's exciting to see the scholars struggling just as much as all of us. I have a feeling bushy might get this word. I'm sure the letter between I and E is N, so I'll go ahead and type in linears. We've all been the United States president at least once, so it's safe to say our career path has been linear one direction. That was a dumb and lame narrative, bushy wushy. And again, N isn't the letter between I and E. Bush might have gotten it wrong, but he has just made your next guess easier, Trump. I hate to see this happening, bushy getting his turn wrong, and now I hope Trump gets it wrong. Then bury your face in that Colombian white powder and OD to death. The only powder I have at home is my secret American powder I put in my ice cream and hand it to elementary school kids. Joe, for a second, I thought you were normal. We need to give that dusty cocaine sleepy koala a death sentence before our future generation gets screwed. No, you moron. I was referring to milk powder to make ice cream creamy. Don't people put in milk or something to make ice cream? That's what I thought, too. Well, it's my secret ingredient. Add in some eggs, powder, whisk it up, freeze it, and boom, ice cream. If I have a drug license, trust me, I'll be on the way to his house right now, shoving my egg beater down his worn-out anus. It wouldn't fit, dumbass. Then I will use a table knife instead. Can you stop making up these super graphic scenes, Donnie? I agree. Move on with your word, Don. I think I have the word right here. It's license, I'm sure, than Biden's hope of becoming the 47th president of the United States. And there you have it, me nailing Sleepy Joe and Bushy Wushy to the fucking cross. You both should be sucking my testicles this minute while I nut on your losers' faces. What is going on with you today, Trumpy? It's okay to feel on top of the world, Trump. But I'm pretty sure it won't last long. I'm sure it would last longer than Joe does in bed. Jill complained to me, you can ask Obama-rama too. If you mention Jill again, I will send the entire Navy on your mansion. I really have nothing to do with this. So guys, let's move on to eight letter words. Ha ha ha, it's my turn and this word will be super fucking hard. I think Grumpy Trump has used the F word more times today than a whore in Texas does in a year. That description appears too precise. Joe, is there something you aren't telling us? The only thing I'm hiding from you is my plan to pluck Trump's eyes out and feed them to my dogs. I learned your dog only feeds on cocaine. You now give them human eyes too? Sleepy Joe is always messed up in his demented brain. I should duck his cocaine mouth up as soon as possible. You mean duct tape? Also, tell us the category of your word so Joe can take the first guess before he falls asleep and trips over his desk. I agree. That old man has less time than a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Trumpity dumpity humpity rumpity, I will live longer than your fat unhealthy ass. This is second warning, you senile cocaine ass. One more time, I will shove the longest chopstick in the world down your malfunctioned anus. That was a bit crazy. Hurry up, Trump. Time you tell us your eight-letter word. At this point, my word is something everyone loves. The entire U.S. would throw a party if it happens before the end of this game. Okay, that's huge. What could that be? Just to further help. I'd be the happiest if the word comes true. Something everyone loves, but Trump loves the most. Hmm. We call you the big fat pig for a reason. And that's because your stomach is filled with a lot of junk and whatnot. So my first guess would be McDonald's. I'm sure you love them. You are so boring, Obama. That's not true. Let's break this down a bit, guys. I think the word is a luxury item. Everyone loves luxury, and Americans who live from paycheck to paycheck would throw a party if they get gifted any luxury item before this round ends. So what's the luxury item in your head? My first guess would be sport car. Trump loves to drive people crazy. A sport car would help him achieve that faster. I'm convinced Bushy Wushy no longer has brains to think. How do I fit into a sports car? Bush and Obama, both of your guesses have left me confused. How how sure are we that this cartoon head isn't rigging the game? I'm not you, Biden, who rigged the votes of several millions of Americans just so you can become a puppet to God knows who. I'm just going to type in bomb nuke and see which of any of these letters are right. It's up to you guys to follow through from there. That's a bad one. We've already learned Trump won't put in bombs or nukes because everyone would guess them. I was convinced Trump Humpty Dumpty likes bombs and nukes. I do, however. Never call me Humpty Dumpty again, you fucking retarded old moron. I wonder why you aren't dead right now. Trump has been wishing almost everyone in this room dead since the start of this round. I think he is deathful. Although I'm bothered by how or why he thinks everyone loves to die. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me, too. I don't see death to be a part of Trump's word. Maybe you should ask Sleepy Joe for some clues? That would be awesome. 
If bomb nuke was wrong, then type in nuke bomb. How does that even make sense to you? It's Joe Biden pushy bushy. Everything makes sense to him. That's right. Everything. Obama, quick question. I wonder how you sleep at night thinking about the blood you shed in the Middle East. Your gaslighting today is getting too far, Trumpy humpity. Obama had to do it for the people of the United States, Trump. You don't have to blame him. I really wish you were in Middle East when it happened and died already. Maybe while snorting enough white powder to make a blackboard white. Are we still playing this game or are we discussing something else? It's always exciting to watch Trump get in his emotions. Shut up, you Ebony. All right, I'll move on. Let's see what Dog Heath looks like. Is that even a word? Well, to fit the second O letter, I'll give it a shot. I hope Biden gets it right for the first time in his lifetime. That's not true. I've won more times than you have on this channel. More wins in competitions and more wins in any game. Guys, who has won more rounds? Fat ass Trump or Big Joe? I think the word contains death. But like Obama, I'm confused whose death would make everyone happy. At this point, I'm convinced this isn't a real word. Trump always confused compound words with two separate words. This 100% is a compound word, which is a proper word. Brain, brain, think, think. You've said that before, and it didn't do your brain shit, moron. I'll just wait by the sidelines and see how this pans out. Same here. Final guess, guys. The word obviously ends in death, and Trump find joy for calling people dead. So I'll go with joy death. Is that the right word? Huh, Joe death? What the fuck, Trumpy, you fat pig? I will inject your belly with all my powder so you will forever be crippled. Holy shit, how dumber can you be, Sleepy Joe? I gave a lot of clues, and you still couldn't guess how everyone in the United States loves to see Joe dead. We literally discussed this during the game. That was super mean Trump. You should apologize. I will get your fat ass back, humpity dumpity. Just you wait. Welcome back, illiterate people. Today is another special day because I get to start. Which one of you sent Jill a creepy message last night? Here isn't a customary court, Joe. And again, you've gotten the intro wrong. Do you ever learn? I guess it's too early for this. Joe would catch up soon. I bet he is too old and too stoned to get upright to his feet for longer than five minutes. Otherwise, he'll make the news again for the first president of the United States to fall face flat in public. I wonder who made you have a field day, Trumpy Rumpy. It's you, you creepy, demented, dementia-stricken old fool. It's too soon to forget you got the final guess wrong in the last episode. I still need my revenge for you putting in Joe death, you fat orange lump. Let's focus on today's game. I bet the viewers can no longer wait to see what we have for them. Let's try to have one gameplay without any arguing. I'm talking to you, Trump and Joe. Sure. So it's time for you brainless people to try to guess my words again. Trust me, I hope you fail so I continue to lord over you dolts. I can't wait for this round to end with me guessing the winning word so I can shove my dick down your egoistic, complacently foolish throat. Then I will shove a full kid down your throat and break your rotting organs, you senile, expired human being. What did I say a second ago? Anyways, let's get started already. Last time, no one guessed my eight letters, so today you all would guess my nine-letter words. Any clues for us? Definitely. This word describes describes everyone in this room. It's a very masculine thing, something Joe Biden would not understand. I dibs going second. I wonder what it is, Trumpy. I dibs going third. Obama, you can start. I hate that I have to go first, but Barack, hurry up and begin with your nine letter words. As I was saying, I don't want to believe Trump would leave it this easy, but this can be a good starting point for all of us. Stop acting like the Messiah and type in your first robotic guess. I'm typing in manliness. Everyone here is a man and manliness is a masculine thing. That word has three vowels and should get us more clues. Sure, two greens and three yellows aren't that bad. It is an awful result for someone like Obama. He literally read every book in the universe. I'll save the both of you from your cluelessness. We all here are fathers. We obviously all love kids, right guys? Joe, tell me you are an unrepentant pervert without saying it in plain words. I don't think that's what Biden is trying to say, Trump. I don't need to think, I know. Tell me, Joe, who is your latest victim? Shut your trap, stupid baboon face son of a bitch. I don't go around grabbing pussies of innocent women in the street of the United States. I'm afraid YouTube may ban us if we continue this line of argument. Joe, go ahead, your guess. True that, I'm typing in kid lovers because as fathers, we all love kids. Joe, first I will compare your brain to a stack of money whitewashed in acid and left to rot under the sun. The letter I has been correctly placed in Obama's guess. How did your blockhead think changing its position would be an intelligent guess? At least I got the S, you stupid fat pork crackling. The S is already there, you demented noodle brains. Bushy Wushy has been unusually quiet today. What's wrong? Probably thinking about his latest visit to the doctor. Bushy Wushy loving sushi. I could supply you some African white powder to help you stay awake. I'll do that for free. Trust me. You guys are irreparable. I'm fine, guys. Thank you for worrying. Let's focus on the game. We can talk about me later. It's your turn to guess, Bush. Away from the feminism for this round, I think all men are genuine supporters of their spouses, kids, family, and all of those shenanigans. First, it was Joe changing the position of the letter I, and now it is Bush doing the same thing to the poor letter S. Oof, I think Trump is right this time. It's time to get more strategic and get Trump out of that position before he starts to think about making peace talks with our enemies 
and arms them to stab us in the back. Speak for yourself, Barack. Did you really forgot what you did to Yemen? You are forgetting Osama, too. You guys are so stupid, it's hard to think what retirement lifestyles have done to you. I'm beginning to fall asleep, guys. I wonder what was going on in Trump's head when he chose this nine-letter word. Right, moving on to my guess, I'm going for thrilling for two reasons. One, that was what I felt when Michelle became pregnant with Malia. Two, it's just a gut feeling. Of course, it's a thrill to have two men make a female child. And your family is made of recycled plastic. Oof, damn Obama. Following the gut feeling pattern of Obama just to get this game over with, I'm typing in tacklings because being a plastic and making a child is a difficult task. I'll soon throw up with how disgustingly stupid and annoying you are with your guesses. What comes to your mind when you think of fatherhood? What made you morons become a fucking father? Okay, okay, I think this is just enough clue. I know the word now, I swear. It's shocking to know two past presidents and a current dummy president of the United States can be so clueless and vacuous. That's enough, you overinflated fat ass panda. I will cover your face in unprocessed cow dung. Screw you, Donald. Yay, get wrecked by Joe. If you know the word bushy, what is it? Donald, you dirty mouthed word is testicles. Without them, Donald Trump Jr., Ivanka, Eric, Tiffany, and Barron would probably remain as blood running through your half-blocked veins. Yes, correct, Bushy Wushy. I used to think Obama was smarter, but I appear wrong. I have no words for you. Let's just get ahead with the next round. True, but not until I tear off Joe's face and use it to wipe my ass clean. Then dump the shit-soaked face into the toilet and flush him down the drain to rotten forever. I wonder how Melania is feeling right now, knowing his husband is out here making a fool of himself and his legacy. I want us all to take a moment to reflect on our past. As past and current presidents, we have definitely enjoyed some of the best things life has to offer. That's right, Bushy. I completely agree with that. What are you driving at, Bushy Wushy? Just tell us your ten-letter hint already. I'm pretty sure there is that one experience that triumphs all. And that's my clue. The most wholesome ten-letter word thing we all in this room have experienced at least once. Trump, you are going first. Time and time again, I've asked you to stop telling me what to do, stupid cocaine sleepy koala Joe. Come on, Trump, it's your turn, bro. Don't rush me, I'm still here thinking of the word. Haha, <laughs> grumpy, dummy, lumpy, slumpy Trump is finally getting a taste of his medicine. I think one of my most wholesome experiences was when I learned what Joe will never learn till he passes out on his center table while snorting cocaine. I have experienced more life than you, Trump. What's your idea, Donnie? Submission. I admit one of the reasons my marriage with Ivana failed was because she didn't want to be submissive. With Melania, I've learned a lot, and it's truly one of the pillars that has kept me and Melania strong together. Trump, isn't that too many letters for just two yellows and one green? You took that right out of my mouth. <laughs> Make fun all you want, but that's my truth, and I'm living it. You two can go to hell for all I care. Fine, I get you, Trump. Let it slide. Obama, you are going next. Saving the last for the best, Bush. Wait, is it last for the best or best for the last? Anyways, you get my point. Why am I not surprised? Your dementia is becoming worse than anyone could have thought. Dementia is natural. Stop the stigmatization because you might also get dementia one day. You might have been safe from the natural disaster if you didn't spend your youthful days competing with Pablo Escobar. While I agree with you, Trump, you might be bordering in sensitivity. True, don't call the YouTube police. I just needed to put this brainless diaper baby in his place. Back to the game, guys. I'm typing in dedication. Sounds like fun to me and a better opportunity to try newer letters. Safe to say I'm helping Joe out here. Don't be a pussy. You don't know, Jack. Stop putting it on me. Does he know Jill? <laughs> Oh, that's me not funny, Grumpy Trump. You know what? Whenever I play games with you guys, I see this place as my playground. I'm typing that in. That's inspiring, Big Joe. I'm having as much fun as you are, too. Although you all can sometimes be a pin in the ass. Speaking to me directly, Barack, stop being a coward. Can you just enjoy the emotions we all share for once, Grumpy Trump? Trump sometimes is unbelievable, but I understand. Anyways, your guess, Trump? I hate to begin with the guesses. It reduces my chances of being the champion. This is another testament. Anything I input will surely point these clueless perverts in the right direction. Do it in good faith, bro. Just please be sensible for once with your guesses, Donnie. Who remembers when Bushy Wushy once said he wanted more farm wives? I don't remember that at all. I'm not surprised, Sleepy Dementia. Oh yeah, I remember it was for a nine-letter word. Good, but this time, since it's a wholesome experience... What will you type in Trump? Bush want more farm wives, but I want more sexy wives. Bushy wishes his wifeys were as sexy as mine. That's not even a word, you perverted sloppy dickhead. It is. I combined two words, moron, sexy, and wifeys. And that's the best attempt since the start of this round. Two greens and two yellows. Donald is right, Joe. I'm always is right. Well, well, well. What word contains the letters S, B, I, E, A, Y, T, R, and I? I think I need to get a notepad. Wholesome experience. Poof, this is tough. Not too tough if you think deeply. It has to do with kids, too. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. I'm loving this round. I will just sit on the sidelines and watch a robot with a cocaine-filled brain sort this one out. Trump already admits defeat. I wish he could do that in real life, too. I'm still in the lead with two green letters, so I haven't lost yet. If they don't guess it, remember I will win. I'm typing in baby biters. 
It's a wholesome thing to see a baby bite for the first time. Nice one, Obama. You got baby correct. Baby biters isn't an actual word. Splitting it into two different words still doesn't make sense. Thanks for helping me out, Obama-rama. Bush's word is now as clear as daylight. But remember that my guess helped you, Joe. I hope Joe's blurry eyes due to overdosing on cocaine don't impair his vision of the bright daylight. Let's pretend that sentence made sense, but I bet the comment is blowing up already on how grumpy Trump has grown incredibly stupid. So what's your final guess, Joe? It's babysitter. We all enjoy doing this. I love it so, so much, but I'm not sure fat orange head Trump does enjoy it. I've always knew you were a bit perverted, Bushy, but didn't know you would bring your kids into the mix. Jeez, Donna, you can be really stupid sometimes. EP, I still won anyways. Let's go, cocaine. Kid sniffing koala looking, Joe. You finally won. You sound super excited for me. Thank you, Trumpy. Welcome back, illiterate people, to Wordle 30. Long time no see, folks. Today is the official Trump versus Biden debate of the century. Joe Biden, you crooked moron. We have guests with us again today. Get the intro correct for once, will you? Obama, take over. So our wives are officially joining us again for another special episode. Ladies, tell us the game plan today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the President's First, first Lady's Wordle Tournament. We've already picked the word, guys. Geez, that was quick. I wouldn't mind a bit of a longer intro. Come on, guys. We have already decided on a simple word to not complicate things too much. Although it's debatable whether they'll solve it, given their teamwork can be questionable. Yes, so due to the word simplicity and what we saw in the last game, we won't give any hints. What are you talking about? They need a hint. They're stupid, and it will all depend on me later. Not letting Trump play. Noted down, guys. What? Today, you'll have the grand task of keeping quiet. That's right, Trumpy Rumpy, go to sleep. You're not playing either, Joe. Why can't I play? Given the stupidity of Grumpy Trumpy and your level of astral meditation, Sleepy Joe, I doubt we'll make progress. Well, we need to think wisely. We only have six attempts and no hints. Just say anything, idiots. Anyway, without hints, it's a blind game. We can't waste any words, Grumpy Trumpy. In fact, that's quite clever, using a random word to find the first letter. Yeah, I never thought of that. Wow, you're so smart, dear. <laughs> Shut up, Joe. Everyone here knows I'm the real Wordle King. Please, Trump, no one calls you a Wordle King. You just use basic common sense. If it's such simple common sense, why didn't your husband think of it first? Because they're focused on winning. Are you implying that I'm not? Okie dokie, I'll take the first word if you all allow me. Go ahead, fearlessly. You see, Trump, they trust me. Sweetie, they only let you type because it's an experiment and you're the guinea pig. Well put, Sleepy Jill. Of course not, dear. They trust me. This is all a plan to get Trump to shut up. Phew, you caught us, Joe. Unfortunately, you're now banned from playing the whole game. What are you talking about? Was I right? It's sarcasm, dummy. Just type in your guess, bro. All right, I think the ladies gave a subtle hint through gestures. Oh my god, I will put in the guess then. I'll go with shy. But why shy? You were taking too long. Any word will do for the first guess. Well, not just any word. We need to be strategic. In this case, Using more vowels than consonants, I believe that's the trick. Well, my word had quite a few vowels, and I was thinking of die. Die? Why is that the only thing an old dying man can think of? Hey, don't mess with my old and dying Joe. Wait, what do you mean, old and dying? Haha, <laughs> sleepy dying Joe, even your wife agrees with me. The worst part is, the word does have a lot of vowels. Is Trump stepping up his game? Maybe he's trying to impress Melanie. Maybe. Joe, go ahead and write your word quickly. Okay, as I was saying, their clue is gestural. You can see it on their faces, especially Michelle's. Interesting. Uh, are you suggesting maybe a three-letter derivative of the word makeup? No, it's hunger and I am going with eat. Why the heck would my wife represent that word, you old, dying, druggy, degenerate? Because... Ha 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 ha, Michelle should run for president of Venezuela. Don't say that. It's a sensitive topic. We're lucky he didn't say South African. No, I'd never say that. I need the African-American vote. People of color are exactly just like us. That's too hypocritical of you, Trump. The trick is always to pretend they like you. Ignoring your tasteless jokes. We have one letter A, but it's in the wrong place. I have an idea of what the word is. It better not be a waste of time. No, because as a former and future president of the United States... What do you mean, future? Remember, the word has an A. I know, which means the word, besides being related to our wives... Trump, what kind of silly words will you put in now? Quiet, Sleepy Jill. The word that relates to our wives is bra, because they all wear one. Trump, out of all the three-letter words you could have chosen, you chose bra. What the fuck? It's something women wear, all of you wear it. Am I not correct? I mean, that is true, but come on, have some class, bro. You're a disrespectful and indecent man, if I may say so. Yes, that word is derogatory towards us. The worst part is he guessed the other letter. It's just luck. There's no way that pumpkin-looking fat rangutan would have known. Luck is a blend of opportunity and knowledge, you dementia-stricken imbecile. You won't be eating tonight. 
And you can't cook either. Fine then, I'll tell the chefs not to prepare anything for you. Uh oh, looks like you're in trouble. Little Trump is going to his room. Don't talk to me like that. In your relationship, you're the one who seems like the submissive wife. Joe might be the wife in the relationship, but he's never the submissive one. He's just a bit of a sleeper. Honey, stop supporting him in his jokes. You're killing the respect they have for me here. <laughs> <laughs> With all due respect, but I think you're not very respected in this game. In the pecking order, I think out of the four, you're at the bottom, dear. It's sad, but people should accept their status, so they're doing him a favor. Enough with the jokes, we can't drag this out any longer. We only guessed three words. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Just need some rearranging since the A and R are in the wrong places. Well, if the A doesn't go at the end or in the middle. It logically belongs at the beginning. This narrows down the game a lot. So a three letter word starting with A. They said it's something simple, so it should be one of the first words they teach us. I think ARC, just like it sounds like an AK-47. I should rearrange the school curriculum and make them teach that in school first for the nation's safety, fellas. See, that's why you can't play. There's some sense to it. ARC or ARC are three-letter words that use those letters. But the R shouldn't be in another position. I have an idea of what the word is, but we still have a couple of chances to try out the no consonant rule. Well, between ARC and ARC, the most logical and simple is ARC with the C, so I'm putting that in. As I suspected, the word has no consonants. I'm only two comments away from honoring crooked Joe Biden. Did you just become gay? I mean, he's falling asleep, you robotic programmed humanoid. Yep, he's taking a nap. I'm here, I'm awake. Anyway, we have two more chances. As I was saying, the R should go at the end, limiting it to the middle letter. Which is clearly a vowel. A simple word starting with A and ending with R, the answer is becoming obvious. I am convinced the word is AKR, like the sound of AK-47, and inside the lady's brain, they cannot put 47 in the box, so they decided to choose the letter R, just like R-rated in order to trick our brains. Donnie, stop being stupid. That isn't even a word. Go back to hibernation mode, you waking corpse of a man. Obama put in AKR. What has gotten into your fat Oompa Loompa's brain? Okay, here we go again. Can you two stop fighting, G's? Joe started it. No, you fat overgrown capsicum. You insulted me first and then I insult you back. Okay, while you guys continue arguing, I'm gonna put in the word air. No, it's AKR? Yep, perfect. I knew there were no more consonants. There you go, dear. Prove who the genius is here. Bushy did well too, gotta give him credits. Yep, absolutely. I banked off your idea. Maybe you should be more concerned about you two not kissing at the end of the round. Weren't you and Obama the ones who got married the other day? I think they're stealing your partner. Honestly, I was hoping they'd finish picking their words sooner, given the simplicity. All right, the word is in. We picked it after some analysis. Wait, when did that happen? I don't remember it either. Sleepy Joe, did you pick the word without our permission? It's time for me to get the respect I deserve. Let's see what the word is. Oh my God, well, good luck. We won't give any hints, just like you didn't. Just like that? How are we supposed to know what he put? They referred to me as that. I'm speechless. Ha 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 ha, this time you really outdid yourself, Sleepy Joe. You are now an object. I won't deny you're really devilish, Joe. It scares me that he made you laugh. All right, girls, we need to work together to find the word. Let's do the same as the guys did. Oh no, I won't make any racist jokes. Don't bring me down. I meant placing a strategic word. I don't think we need a strategic word. The reactions say it all. What do you suggest? What's the only thing that would make Trump laugh and that Joe would write? Well, that's a tough one, but in their dynamic, there are only jokes about sleeping, cocaine, and... You've got that right, and then there's fat, obese, or dumb. Even though it embarrasses me to admit it, it's probably a cringeworthy word. Aha, I got it. It's definitely that B word where Trump would laugh at Lowell. You got it wrong because Joe doesn't have the intellectual capacity to form such a well-thought-out joke. The words you've chosen haven't been very clever either, Mr. Trump. Still, I don't think we should underestimate my Joe. He's an intelligent man who can achieve great things if he sets his mind to it. She's right. The fact that a cocaine addict became president is indeed a great achievement. Trumpy Rumpy, how many times do I need to tell you I don't do cocaine? I keep insisting on the strategic words that we can use to find the letters. I'm still not entirely convinced. It sounds like something Trump would say. My Trump is special and intelligent in his own way. Thanks, Mel. At least someone actually have my back, unlike the rotting Biden. I think they just called you retarded and stupid. Yeah, I'm surprised to find out how stupid you can really be, Donnie. What they meant is that I'm light years ahead of all of you. Yes, Trump's opponents should be kindergartners. I think I have a word that contains a high number of vowels and consonants, which make up 40% of the words that can be conjugated. But instead of entering a word, you could just put the letters that make up that number. The idea is not to use any words. It was an intellectual bet based on the reaction. I stand by my position that it's kind of silly. Okay, I will go with the word kale just to test out newer letters. I love kale. Your wrinkle says it all, Joe. Fuck you, Donnie. Anyways, we've eliminated a good number of words. I suggest the word trip. But that word doesn't have an E. The idea is to rule out letters that have no use and find some. It's better to try a word without them. Then let's use it. The previous one worked, so this one probably will too. 
I'm glad you agree. I'll put that in. Perfect. Now we have a pretty broad constraint. I never thought about using sacrifice words. You got my respect. That's what I always do, and you all judge me. Do you actually think when you play? Of course, or I wouldn't have been the Wordle King of this channel. Yes, you got many right. Now, considering the remaining consonants and how to conjugate, we need to analyze where we could place the second letter based on Trump's reaction and Joe's impulsive thoughts. My Joe isn't impulsive. He couldn't harm a fly. Regards from the guy who let hundreds of Ukrainians die. It's a war, Trump. One does what needs to be done. Guys, stop talking about this, will ya? Geez, you are risking us getting demonetized for fuck's sakes. I wouldn't have let that happen. I would have denied Ukraine's entry to NATO the moment they applied. Okay, let's pretend this conversation never happened. And now let's move on. But now the war is stopped and we- Joe, hush, be quiet. Tell me, Joe, how many people lost their- Shut up, Donnie. Screw you, Donnie. I- That's it. I don't want to hear another convo about this topic here on YouTube, the both of you. But if Joe stopped- Enough. Okay, let's continue the game. Sorry, ladies, YouTube does not like this convo, so we had to stop them from discussing it further. This is not over you, crusty, musty, cocaine, sleepy koala Joe Biden. Same goes to you, fat, orange, ugly, orangutan, looking ass, oversized tomato. Can someone put the both of them to sleep? Okay, now back to Wordle. Joe, if you send ammunitions earlier to you- Shut up, you deaf Donald ears. The ladies are trying to guess their word. I was thinking, the most logical assumption would be that the word doesn't start with an E. Given the limited number of words that begin with that letter, we know it doesn't end that way. Not only that, E is generally a complementary letter at the beginning of words. Well, there's a word that falls somewhat into that category. Can I suggest it? Yes, of course. What do you have in mind, Jill? The word I'm thinking of is Jews. Soap jokes and pizzas. That's something Trump would think of. Yes, considering it meets the conditions, and I can definitely picture Joe and Obama typing that too. You are so racist, Obama, you robot man. You shut me up and not when Jill says this stuff. Even worse, Obama, you are sexist. Grow up, kids. They are not discussing the topic and merely putting a word in the game. I am so speechless, guys. Okay, Jill, write in Jews and see what happens. Yep, I am on it. Close, but at least we have S and have ruled out more letters. You're far from discovering the word. Why do you say that? Because it's a tricky word and you have two guesses remaining. So dumb. Without any clues, I think the ladies are doing just fine. It could be a double entendre word with S or E. If we eliminate all those letters, I think we can get closer. We already know E is the second letter. Probably S is the first, as I can't think of words with S as the penultimate letter. I agree with you. Do you have a suggestion? Yes, I have an idea, a double entendre word that men might say and sound funny, which is the word seed. Poor things. If they think something as childish as that is the double entendre for men. Honestly, ha ha ha, I think they lost this round. See guys, my word is one of the great and complex ones. Not complex, but I don't think they'll ever guess it. This is getting tough and we have only one chance left. Four letter words with S-E that make men laugh and are in a masculine language, what could it be? It's really challenging. I can't think of anything so far. I think I have an idea, but it's a bit embarrassing. It's better than nothing, tell us. The word is sexy. It doesn't contain any of those letters and it's something a man would laugh at. It has to be the right word. It's a risky bet, but let's go with it. Come on, Laura, type that in. Come on, Laura, you got this. Yes, let's go, girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was inappropriate, but we have to admit they did guess it. You guys are all idiots. I expected more from you, Obama. Hey, dear, I didn't choose the word. But we've already picked our next word. Good luck. I guess it'll be without hints. Obviously, honey, it's still something simple. I already have an idea of what it is. As always, the guinea pig. Let's have him guess this time. First Joe, then Trump, and from there we start playing like adults. You'll see, I'll win this one easily. A five-letter word. It's not sleep, Joe. How did you know? I mean, I wasn't going to put that. I was going to put something edible, and that word is cream. Cream is edible? What kind of cream are you referring to, Joe? You know that normal one, the edible cream. My cream is edible. Do you want to have a taste? Since when do you have ice cream at home? I think Joe has officially come out of the closet. No, of course not. So you haven't come out of the closet? No, I hope not. I mean, I'm not in any closet. I was referring to ice cream. Well, you still got it wrong. I'm happy Donald didn't take things further this time. Actually, congratulations. You guessed two letters at the beginning. That's right. You can do it. Well, I'm going to guess all of them in one go. You'll see. Remember, it contains A and E. Also, avoid using a word with the leftover letters. Yes, I know. Are you underestimating my abilities, Bushy Wushy? We all underestimate you, but this time we trust you. You haven't done too bad. Then I'll put in the correct word. This is obviously the big, strong, and courageous N-word. Oh my God, Trump, don't put that in. Calm your chickens, Obama. It has nothing to do with you. This word has no repeated letters. I'm whacking in nukes. You wrote nukes, literally nukes. Don't waste turns. Now we really have to think about what to do. For stupid sakes, Donnie, since when did nukes was ever a correct five-letter word? Huh, tell me. You are so demented, Joe. Whenever I put in nukes, you all guess it. How many brain cells are still left in your brain, Trump? 
I think we should use another test word that doesn't contain the previous ones to eliminate possibilities. I think that's a great idea. That was my idea. It was your idea because it's public property now? So which word do we use as a test? One that hasn't been used in recent positions. We know the position of E. Let's try Flint, putting N in the penultimate position. Well, yeah, we still don't know where to arrange them. Good, I will go with Flint. I still insist it's nuke, but spelled differently. It's not nukes, that's nonsense. You have no basis. It does. They used a masculine word to tease us. That's their plan. They're not like you. They're not vindictive people. Wait, is it me or has Joe been quiet for a while? You two aren't letting me play, discussing and analyzing without letting me express my opinion. Do you have something in mind? Well, there are three words. We know that before the penultimate, there's an E in the penultimate. There's an N. I think the last letter is A. Bravo, looks like the cocaine is kicking in, yeehaw. Shut up, Trump. That sounds reasonable. I don't want to take a risk. We can add another A just in case. Not a bad idea, in my opinion. Maybe the word arena works well. Let's go with arena, then. I'll put that in. All right, we're doing well. Good job, Joe, you were right. Sometimes your empty head can be right. All right, I also have an idea of what the word could be. I hope you're not speaking out of envy. Of course not, Woshi Bushi. I know what I'm talking about. I have a very clear idea. Admit it, Trump. You're jealous that I got it right. Don't let it go to your head. Well, Trump has performed decently in this round. Maybe he'll guess it. Anyway, I have an idea of what the word is, and you'll thank me for it. I hope so. Enlighten us, Donnie. I think the word they put in is vena. What's vena? If you were educated, you'd know. That word doesn't exist. It does exist. Don't you know what it means? You got a bit of my respects. You know a word I don't, grumpy Trumpy. Poor Barack Obama doesn't know what vena means. It's a word in Spanish, which means vain. I regret to inform you that it's spelled with a single E. Once again, Ronald McDonald Trump demonstrating why he's the clown of the group. You think you're so funny, Joe? You are the drug addict of the group. Let's not waste time. We need to find the word. We know the word has no vowels except for O. So we have two letters left, which must come before Ena. If it had four letters, the word it would be Yena. But since it's five letters, I think they mix the letters of nukes and make it a word. There is no A in nukes, Don. And Mel, has Donnie seen his doctor recently? I know you suggested that before, but no, he refuses to see his doctor. Since when did you side with Manchel? I don't want to repeat myself again, Donald Trump. My name is Michelle. Oopsie daisy, my bad. Anyways, back to the game, Joe. Any ideas? I had my idea ages ago, but you keep blabbering on useless stuff. I mean, what possible words can we make that ends in Ena? I'm having a hard time coming up with a word still. Stupid guys, the word has to be hyena. Come on, there's no way the oldest man in the group is the one who carries all of you. Oh my God, Joe, you're a genius. Bro, you stole that from me. I said if it was four letters, the word would be Yena, and then Joe adds an H onto the word and he gets all the credits. Let's just say both Joe and Donald took this round of victory. No congratulations for me, Melanie. Of course, you can be a really intelligent man at times. Dear, I'm not sure if that can be called intelligence, but congratulations. True credits to Joe and Donald. It was a good one that was tough. Okay, it's time for us to pick our six-letter word. Do we agree with this one, boys? Ha, 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 yes, let's do that. And this time, we all reached a unanimous consensus. This is going to be a professional and first-ever good round of Wordle. Perfect, so let's start this great round. You know, ladies, they are men. They probably picked one of their extravagant masculine words. Exactly, we have to think like they would. If that's the case, then we don't have to analyze so much. Ha, 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 that's true. Let's go with our instinct for our first guess. Exactly. And what's something every man likes and thinks about in their brain? Fighting. Trump always think of fighting. Exactly. Same as Obama. That's what he thinks of all the time. Great. I reckon the word fights fits perfectly here. Um, since when did I last fight? I was going to ask the same. Nice try, ladies, but we're not that basic. Since we spend our time playing video games, we're not very sporty people. I play soccer. My physical abilities aren't too bad. In your retirement home with a plushy ball, I see Joe, I see... At least I kicked the ball, and it's a real soccer ball. You must be lying. I'm telling the perfect truth. Yay, yeah, Joe is saying the truth. I am surprised his bones haven't all cracked yet. Gentlemen, calm down and let's see how our wives solve this. Then it must be something else. We have to think. No, we can't think too much. We just have to write blindly. That's a very derogatory image of us. Exactly. You are losing our respects, Manchel. And yet you still can't say my name correct, Trump. Also, Obama, you became president just to become a gangster. Ha <laughs> ha. And for you to be a Vito Corleone. These men just seek admiration. That's true. Every man seeks admiration. Aha, that's a good word to put in. Admire, nice chat girls. Wait, we're wasting words, girls. We can't lose like this. Michelle is right. The last one didn't even have words we used before. Oh, sorry, you're right. See, Joe, your wife is a humble person. Yes, yeah, she's a classy lady. Exactly, now apologize. What do I have to apologize for? For being born. You're, at least I was born, you're still a fetus, fetus Trump. Yeah, now go to sleep. We need to finish this, hey, hey, hey. Not now, Jill, don't mess with me. She doesn't even like you. Sweetheart, don't meddle in other people's relationships. Continue, Michelle. All right, as I was explaining, we can't let men burn our brains with their thoughts. 
That's true. We have to think like them, but still keep our sanity. Or better yet, analyze what they would do in this situation. Clearly, we're not men. We can't think like them. So we have to think about the things they like. Obama likes sports, wrestling, cars, you know, the manly stuff. Joe likes playing with dolls and being a dancer and touching his non-existence wiener. How did you know? Honey, I don't do any of that. My Joe also likes sports and cars. Trump does too. He loves cars. I looked it up on Google and there is a word or at least something similar. Go ahead, what is it? It has to be engine. Every car has one of that. You're being very stereotypical. You have to think outside the box. What would we like? Being a superhero, flying, playing soccer. The truth is it's difficult to know what a man thinks. Thinking like that, you'll never guess anything. We are cultured people. You're right, men dedicated to knowledge, men of intellect, except for Trump and Joe, they think with their groins. He's right, it's like saying all women like clothes, makeup, and style. Well, most high status people like to look good, and that's also a stereotype. Not everyone, Mel, there are free men. Then why are you wearing a suit and tie in a Wordle game? Well, because I'm not a free man. What, what do you mean by this? I mean, because I'm happily married. So let's stick with the idea, what else do men love? Wait, let's look at the previous words and also analyze in terms of quantity. There's A, G, I, N, I see quite a few possibilities. Oh my God, I see, these guys are so freaking dirty. What, what is it, what word did they put in? Uh, I think I see it. I am too embarrassed to write in that word. Someone can write in that word. I haven't even found it yet. It's vagina for God's sake, boys will be boys no matter what age they are. I think she's upset. Gee, so that's the right word. I'm sure it was Trump's idea. You guys are seriously an utter idiots. The way men waste their time is disappointing. Come on, honey, it's just a joke. I agree, this is just a game and we're doing it for fun. She's right, the next word is something simple that represents you guys. Any hints? Seven letters are getting hard now. I have the word. Say it before writing it. You're taking the fun out of it, I'll write it first. No, please, tell us the word Trump. We cannot risk getting demonetized again. No, 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 no. Melania, please stop Trump. Too late, old bushy-wushy, I'm putting in the word. I can't interfere with Trump's guess, that would be cheating. Husband, okay, that was not a bad guess. Too bad you only got one yellow letter. That's the strategy from the Wordle King. Eliminate as many letters as possible. Oh well, watching Bush beg a couple seconds ago was absolutely priceless. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I got an idea. If this word is not correct, then the ladies are onto something suspicious. Once again, Joe opening his mouth trying to be smart. Actually, Joe is doing super well today, so let's listen to his contributions. I am thinking of the word awesome. I mean, isn't that what women always say about their husbands behind their backs? I am always awesome and you're not, therefore you think that. No, actually that is a good idea, put in awesome and let's see what letters we get. Thank you, Obama-rama, you are truly a great friend and you are a living El Trumpy Rumpy. What the fuck, so they're calling us idiots. I'm gonna start a war with the first ladies. Wait, before we do anything, let's analyze what we've been doing the whole game. Sexual jokes and talking shit about the opposite gender. I see, so the word has something to do with sex then? Very likely, and if we guess correctly, we'll win. How dumb can boys really be? Mind-blowingly dumb if you ask me. I have an idea. Go on, tell us. What, you're letting him with his idea? He said something intelligent and not funny, plus who else knows more about sex than Trumpy Grumpy the pig himself? I'll take that as a compliment and put in the word. But you should clarify it first. It's 100% that word. I'm certain the sex-related word the ladies put in is the orange and black website. There's thousands of orange and black websites. Be more specific. Are you even a man without knowing that website, Joe Biden? It's the OG Pornhub. Don't tell me you never went to that site before stinky Joe Biden. Yuck, I never go there. It's so graphic. I prefer Coco Melon. Okay, I shouldn't have given him a chance. Let's find another word. This is where I come in. I've demonstrated a high sanity minutes ago. I refuse to believe that, not to mention Jill passing you answers under the table. I would never do that. I respect the rules of this game. It's hard to imagine Jill under the table without falling asleep. Honey, don't disrespect her. Did I say that out loud? Yes. yes! Oh fuck, my bad. So here's my proposal, a word that has all the letters and works perfectly, D-O-R-I-T-O-S. In what world does Doritos represent us? In a world where we're delicious, I'm putting that in. I shouldn't have asked. Now we really need to think about what word they put in. Luckily Joe's foolishness got us some words. I'm thinking. You're not allowed to play, it was a mistake to let you. From now on, Bush and I will take control. Bush, Obama, and I. Sounds good to me. Obama and I only. Now, considering it's probably a negative word, what do you think it could be? Something degrading. Maybe a play on words that you like so much. Or the opposite of an opposite of a good word. Instead of idiocy, it would be idolize. It's a risky guess, but it could help organize the words. Let's go with idolize. Do you seriously think we misspelled something on purpose, please? We wouldn't stoop to something so simple. So why are they responding? They stayed silent all last round. They know we're close. Exactly, Grumpy Trumpy. For once, your logic is logicking. And to conclude Obaminator's masterstroke, I have the right word. We don't consider the T. It's clear it refers to us. 
Hmm, I still have no idea. That's because you're an old sleepyhead. I think it's a distortion of the word idiot. I think it's safer to go with the word idiotic. How do you know that's not the trick? Because it's easier to deceive someone into thinking you'll do something complex rather than doing something complex. The risk level is too high. Trump and Joe, I am thinking of the word idiocy and Bush is saying idiotic. What do you guys think? Hmm, well, idiotic seems too easy of a word, so I think they put in idiocy. Dude, idiocy is only spelt with six letters, so the word has to be idiotic. Are you an idiot, Joe Biden? Idiocy is I-D-I-O-T-C-Y. What in the idiot brain are you on about? And what kind of idiotic human species are you from Trump? Idiocy is spelt I-D-I-O-C-Y. Even Obama the robot man agrees with me, so the word has to be 100% idiocy. Well, when you guys lose, I'm going to laugh. Stop sucking on Joe Biden's balls, bushy-wushy. Watch me put in the correct word and carry us another point. Wait, Donnie, I just Googled it and idiocy is actually six letters. What did you say? I'm pressing enter. See, I got the... What the fuck, robot man? I thought you said idiocy was a seven-letter word. I literally told you it wasn't a word a second ago. Ha 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 ha. I told you guys. Since when did you say it wasn't a word? I never heard you say anything. Ha ha ha, it can't be. They spelled it wrong. I really thought they were going to win. Honestly, it was an easy round. I think they gave it a name themselves. Well, we can't expect any less. We know them well enough. Anyways, they won't have it so easy this time. I agree, they'll never guess the word. We can guess it quickly. We're smart women. The clue is something you all do and like. He said it, Bushy Wushy said it, not me. You said you'd take responsibility. An eight-letter word you like, Donnie. You're a gentleman, even in that. What does he like, Melanie? You know him best. There's a lot he likes, but restricted to eight letters, it's either McDonald or massages. That makes sense. Everyone liked massages, and yes, Donnie loved McDonald's. So let's go with massages then. Okie dokie, sounds good. Massages it is. Ha ha ha, you guys are wrong. I rarely get massages from you, Michelle, so I won't have agreed with that word. Well, I highly doubt this word. It's something flattering, especially after the last round. What do you suggest? They're boys, so it's probably something sexist. Well, given their nature, I'd bet I know which word it is. I think I know what you're thinking. It's cooking, right, girls? Yep, I still cook for the house every day. Same as me. I agree, let's go with cookings. How dumb do you think we are? We are still intelligent human beings. Except for Joe Biden. I swear I will one hit punch you across the fat orange face after the game. Let's stay calm and not get upset. I think we didn't notice that the previous word had a G and this one doesn't seem to be the word. You're right. Not only that, we know it contains an O and it's the third letter. Besides being something offensive. Offensive according to Trump. But we need to be strategic. Come up with some letters that has not been previously used. What about the word grateful? That uses a lot of the most common letters. I'm thinking of provides because the A has already been used. What do you reckon? Good point. This way the letter P will be out the door. Let's go with provides. Well, this one didn't work. Let's try another one. Better chosen this time. Well, yes, by choosing the ones with more unused letters. You know, you could just put letters to reduce the possibilities. That's like cheating. It's more fun this way. I have an idea, put in blessings. I bet that would get us some correct letters. We got this. I've been thinking for a while that maybe they are deceiving us. First, they never let Trump play, so it's unlikely they chose it. Yes, it could be a trap. Considering how much my husband enjoys word games, this is probably a deception. Or perhaps this is a deception within a deception, like in Reservoir Dogs. And they're waiting for us to believe that. But we do know it starts with B-L-O and ends in S. This could be a big clue. Mm, but let's not forget they've been acting like jerks. Maybe they chose a good word, so when we lose, we'll say, oh. Exactly, but they won't get ahead of us. We still have to carefully analyze our last two final guesses. It's the most crucial moment. There's only one word that fits that category. All this thinking is making me sleepy. You really are falling asleep, Jill. You finished the sentence without saying the word. Oh yeah, the word I was thinking of was blossoms. It perfectly fits the criteria. Let me type that in. Wait, Jill, damn, you typed it too fast. I was gonna say the double S were clearly used before, so the word can't be blossoms. But I guess the extra O in the middle helps. Come on, girls. We can't give up after completing so many words. We got this. Just need to analyze and think deeply. This is by far the most strategic and difficult game I played in my life. But honestly, I can't think of anything. Come on, girls. Think a bit deeper. I mean, you weren't wrong about you girls staying in the kitchen. Ha ha. Ha ha. Finally, something I agree with. Trumpy Grumpy. My favorite rump. What is wrong with you, Joe? Anyways, this is something you girls... Stop giving it away, Trump. We are so close to winning. What are your guys' thoughts about a slang word? Aha! Uh -huh. No wonder the almighty Melanie. That's a really smart idea. They are trying to use a slang word to trick us and make the whole game difficult. Such a brilliant idea. Now we just need to think what they would put in. I mean, they are boys and they are presidents. We need to find that perfect word. This is exciting. I'm thinking of the word blow-offs, which is a slang for a person who likes to brag. 
And it also means a hard blow, such as the Federal Reserve Board's credit tightening could cause a blow off in interest rates. That's a good idea. Actually, that's a bad idea. The O does not ally with the word. That's the closest we have gotten. Any other ideas? I'm out of ideas, but yeah, let's put that in. Go ahead and put that one. I want to know what it is for real. All right, girls, I'm putting it in. Now this comes to the moment of truth to see what word these guys actually put in. You guys suck at Wordle, and the gentlemen are the true Wordle kings. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Seriously, guys, whose idea was it? And now this gameplay is streamed all across the internet. That was Georgie Bushy's idea, and we followed through. Ha ha ha. So if they tell you to jump off a bridge, you would too? Oh, darling, that depends. If it's into a pool of money, then fuck yeah, I'll do it all day, any day. I told you guys it was a bad idea, but it was super funny. What the fuck, Biden, you hypocrite? Now you snake on the boys when we are all in trouble. I can't risk losing presidency. And, and I didn't come up with the word, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah, I forgot the ice cream man and some children are coming over for a party. I got to go, hey. That cocaine-stricken motherfucker will get in big trouble when he gets back next episode. Yeah, and then we will teach him a lesson on not snaking on the boys. We need to come up with a plan to take away all Joe Biden's ice cream as punishment. By the way, Obama, you are sleeping on the basement tonight. Ah, uh, help. But boys, this. And you too come here, bushy-wushy. Ah! Your next Trump. Ah, subscribe, yee, ouch!